Hello. Sorry, I'm late. Now you, now you guys see why I, I stream so late. Because I don't have meetings late at night. I do in the day. We're here. Wait, wrong one. All you see is green. Now you see me. There you are. Let's click. Let's click. I was just being the Hulk for a moment. What a day. What a day. All good things. But the meeting went on a bit. Got a nice maple maple latte that I made. My connoisseur coffee making. Do you want something from here? No? Oh, the cat is looking like she wants to eat something but not. Nobo, thank you so much for coming back for four months. He wouldn't like that when he's angry. <laughs> yeah, I, I do try to be a, a, a barista maker. I'm not very good at it. Let's just say like that, you know how they draw leaves in your coffee? I can't do that. Okay, I'm, I'm not very good at drawing leaves in your coffee, but I can absolutely make a decent maple latte. Decisive is this cat. But yeah, um, I had a meeting um, going a bit longer. Very important meetings, of course. <laughs> Talking very important topics on how to make sure that we deliver the best game possible. But unlike Hell Hades, I don't leak anything, so I've got no hints and tips. You have to keep an eye out on the Fateless channel for that one. All I can say, it's going to be exciting. We were designing some really cool heroes uh, the other day, and we were just reviewing some of the things. Very, very cool mechanics. Yeah, we're going to talk about the new update. We have got a lot of regearing to do, but I will spend some time today just going over some of the new updates. We'll pull some soul stones as well. That'll be quite cool. So we will go over those. Because there is a, a summoning boost going on at the moment. I am also, I need to get my clan quest done. We're, we're the Marius missions. We're on we're on track. We're not late yet. Um, I will give you a little bit of a hint and tip here. If you are on the same course as me, you got an earn, earn all milestone rewards. Don't claim the last reward. Okay, you can do the next one on, uh, was it, what's it, what's it, today? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday you can do this. Don't claim this last reward 
so that you can basically claim it for this mission if you're on the same track as me. You'll be able to save yourself a whole lot of pain if you can do this in one go. Do you have a poisoner, Simon? The best way to do that is with a poisoner. Let me turn the music down a bit. It's a bit loud, isn't it? There we go. As long as you've got a poisoner, you can probably get away with that. Hey, Nathan. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Thoughts on Impulse? We're going to talk about that in a second now. That was a nice little sneaking they did. We're going to talk about that. We'll talk about the new heroes. I think um, the High Elf might be absolutely bonkers. Um, and we'll also do some soul summons. I probably will start with soul summoning, to be honest. Uh, because there's no point in me waiting. I mean, the only thing I need to be mindful of is, are there any missions here that required me to summon souls? Let's see. Earn, spend crests, sand devil, mythical artifacts, crests, spiders, hydra. Earn 5,000 in the fortress. Nothing I do but that. Earn a selling. That's fine. Purchase. That's fine. I don't think there is any that's specifically tied to summoning soul stones. I don't think there are any. There's an ascension stuff. There's buy them from the market. But I don't think there's any that's specifically tied. I'm just checking, you know. Nothing in group two. What about group three? Let's see. Right, so we got Fortress, Clan Quests, Oil, Ascension, Spend Them, Get Mortal Soul Coins from the Iron Twins, Ascend Four Accessories, Earn 40 Eternal from Selling Souls, that's fine. Finish Top 5 in the Tournament, Spend Crests. I think we're okay to summon, aren't we? It's just earning from the Fortress and spending from the, like, Burning Souls. I don't think there's any reason... Cost you 9,000. Oh. I don't think there's any reason not to. So I'm going to. Because, you know, the, the boost is, is not the it's not the best thing in the world in the sense that we would love it on mortal, uh, eternal. So I would never summon an eternal soul stone, but there's not really any other opportunity to do this. The only thing I will do is I'm pretty sure I need to... Um, save my mortal coin, so... So I need to spend... So we spent that one. When's the next spend? Is there another one? Oh, there's no more. Okay, there's no more spend. Oh, there is. 10,000. But it's deep into group three. I'll probably earn that back again. So we can spend them all. So, you know, it makes, like... It's worth pulling, basically. At least I think. I'm just... I think I will be, yeah. Just closing down Dragon for the day, so I don't have to do anything in here. Okay. Um, yeah, so, like, the, the Awakening, there's, there's really only two moments in time where stones are worth summoning now. Well, one is this. I would not summon outside of any window except for this. It's just not worth it, in my opinion, unless it's for a guaranteed hero or something. Right? In terms of, like, you summon souls to get somewhere along the cart path to a guaranteed fusion or a soul or something like that. I'm pretty certain they are not going to um, start saving your titan souls. I got 625 soul chase points by claiming the 1 to 5 style for free. Oh yeah, you could do curry. It's a bit of a risk. It's not the end of the world though. It's pretty good, actually, though. You, you're right, actually. No, actually, do you know what? That's really, that's a really good point. You benefited from that because you got probably these. It's not bad. That is not bad, Curry. That's a good, clever idea. Should you save your soul stones? Honestly, it depends on where you are. For me, I know I can go and farm them again. So in that instance, no. 
that you shouldn't save them. This is going to be this window right now is the best time to summon souls. You're not going to get a better rate. They're not. I don't think they're ever going to put it on the Eternal Soul Stone. They might do it in the future, in like six months. But I don't really see much reason. The only reason you would hold it is if you wanted it to be for a path. And I'm confident I can do whatever path that comes up if I need to. Like, you know, my shards have already recovered from where they were. So we're in a good position. So you still can't summon, um, you still can't wishlist mythical champions. So it's kind of annoying. These are still my best ones. I think, um, I think these are still okay. Yeah, I mean, these are fine. So they'll be what they, whatever they are. So, we'll start off by summoning a few points, shall we? I've got a few spaces. We'll summon... Uh, we, we can actually trade all these... Whoops, nearly bought that. We can trade all these in, because I'll earn enough to get more back. It's got 47. Yearly gift is a promo code, yeah. Okay. Let's see what we get. Okay. Four star headsman. Alright, nothing nothing too crazy. What else are we gonna get here? Honestly, if I see another flan in soul, I'm gonna lose my mind. Ooh, a five star iteratent. I can never say his name. Itenerate in in into no Ooh, legendary. That's quite good. Jetney's useful in Sintranos. We'll take that. See, we can boost our Jetney up a little bit. Gives her attack. Two stars actually really big for Jetney. It might actually make her do damage now. It's unlikely, but you never really know. Uh, we might as well lift up Coffin Smasher. Let's see what else we got going on here. Mm, rest are probably pretty trash. So we probably need to clear out some duplicates now. Bissell. Yeah, don't don't look at my hoarding. It's um it's a bit of a problem. Generally I keep the rares that I know are gonna be quite good and sell the rest. And then epics I just keep duplicates of really, really good epics like Daihi, Hoskerol. And then I'll sell the rest when I don't need them. Uh, so Franox, I know I've already got a five star. So I don't, Kinagashi, I know he's already ascended. Gruckus is ascended. I know you're ascended. You are a duplicate. Grush is already ascended. I really wish there was some way in this portal that I knew, that I could see if my, if the hero that I already have is already ascended. It's very difficult to know from this if you've already got it and it's already there and it's ready to go. I'm pretty sure Sin Sinatia is, but you just never know with these things. Okay, so we cleared some space. Let's go. I know I haven't ascended our, our man's. Well, three star, Ares, the wish list is coming in. Ooh. I always get one good thing when I do these events. Uh, no, I haven't. I've been in meetings all day. Anything good. I normally get one good thing when I do these events. Even if it's a small gain in some way. Ooh. Hmm, I don't have an any three. Eesh. All right, let's sell the one stars. Uh, you're yeah, all terrible. We don't need Dune Strider's left boot, do we? Nobody needs doing Strider's left boot. Uh, ARS, I already have a six star or five star. Do we have any duplicates? Got all Flannan. It's actually not a bad hero. I should, you know, I should really look into him. Okay, Epics. Eishma is a duplicate. I'm pretty sure Burungiri already got. Duplicate. Wait, I think my high cartoon has already ascended. I think. Check. You're definitely already ascended. I 
think my high cartoon's already ascended. Yeah, otherwise she'd be showing up on this list. So yeah, high cartoon's already extend, uh, extended, so. But to go, uh, to, is that a second in E3? No, it's the first one, okay. All right, seven here. Why have Flan on a mission with them be mad? I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I'm saying, I keep seeing him. Even when he wasn't on the wish list, snooze snooze. When I was summoning uh, on like ancients or something, I kept getting a flan in everywhere. He's just a, he's just like stalking me. He's actually quite good, see. That's why I've got him. Probably because they're not ascended renegade, so I just keep them. The thing is, there's no rush for me to ascend them, and there's no rush for me to sell them. Okay, I mean, um, this is a good thing because I didn't go for the five star soul. I didn't go for the soul, so that's really big. Um, thanks, Raid. Well, then. I mean, I don't really know what that means. Honestly, I have no idea what it is. It, it's there. It works. Yeah, you're right. That, that is exactly it. That works. I wouldn't drop my Aneri team. My Aneri team does it in a minute and a half. He can't beat that. Can you tell me the secret of how, how many six-star legendaries have I pulled? I think that's my third one, Quirty. Legendaries, that is. Yeah, see, I only got the four star, so it's a pretty good upgrade. I'm so scared, so damn it's an angry old blizzard now. I don't use him in finite. My team's pretty good. I don't really think I would. Um, the only reason why I haven't done Armands is I'm pretty sure really soon I have an Awaken, a hero to rank four. Pretty soon, somewhere along here. See, I've got this, and I figured I might as well just wait. I'm not in any immediate rush. Because he's already built to some extent, so. Look at all these rewards. We haven't even pulled up big ones yet. Alright. Well, that was a good start. Okay, we've got five more of these to go. I always find these immortal soul stones are terrible for me. They never give me anything good. Normally. I say normally. They this is what I normally get with these. And they feel like such a disappointment because they're much more expensive to use. Because they're not like, you know, one star, one mortal soul stone is, a, uh, is like a basically a day of iron twins. Where it feels like these are actually much more exclusive. I feel like I never get anything from these. Okay, a three star Morley. Okay, it's nothing. Oh come on, Plerium, stop trolling me. Remember when Madman was good in Hydra? Remember those days. Those were good days, weren't they? Those were good days. I was just a troll, that was. Four star Bobos. Alright. Well. I mean, how much does that even sell for? It's a hundred. Honestly, I, I don't even know if I... I don't know. Oh, Morley gets a little bit of an improvement. That's nice. She gets 600 defense. We'll take that. Madman used to used to smack. Oh, the visionary gets her first soul. Jaw gets his first soul. Look at these newly awakened heroes. I don't know. I don't know whether I should just keep it or sell it. Yeah, why not? He's already leveled. Might as well make him powerful. It's only 100 coins. It's not going to make a big difference. I do have a few 6-star and 5-star souls just waiting to go, you know. If I ever get a Jorgid, he's going to be the most powerful Jorgid in the world. Um, but yeah, so what I was saying was, like, look, I've got a 5-star Gomlock. I'm not particularly using Gomlock anywhere, okay? 
So there's really no reason why, one, I should awaken it, or two, I should sell it. Because until I need these coins, I don't need to sell it. And until I need to use the hero, I don't need to awaken it. So I might as well just keep it in my soul collection. Because if something comes along in the soul merchant where I'm like, I just need an extra like five essence, but I don't have the coins. Well, I can sell that soul to get the coins. Whereas if I was to consume it or sell it instantly, I may be more tempted to use it when I need to. So it's just like those kind of mentalities that I have with it, where this just becomes basically a, a storage facility for what I need. And then I will burn them or keep them. You know, if I come along and I pull a Grizzor, great, it's a five star. I would never, ever, ever sell a legendary unless I've already got it. Hey, look, I can actually awaken Calvalax. I didn't realize that. Uh, where is he? I can actually awaken... Calvalax. Cool. Um, so... I would only ever sell these one-star souls if I've already got them and I never plan to use a duplicate. So, for example, I had... Um, who did I have that I got rid of? I can't remember exactly which champion it was, but I had a champion. I got rid of it because I was like, I'm never going to use a duplicate version of that champion for whatever reason. There's just no point. So I'll sell it if I get a duplicate, but even like one-star like here, I'll keep. And I'll just keep them all. I'll never sell a legendary because the power of a legendary soul is just too much. It's too valuable even on one star. Um, with epics, I tend to just keep the uh, upgrades, but some select ones that I think are going to be quite good for, for Sintranos, like Hoskull's Great Crowd Control, Mr. to Die here. People who I would expect to build maybe one or two of, I will just keep those duplicates if I need to. And I just keep it. It's, it's basically like if I sold my entire inventory right now, then if you think of all of these, I know... I've got, if the worst case scenario, not him, because we obviously would keep him. If the worst case scenario came along that I absolutely needed needed these coins, like, I've got a massive inventory of these that I can just instantly burn if I need to for whatever reason. Look at it. Generally, the rares are not worth it, though. The rares just don't give you much unless you hit the six star. So unless you hit six star rares, it's generally not worth selling them. The stats for, for that rare is just going to be more valuable. But if I sold everything here, I've got 5,000 coins if I need to. So... How good is Calvalax? Calvalax basically sets up Teodor. That's his job. Where did I get to? Oh, look. I'm just going to pull another three star. Because I can get a legendary book. I can get a legendary book. Are we going back to rotation one? Probably. Thanks for another Anithwee salt. See, in that situation there, I'm probably never going to have two Anithwees. So, in that sense, I will sell the one star that I got because I'll only need the four star. I'll never have two in E3s. I don't even have an E3, but hey, you know. I just wanted the legendary book. It's worth. So, pretty cool. All right. I have done the Sand Devil tournament. I don't know if I can really be bothered to do this. I mean, the prisms are nice. The coins are nice. But I, I'd have to run... I've got two Armagers built. But I just... I can't be bothered. <laughs> It's too much effort. Like these April Fool. I know the mar I know the skin's kind of cool. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> like it's too it's too much effort to do it. I might do a few though just to get on the leaderboard. So I won't be doing this. Skip that. Straight out the bat. Um Artifact Enhancement. I probably will end up doing this today because we've got to do regearing, but I won't aim to do it. That is not on my list of things to do. Um, so, yeah. Where are we at with crests? I think I need a bit more before I can do this, right? Yeah, I need a lot more than that. So, what is the plan for today's mega stream? Well, we need to regear our entire account. And when I mean the entire account, I mean everything. Everything is going to be rebuilt probably today because... We have got this problem where I've got these artifacts on my clan boss team that really shouldn't be on my clan boss team. Like, this is too good to be putting on my clan boss team. It should be on my arena nukers. Like, my second whisper, not even my first whisper, has these boots. This is my second whisper. It's not even my first one. So, you know, I shouldn't really be doing that. Oh, one thing I need to do quickly is the clan quests. Um... What did I pick up? Craft 5 Legendary. 
and use that. Okay, well, we could do this quickly. We could just go down into perception and put a shield on there. Shouldn't take too long. There's one. Generate a little bit of silver at the same time. Not very good, but it works. The only perception pieces I really keep anymore are speed and accuracy. If it hasn't got speed and accuracy on it, it gets sold. It's just not worth it. Oops. I didn't mean to one there. No, I haven't. I'm still on stage six. That's what we're going to be clearing today, hopefully. Stage six. That's my plan today. Would have been good if there was speed on it. Uh, no. The nice thing about perception is because I have so many materials, I can be quite trivial with it. I can just, you know, burn through it without real concern. Did it have to be Doom Tower set? I didn't think it did. I thought it just had to be a legendary shield. The one that I got. Could be wrong. I'll double check now, though. Pretty sure mine was. Uh, stage six and eight were easier than you thought. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing, in the meantime, I've been doing masteries on Luria. So Luria's actually got gear now. So like, this is the type of piece I keep. It's got speed at least. I'm sure it was. Um... Yeah, just five legendary shields. It panicked me there for a second. That's four. One more to go. What's this? Uh, sell. Uh, that might be alright. Speed resistance is okay. No, we're not going to be doing that, QWERTY. We'll do Cintronas once we... Like, we've got to do a lot of regearing. So I've kind of got like a structure in my brain... I need to pull a few things together, which I was going to do before stream, but um, meetings uh, abound caused me some delays, which, uh, you know, it's always fun. Is that any good? No, good. Okay, so 350 done. And then we need to basically do one more. The reason why I'm doing it is because it's going to give me oil. Use 10 rank 4 attack percentage glyphs. Okay, it's fine. Uh, who did we just recently rebuild in Slayer? Oh, do you know what? I can't be bothered to wait. I can't be bothered to wait for... I was waiting for CBC. I won't book Garrel, but I'm I'm not... Um, you know. I will do J. I forgot to do the last update because just time elapsed, but I will do the new one. Yeah, I mean, I have been waiting weeks. Absolute weeks for the free regearing event. Sell. Okay, so banner. Now, unfortunately, I don't have enough Slayer pieces. So we're going to go with five, uh, six Slayer. Because I do have Slayer banners. But they are terrible. Right? It's just terrible. And I've already reworked them. So I can't really rework them again. So that one is... I mean, it's not a bad... I mean, it's a terrible bad. That one's terrible. We do have um, this one here. Equally as terrible. Like, and I can't afford to lose that many stats just to get nine piece Slayer. So, you know, the amulet's pretty bad. So, for the time being, we're going to go six piece Slayer and then we're just going to build it out. Hopefully, if they put another Slayer set on, I don't really know if they will. Um, now, attack wise, my attack banners are trash as well. So, probably this one is the best one because it's already got attack rolled on it. It's a high roll, speed, HP, you know, it's pretty good. So we're going to go with this one. Okay. 
took us a while. And then we're going to upgrade this. Oh, beautiful. It might not be, actually. I might be over Captain Crit right now. 101. Oh, well, that is typical, isn't it? Absolutely typical. It's got me to 99% crit rate. Ninety-nine percent crit rate with these gloves. <laughs> oh. oh, that's annoying. Why couldn't that be seven percent? Why couldn't that be seven percent? Like, why? Uh, I will end up doing it by gear cleansing and sorting my account out, Agra. Okay, can we find a weapon that has got crit rate speeds? Crit damage, attack percentage, but with a little bit more crit rate, like 14% crit rate. See, that's close, but it's minus one. That's too much, and it's five star. That one's quite good, but it's minus one. That's not going to do it either because it's still the same. I need a 14% crit rate. Ideally, I don't want it in these sets either. And I don't want to lose too much speed either. So it's kind of like trying to find the roll. I mean, that could do it. Speed. Well, it's not what we wanted, but it's pretty good. And it's going to be really frustrating. That, like that one is... Pretty good. I lose six speeds. But it does work. It's gonna be that one, I think. The reason why I'm doing this is I wanna try and I can swap the crit damage gloves to for the crit rate gloves to crit damage now. If I can find one percent more crit rate. I mean I would lose six speed. That is a bit of a punishment. I would lose six speed. Wonder how it ascends. Okay, we're doing it. And now we really want this to be crit damage, but it's so expensive to do. So we're not going to be re-rolling it just yet. But yeah, so now we're not quite there yet because we've got to finish upgrading all this, right? This needs to be dusted. Like This absolutely needs to be dusted to uh, attack percent. Attack percent. Okay, not quite. Attack percent. I don't want to blow all of my dust right now, so we're being smart. Like, this will go up to speed, which is great. That's good. Uh, somehow, I've managed to get, like, a quad crit rate mythical. I don't really know how I got this. Hey, YSD. How's it going? Welcome. So I don't know how I've got this piece here. Uh, yeah, I already have given it mastery. See, I already got Laura Steel on it. So, you know, we we have got, like, glyph space already here. We've got, like, attack percent here. This could be improved a little bit. Or not, apparently, as it would seem. One more. There we go. You know, obviously I can improve the speed a bit more here. That's maxed out. Level plus two. Makes me feel good about life. Okay, we're going to be careful about using too many resources this early on because... Do you know what? Because um, if we need to redo some of the clan boss teams, we might need these glyphs for a little bit of fine-tuning. But we might as well give it some like some sustainability. Just throw a little bit of glyphing on it. I might turn into a live arena streamer. Uh, I'm, we'll be doing some later on, but um, not right now. 
Like, these gloves are not the best except for speed, right? So this is when I would actually use this. I'm going to plus three because the game hates me. <sighs> Every time. Ah, oh, I hate it. Anyway. You know. Of course, that one maxed out. That one's going to. Love it. I love it when all of them max out, you know? Like, this one, really, I want to attack. So I'll try one rework. Okay, I'm not going to waste any more on a ring like that. Because I'm going to need that for crit damage to switch in. Like, this is perfect. That's good to go. Um, that's okay. Could do with some speed, but it's not the end of the world. So right now, uh, let me just max out our levels. Garol. Garol is now built in six-piece Slayer at the moment, which is really important because in the alternate form, this is AoE. We haven't booked Garol yet, but we will have in alternate form 7,100 attack, 218 speed at the moment, but that should increase as we get better glyphs, and 305% crit damage. Like 218 is based on the fact that I'm going to get nine more speed, so it should be like 218 plus nine, We've got uh, the ability to glyph, I think, the chest. So 218 plus 9. Let's just say that is, uh, what? That we're on 227. 227, we can add another, like, 3 here. Resist is 230. The gloves are probably 6 star again eventually, so that'll go up. That can go up. That can go up. So we can, you know, we haven't got any glyphs here. So we could probably get, like, 10 to 15 speed. It should creep her up to about 240. That's the way that this should work. Um... And we're going to be using it in this team. So I had to throw away my hard key for a daily mission. So that's fine. So we're going to be using a new nightmare team. And it's going to be basically this team that we're going to be using. Uh, is there any reason why you opt out for always the second best glyph? I understand the speed, but you had to... Uh, 70 plus best attack clips and still pick the best one only if the attack percentage roll is really really good so it's only if it's like a very good piece that i will go for the six star uh i might do qwerty she's built in a way that she can be used in arena she can be used in arena right but this is kind of like the team i'm using it for at the moment padrag's not built properly we need to build him today um It's a real shame I can't get, like, a Shadowkin in here. I might even swap out Val or something for, like, Michinaki. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, boost that. Torment heads are a bit of a nightmare. So, Metamorph... We just got to get rid of the Torment Head first. Uh, we need to make sure we can provoke, so let's just do that. Did we get a cleanse or something? Something happened here. We didn't get a cleanse. Provoke. Man, this fear is annoying. This team, it's always set up with these teams. It's, it's the worst part when it's Torment Head, when you don't have a Torment solution. Especially with Lydia, because Lydia just likes constantly counterattacking, which makes it much more frustrating to, uh, to use. And especially in this form is AoE, so... She's going to counterattack again. She's going to have to RNG it a bit. And we can reduce... And she's going to counterattack again. It's really frustrating with, with Lydia. Okay, she didn't. That's great. So now we can start doing some damage. Start whacking this Torment Head. Once the Torment Head is dead. There we go. This is what Garrel's very good for. Okay, increased attack's not the best. 
Plonk, plonk. Every single time she's going to weigh one, we will take damage. This is great. Probably should have put the reflect off on this, but it's fine. We can use... Like, Pedraig is not built yet, so... He's a bit squishy. I've got an extra turn. He's not booked either. Just need to kill this Torment Head. It's so frustrating. There you go. That's 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 why we don't. <sighs> torment heads are annoying in this game. Why do we have to have mechanics like this torment head? I really don't understand. A six piece slayer or lethal savage better for Rathalus. Well, there's two ways you can build him. I think you either build him merciless. Reflex, 4 and 4, if you're not going to use his A3. If you use his A3, you then build him in 6-piece Merciless. That's the way I would do it. I might even rebuild mine today and put him into that 4-4 four, four build. Um, you pulled Crixia, congrats. It's amazing. I might have to build some sort of torment solution into this team. I don't have a fur all, which is really annoying. So I've got to kill this. I've got to just kill the torment head as quickly as you can. If we can get rid of it, then it's great. Once we start getting into a rhythm of things. Really, I wasted that. See, I shouldn't have used that ally attack. That was a bit of a mistake, because now i got to try and metamorph. Annoying. Just want to try and get the actual like animation that we're looking for. Give it a good cleanse. Wrong. And he's Gowl's, of course, weak affinity to the torment head. Of course it is. So it's going to take even longer to kill. And now the mischief head is off because apparently my, my my buff count is not right. See, I really hate Hydra setting up a team. Once the team is right, it's great. But this setup is just too difficult. I'm going to have to change something here. I thought this team could do it, but the setup is just too awkward. I'm not killing the head quick enough. I should be annihilating this head. Um, should you build Garrel and Savage or Relentless? Savage. I don't really want to run Shamel. I think that's just not worth. But I'm going to have to. I mean, we've got... Whoever Val is, it might have to be Michinaki. Because... We need... Um, decreased uh, attack. Yeah, that's because I'm not using it right. Just wondering if we bring some more raw damage. Did I hurt my arm? What are you on about? My arm? It's better, actually, if we bring Michinaki because um, the damage profiles are different affinities. At the moment, the problem is I'm kind of running the same affinity for damage, which is why I'm not killing that Torment Head. Both Val and this, so maybe it's better if we don't do that, you know? Uh, she gets 20% turn meter every single time she A1s. So if she repeats the A1, she gets another 20% turn meter. So now we transform. And we can just smash for some damage. It's 
So this is where we can afford not... We really don't want to have beer out. Degree speeds. See, every time she A1s there, we basically get it. She feared that time. Feared that time as well. Once the torment head is down, how is that resisting? She's got enough resistance. <sighs> Honestly, sometimes stresses me out. I just want to kill the head so I can see how much damage we're going to put out. That's all I really want. That's all I'm trying to do right now. Is just see how much damage we're going to do when we kill the heads. Right. It's a nightmare. It doesn't help. She's weak affinity to the Torment Head. That's a bit better. We're getting there now. The rhythm is increasing. Lumpadrag. Stop stealing my other buffs. Why is it not targeting? I bet it's the fear head, so I'm not joining the ally attack. I bet that's what the problem is. So she's not actually getting her increased accuracy, which is why she's not the, the main target. Right, no more torment heads. No, we we can Can we can we finish this torment head off? Come on. There we go. Right. Now we actually can play the game. Honestly. Uh, well, we might as well do that. That's what should happen. The fear head was basically stopping my archer from joining the attack. Now we're seeing the damage output. Here we go. Yeah, that's fine. Pick on her. That was a mistake. I shouldn't do that with a weak hit. Now, hopefully, we can kill the head on the right. The idea is Garl's meant to repeat the attack, but hopefully the head on the right should reset the turn meters in a second, like now. Great. Get some decreased defense out. Uh, you, you're in curse, so just do that. You're starting to see the damage ramp up now. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. One, two, three. Oh, she's smashing. Here we go. It's just getting rid of the the first setup is the worst part. Obviously, Pedrag is not um is also not uh, booked at the moment. I shouldn't have done that; it was a waste. Every time I, I attack, I've got always got a chance that Garol's going to join, and Michinaki. I think Michinaki is better in this team than Val. Really unlucky not to get a single one there. Here we go. So it's doing a fair amount of damage. 250, 250, so that was 600,000. Here we go. That's what's meant to happen. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Look at it. And Michinaki. Oh, what a dream team. When it gets rolling, it's going to be really good. That's fine. We can get that up pretty quickly. It's just this is the problem. 
Once there's a torment head in, we just lose so much more like control. So now we're probably gonna double fear. Oh, we got okay. We almost got it out. There we go. Okay. Of course, we get poison cloud, which doesn't help. Not too worried about poison cloud because we'll get there in the end. So yeah, it's, it's got good potential, right? So I need to check my Michinaki build here. Um, Padraig needs building it properly. We need to actually, he needs probably books as well. I guess when there's no cage. She should have cage now. And normally once you get some heads killed, it becomes a lot easier. Theoretically. We do still have the same problem of trying to kill that torment head though. Probably gonna have to find a solution for it. It's just too much. It's too difficult to actually make it work around the torment head. Yeah, it's just too difficult to make it around the work around the torment head. Because that's why we're losing. It does tell you no bro no brainer. If you're not seeing multiplier information in um, the website, no brainer. Refresh the page. Control F5 it. I don't know, Shooter, what do you think? Shooter's in chat. He's my normal go-to guy for this. Uh, well, she won't team up with the Michinaki, but she will team up with the person that triggers Michinaki, right? So if whoever whoever initiated the Michinaki, she can join. Is Gizmak a better version of Nekmo? He's not really a version of Nekmo. He's a different champion altogether. It's just so frustrating, this Torment Head. I, I hate the fact that in this game, we have to go to, you must have a Feral or Shamael or Duchess or you can't play the game. It's so frustrating to me. Well, Chris isn't going to solve my problem here because the Torment Head's the problem. Yeah, hit Control F5, no brainer. You've got an old version. I don't know why it doesn't refresh. We've cleared it out like it shows for me. But um, some people's browsers, they, they hold an old copy. I don't have two Hanarak, no. Uh, I don't know. That's not going to solve the... Uh, the problem isn't the team shooter. It's the, it's the Torment Head. I'm losing because of the Torment Head. I mean, Newt would basically kill the Torment Head a lot quicker. But then I have to deal with counterattack, and then Newt has to be basically become a resistance tank. Hi, Mother Maud. Ha, <laughs> it's funny. Uh... Yeah, that's what... It, yeah, yeah, I could bring that. I, I could basically rebuild Newt into a, a resistance check. Because you don't really need much stats on Newt. I just got to be careful... That I don't slow him down to get the resistance. Fourteen million da damage, so it can be improved. We can get better than this. Um. So, right. Let's sort this out then. Let's do some planning. Where is this? Du -du 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 -du. Where is my thing?
let's see. Just need to run the updater. <sighs> yeah, Furl is such a cheat code. I wish I had him. No, I'm not doing the mystery shard event. I'm not. I'm not partaking. Uh, I was on stuck on the mythical boots for a week. I did almost a thousand runs. Oh, just wait until we have to do four mythical chests. That's what's coming next. I'm not looking forward to it, honestly. Okay. Uh, that's the problem. Sorry, I'm just checking the spreadsheet I built for this. So, I should have... Uh, okay, why is this not working? Don't you worry. I, I'm trying to think what I the, what did I do here? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. My data's good. So. not finding what I want then. Uh, built in a climb on a with the mighty Ugo, but there's still some problem that doesn't pick put that he doesn't put block buffs on Wrath. Uh, I don't know of that bug. If they did, is fixed. Yeah, I'll show you it now. I'm just trying to fix it so that it works. Oh, because I need this. Yeah. Why is heroes not refreshing? Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to sort something out off screen so I can make sure this works. And then we should be good to go. Yeah, it should be there. Eight, one, seven, six. So why is this not refreshing? Okay, fine. Do it again. It 
steer. Okay, let's just try this. Discard. I don't have two Hanarak, unfortunately. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so good. We're done. We're done. Okay, so this is our plan and this is what we're working off. So we need to rebuild our Hydra teams here completely. So our hard team is now going to be Trunda, Shuzhen. It's going to be Gurptak. It's going to be um, Emic. And it's going to be Painkeeper. This is where it's going to get interesting. The nightmare team I have is... Well, I can make a faster right now shooter. I can just send the boots and stuff. But the problem isn't really the, the how fast it is. It's the problem I've got is I can't kill the torment head. So... The Torment, because obviously it's weak affinity as well. And it's a bit of problems. I mean, the, the longer the Torment head is up, the worse it becomes because my all of the joining attacks is failing and all the other stuff, right? Uh, yeah, I do because I have some that are rank four. It's basically it's so I know which ones I've used because <laughs> I've got all my heroes in here, see? This is data. This is, this is a complicated thing. I can actually look and find all my different heroes and figure out what they've got, all their artifacts they've got. I can look at all my artifacts if I wanted to and different things. I've been, I'm working on something cool for myself. Um, and possibly some of it will come into the optimizer eventually. So I'm thinking, like, Lady Makage makes sense here. Uh, let's just green this out. So we've got Mikage and Pedraig. Obviously, we want those two. Uh, and I think I need Lydia because I just don't have the spot, right? These three basically give me increased speed, cleanse, uh, increased speed, double cleanse, increased attack, increased crit damage, and double ally attack. We also get decreased defense, weaken, increased speed, and strengthen. So we get everything we could possibly need in this. The only way this kind of maybe gets better is if we run, um, if we drop the Pedraig and we run the new fusion maybe. But even then, I don't think it's worth it. Um, that might come into the Brutal team. Then I think we run Michinaki. Like, we... We absolutely... The, the, that's the thing. If we run Mikage, we, we want a Shadowkin, right? Oh, if I forgot all this. Trenda, Shujen, Gupturk, Venus. So, the last two spots needs to be the DPS. So... Ideally, you want Mikage with, with a Shadowkin. Otherwise, you lose her A1. But... Yeah, but that's a feature. That's not a bug, Lily. That's the same thing as having um, the, ven the, um, the protection, the 75% buff. That's the same thing. It's not really a bug. It's a feature. So... Yeah, but I, it, I, the problem shooter is if I move Mikage, Pedraig, Lydia, and Archer all to Brutal, like, that's all of my power picks. I don't really feel like I should. I feel like it's just a mistake. And I really feel like Garrel works best with a double ally attack. My, my Archer is damage. Yeah, my Archer is damage. It's just figuring out the balance of the team. Like, I can make one of these newt, put him in, like, a resistance. So that gives us, like... You know, AoE decrease attack and a quick kill on the um, the the torment head. Maybe the Lydia needs to go because we've already got increased speed. 
We'll have weakened from Newt. Maybe the Lydia just drops for someone with decreased defense. We would lose block buffs, so we'd have to think about maybe improving it. It doesn't really matter if he's weak affinity. Three, like two hits is stronger than one hit, so. Yeah, it's fine though. I'm not, I'm not worried about rotations. We just worked it. Just wondering if we drop Lydia out, put Lydia into the second team. Oops. Maybe we just drop Lydia into the second team and, and free up a spot. That gives us Michinaki. Michinaki's decreased defense. So we got decreased defense, weaken, and then we can go Garrel. Uh, I can't at the moment. The spreadsheet is very technical the way it's set up. It's not really good for like general usage, but I will try to make some of the features publicly available at some point. Like this way we get burn, we get decreased defense, decreased attack. I mean, technically we don't need the nuke, but we we could even we could even do this. could do that. What do we lose? We lose strength then. Uh, no, for the way that I use Emic, he can't go in this Kirk because of the way that I need him set up for um, hard. You prefer uh, Nekmovat? No. No, Arch is too good here. See, I don't value Krisk very highly. I think Krisk is pretty trash. Personally. I, I don't value Krisk at all. Krisk is only useful if you need to extend Veil. Otherwise, I just don't value Krisk at all. I'm just wondering if this is a better balance because we have a Torment solution. We have... Split affinity damage. Decrease attack, decrease defense. Do we lose weaken though? Ah, uh, we lose weaken without the newt. We could just run the newt, I guess. Trash is quite harsh. Well, it is for me. For my account, he's not very good. Like, I, I don't re... Let me explain why I think he's not very good. His decreased speed is very inconsistent on an A1. He doesn't attack on his provoke, which means he can't really be used to the maximum efficiency for like a, a hex set. So he becomes a bit weaker from a hex point of view. His damage output is weak compared to the other provokers like Archer that are in the game now. He doesn't really give that much turn meter control bonuses. He has to be attacked to place decreased attack and decreased defense, which isn't gonna work when the heads are decapitated. So you're taking up someone that has to be attacked that has a three turn, one turn provoke, which is not that reliable enough anymore, that can't really hex consistently and doesn't really put decreased speed out 100%. When I could bring the fusion that gives me increased speed and decreased speed consistently 100% of the time. I could bring Archer that gives me two turn provoke consistently 100% of the time. I could bring Morley. Morley's gonna give me more turn meter than Krisk is gonna bring me. That's why I say Krisk is not very good. He's a generalist. If you need to just shore up a team, he can work. But as a general point of view, I find that he is not good enough in a very balanced team. That's why I say he's not very good. It's not that he's a bad champion. It's just that everything he does is never going to be to the peak performance that you truly want from these champions. And now there are better champions in the game that can do it 100% consistently. Yeah, but neither does Morley. Archer doesn't, and, and the wrong affinity. But I could swap Archer out and put someone in in a different affinity. I don't have Corrigan, no. Yeah, this one could work. That frees up Lydia for lots of different options. So, uh, Rathalos, I'd like to get a team...
with Rathalos in. You know, I am actually thinking about... No, Duchess is not very good either. Duchess has got the same problem as Krisk. She doesn't do it consistently left. So if you pick Duchess, you have to almost automatically pick an extender. And she's also taken up a damage dealing spot. So... Might not make it all... Yeah, I know, right? You're thinking the new fusion? Yeah, I'm actually thinking about the new fusion right now. I'm wondering if we, we make the new fusion part of the Brutal team. Because we would get increased speeds. I think the new fusion is better than Necmo. Because I think you get, you get more agency. <clears throat> yes, but Feral gives you 20% damage. Feral gives you easier stat requirements because you get resistance and accuracy buff. Feral gives you a block buffs. Right, so Feral is giving you block plus, plus damage. Duchess is just sitting there giving you a veil. It's, 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 they're entirely different champions. They do the same job, as in the, the Torment job, but Feral does it with extra bonuses on top. He still needs an extender. I'm not saying extension is poor. What I'm saying is Duchess requires extension to just do one job. Feral can deal damage and give you block buffs and give your team damage and give you veil and give you resistance buff. Like... It's crazy. Uh, is Star Sage Galatha good for Hydra? I don't think so. I think he's more of an arena guy. And a control guy. So. I mean, it's a great start for any team, yes. But then there's plenty of extenders now, Dutchie. Like, you'd probably pick Makage over Krisk. It extends buffs. So you'd probably go Mikage with the Feral. That's probably first choice. Like if I look in my account right now. And I look at all of the champions that I've got here. Yeah, but you will get her eventually. It won't take you long. It might take you six months, but you'll get her eventually. Right? Everyone is going to get them. Just like everyone got Mithral and everyone got Lydia. Uh, increased buff duration. Okay, so what do we got? <laughs> Probably, I would say, out of these, Panda does it? No, he doesn't. Surely not. Does he? Oh, Panda's way better. Panda is way better than Krisk. Yeah, so Panda would go in over Krisk. Mikagi goes in over Krisk. Um... I would suggest Alatrian goes in over Krisk. Although his A1 is random, it's a pretty good random one. Oella is a better healer. And resistance buff could go in over Krisk. I would say that's probably where Krisk starts breaking. When you get to the Alatrian Oella, that's when you start debating um, who to pick in and who to pick for. But yeah, it's probably like Mikage Panda is way better. Because with Panda, you get increased accuracy, increased attack. And you get an AOE decreased speed. That's consistent. Because that is like, what is it, 75% chance versus Krisk's 50% chance. And you're going to get increased accuracy and increased attack for your team as well. And a shield. Which is kind of nice. Yeah, Panda is surprisingly good for Hydra. So, I don't really see how he gives you... Yes, he gives you ally protection, but then he just dies himself. I, I'm not, I, I personally just don't think he's very good. That's probably on a personal opinion. Um, I think there are better options out there for my account for what I've got available to me. That's probably just a personal opinion. Yeah, but that requires you to be attacked. And I just think I would rather something that gives me agency that doesn't require me to be attacked. That's that's the that's what I don't like about his passive is you physically have to be attacked. And I just don't think that's always reliable. Because you're going to get attacked first and then you take damage, you know? So. 
Um, so yeah, it's just about trying to find the balance of what champions I want to use. And it's important because Hydra is obviously one of the, the most like gear draining areas. So I need to get it right. Wait, Shooter, you're not even using Kresk. Your team doesn't even use Kresk. What are you doing? Lecturing me about Kresk. When you're not being attacked by um, Hydra, well, my hard team never really gets attacked. Oh, you don't have Kresk. Okay. I was going to say, I thought the way you were talking, it's like you've got Kresk. I was confused. Um... So yeah, uh, most of the time I don't want the Hydra to be attacking me anyway. Like, brutal, but we just need to be killing heads as quickly as I can. Um... Shamiel, Rathalos, Supreme Garlic, Archer, Sulfurian, Artak. I would say, Bart, you've got way too much HP burn. I would drop the Artak. Because you've got Supreme Garlic and Sulfurian, that's enough. Drop the R attack and bring someone that gives you more damage. Like, you don't have decreased defense there that I can see. So if you drop, like, R attack for Lydia, that would be much better. What's yours, Elixium? I don't know if you're in our clan, are you? Oh, you're not in the clan. For Chris, right? What's the best set for Chris? Probably Cursed. I would have thought. I would have thought probably cursed. So the last team here, we do have Val that we could use. We do have Ugos, we have Mithralas, we have Whispers, we have, you know, Alatry and Blade Master. We have, um, we still have Lydia Free. Honestly, we could take the remnants of my Nightmare team, which is basically uh, Rathalos. We could take Lydia. We could take um, Alatrian. Okay, so we could take the remnants of this. That gives us damage, protection, and decreased defense weaken. Mix it in with a little bit of, like, rabbit fun or something of that nature. I'm wondering if we run the fusion. It could be Necmo for now. But the fusion would be better here. Because um, the fusion would give us weaken, decrease speed, increase speed, increase attack, which would be really nice for this setup here. But we can use Necmo for the time being and basically just lift and shift. All the gear from the Necmo goes over to the, the fusion when we get her. I do have Razzlevarg. I find it difficult to like make Razzlevarg work in a team. Mainly because he outruns his attack buff. I know he's very, very good. I'm not saying he's bad. I just always feel like I'm like... I don't want to run like the Fusion and Razzlevarg or Necmo and Razzlevarg. I feel like that they're just like the same champion. You could front up a team with Razzlevarg here. I could front up the team. If I drop the Necmo and, and I, I, I could run Razzlevarg here. That would work. I would need an increased attack. I need someone to support the team. Like that could be a Mithrala. The Owl's a fun combo. Yeah, we're working on the server error issue. It's remote optimizer. I think the team is working on it. Let me see what they're up to at the moment. Uh, I just need to... Um, try, uh, who, 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 can you try something for me, uh, Keith, can you try something for me, can you try and, um, import your data again to the optimizer for me, try re-importing your data to the optimizer and let me know then if you send another optimization request if it works.
Well, we got one spot free, right? So what this team basically gives us is increased defense, shield, block debuffs, and a cleanse. We get two forms of damage in, in Blade Master and Razzlevarg. We get increased defense and increased attack with Mithrala. Increased attack is more important here. We also get um, Hex. We get Lydia's decreased defense, weaken, strengthen, increased speed, and also Razzlevarg's increased speed. So we get good coverage. What we need the last spot to be is probably a burn and provoke. That would be the last spot that we require. Provoke. I don't know who I've got for that. Let's have a look. Now that could be a Morley, but that's not a burn. Yeah, we need the burn for Rathalos. Which is no one. No one is provoke and burn. So it'd have to be a uh a provoke set if we run this team. You know, it could be something like Artac. Not very good though. The other thing is we drop Mithrala. And we basically get someone with increased attack and burn. Which we don't have. There isn't a champion that can do that. So that one's out of the question. So we would definitely need someone with increased attack. And decreased speed here. So that one feels like it could be... Bambus... So that will give us increased attack, decreased speed. That's the thing. Do you know what the biggest problem with Razzlevarg is? He doesn't have decreased speed. Just the one thing that frustrates me about Razzlevarg is he looks like he's going to be an amazing champion, but he just doesn't have the decreased speed that you really want. And that's kind of like the problem here. We don't have the decreased speed. Which... No, it's not great. Well, Bambus can be increased attack, right? The other option is we run something like Ugi. Oh, that could be a better option. Maybe Ugi is a better option here. Hmm, maybe that's a better option. Yeah, actually. But then I need decreased speed. And this is where see this is where the problem comes in with um with the Razzlevarg. If you run Razzlevarg, yes, you get increased speed, but you don't get decreased speed. So where are you gonna get your decreased speed from? Right? That's where you've got to factor in. We're not gonna get it from Lydia, we're not gonna get it from the Blade Masters. So one of the last two spots has to be a decreased speed option, which Bambus gives us the increased attack, but it doesn't necessarily give us the burn. Um we could run something like Cantra and just get like debuff spam. It's working. Okay, great. Um, what does Gwendolyn do? Let me just check. Gwendolyn, I haven't summoned her yet, so it's got to be a really good reason to summon it. Okay, decrease speed. I mean, it's good damage source, but like she has to take either Razzle Varg's or Blade Master's spot. She can't go in there. Like that's that's the two spot. Like she's basically a Razzle Varg sub. Because again, she's not doing burn. She's not doing block buffs. She's just doing decreased speed. So. Yeah, so Gwendolyn is an option, but not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for... Um...
Um, so, like, I'm looking for champions here that will basically do... Like, I need a burn. If we run Rathalos, we need a burn, right? So we could, if we want to, drop Razavag and run to Messia. That would require us not to run block buffs as a potential. We could, for example, run Teela, but that wouldn't give us decreased speed. There isn't really a decreased speed burn option. That's the only one there, and it's not very it's not very consistent, I believe, because I think you have to be over a certain amount of turn meter, which is not really guaranteed. So we can't really depend upon that. Um, so that's that's not really an option. In terms of decreased speed options, like we could have the new fusion, we could have Necmo. Um, I don't really need ally protection. No, not on Brutal. Brutal, like, the souls and everything will keep them apart. So, yeah, so if I run the Blade Master, I have to have a burn. So, if I need a burn, one of the burn champions has to come in. So, you know. It's either that, or do I switch? Or do I switch Venus from Team Hard and switch it with Lydia so that we get decreased defense, weaken, and burn? Because we've already got increased speed. So, really, all Lydia's in here for is the strength. And so, maybe we just move Lydia over to here. And move Venus in here. I don't like Sissia because of her affinity. Um, may, not because she will weak it, but because she has to like get everything lined up to take extra turns and it becomes a problem. Did you just say that? I didn't see it. Sorry, David. Do we? Maybe we just do this. Because Lydia probably is better anyway in the hard team. I won't be able to do it this rotation, but we can always run a, a rough team with Lydia for now. That would give us the burn. And decrease defense weaken. So that frees up a bit of space. So we have two forms of damage dealer. In our there. Da, da, da. So we get increased speed. We get our protection covered here. That's increased defense, shield, block debuffs, cleanse, buff extension. Decrease defense, weaken, and burn. And I've also got Venus in a hex set. We do need a secondary hex champion. Blade Master. So we now need to get decreased speed and increased attack. So that's kind of like what we need first. So Mithrala feels like a good option. Yeah, I'm thinking Mithrala seems like a good option. It's a real shame that I can't utilize my six-star Ruel, though. It's a real shame I can't use that. Hmm. But increased attack Mithrala would be pretty good. Could also run Bambus, but I feel like Mithrala is probably going to be better anyway. Mind you, if we run Bambus, we don't need a decreased speed in the last spot. The last spot is free. I could run Venus. I don't, I don't really find Cupidus that amazing, but I do have him in. Um... Where is he? I do have him in Slayer set. Not the, not the best Slayer set in the world. It could be rebuilt. But I do have him in Slayer set. Like he is in 9 out of 9 Slayer. We actually have an attack ring here now. It's actually an attack banner that I could put on him now. I don't know if I would go... Cupidus Venus, though. Let's 
Well, Venus is running Hex set, so that's fine. It's just um, I always want to have two Hex in my team in case the champion that um, that Hex is. Yeah, well, I was only testing it, basically. I was playtesting it. These, this is like my first set of mythical gear that I got. This is not actually the, like the Slayer gear. It's not actually, it's pretty good Slayer gear, some of it. But this is not actually like super good. It was just like throw it in because I wanted to test the sets. So it could be improved. Um, so, I mean, Venus will be in there. I do like to have another Hex. If I run the Cupidus, it kind of like, I don't know if it's good enough damage. I suppose it gives us double burns as well. So the Rathalos has more uptime. Do we, do we actually think... Yeah, yeah, you can find my, my, my link here. Um... There we go. Do we actually think... I, I know we're going to be rebuilding. Like, uh, probably everyone's like... 12 hour stream where's the reeb gearing going this is very important that we figure out the teams first that we get everything in line before i go in and do my teams um uh, do you think having cupidus in hex is waste <sighs> you want him in ignore defense i think like this is really good for him because he gets ignore defense bonuses you know and like he kind of works like let me show like, like he kind of does work i just don't know if he's going to work to enough degree that he's going to be really good for for brutal so, like, if we basically do this and we said, I think Venus is locked, but I've got another Venus I can just throw in for the passive. Uh, and Cupidus. Like this. And then if we just, if we just put it with a team, like, I don't know, um, Razzlevarg. Uh, let's get a Shamael in here. One of them will do. Uh, then we need like a uh, wrap, like blade master, and then give up decreased defense. We can burn. Let's just use Lydia for the time being because she's not built. No, no, I need to focus on my Hydra team because I need to know of the Hydra team who do I need to lock in and who can I take gear off Green Virus. That's why I'm doing this. I need to know exactly my team first, um, so I know what to do. So, we can obviously burn out here. What I want to see is how good his damage potential is on Brutal here, on this kind of build, so. Obviously, there's no increased attack for the other good dudes, but this should be fine. Hey, look, she's going to take a turn. She's not going to do anything. She has no gear. Oh, she actually did stuff. She has no gear, though. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, that's really annoying, isn't it? I should put a, I should put a provoke in here, actually. Uh, let me see if I can put a provoke. I kind of need the Venus for the peering. That's the problem. Let's just bring Archer for now. There's no deep defense. Let's just drop you for now. Um... What about Krisk, Mithrala, Blade Master, Blade Master, Venus, Rabbit? Um... Uh, decrease speed's not enough. So what I want to see is how much damage can Cupid is actually output. Oh, she actually landed gear. She must be wearing something. So we are on brutal difficulty, so it's a good test to see how it is. Obviously, this team is like not got deep attack or anything, so there's nothing special, but. Oh, 
And we know heal reduction is a bit of a problem. I probably should have block buffed that. that wrath had in mind. Um, do that. Is Razzlevar going to die? About to find out. Oh, not yet. No, we're good. Heal up. Okay, well, it's not great with the heal, like... The Reflect is kind of a problem. I made a mistake, but it's fine. We should be able to cleanse that with Venus, hopefully. There we go. We'll just run it to, like, turn, like, 20, just so I get an idea of um, damage potential. Well, Venus died. We knew that was going to happen, but we don't really care about Venus right now. She's a means to an end. My rabbit's damage is going to be low here because obviously there's no decrease increase attack. So this is just simply a test case to see kind of how good is this Cupid Slayer build at the moment. I don't think it's going to be that powerful. Uh, would a bad L get much from Slayer? Um, uh, he is probably good as a four-piece turn meter, like a four-piece boost, you know? That's what that's what Slayer can be quite good for. It's like just, just a nice turn meter booster. I think it's really good for the new High Elf that they've announced. Slayer on the new High Elf is going to be top tier. It's going to be absolutely crazy. That champion would go into my team if I had it. If I could pull... That new High Elf, he would instantly go into one of my teams. So good. It's a bit annoying. Provoke, it's a bit annoying. I'm going to get one shot here. It's fine. So, there we go. All right. Good test. Let's see what it did. The, the new High Elf is probably the best non-void legendary for Hydra in the game. So, it's matching Razzlevarg, but keep in mind Razzlevarg didn't even have increased attack. That's what, I, that's what I'm not sure about the Cupidus. I don't actually know if he... I don't actually know if it's very good. The, conceptually, you would think Slayer on Cupidus is amazing. No, I think the new High Elf's better than Archer. I think it's better than Archer. I know it's crazy to say that, but I think he's better than Archer. Because you can put him in four piece, you can put him in four piece Slayer, um, and you can also put him into... So you've got an option. You can either go four-piece Slayer or you can go six-piece Slayer. If you go four-piece, you can put him into something like Reflex or Cursed. They just... It's just really, really good. The reason why I say it's better than Archer is because there are far few block buff options in the game. And having a max HP block buffs with that much turn meter control is going to be very powerful whereas I feel like you can replace the provoke you can't replace the block buffs as much that's the difference yeah you would put them together you're correct curry <laughs> the new sacred order guy is broken as hell and it's gonna be even worse you know what the new sacred order guys actually let's talk about it quickly let's talk about it quickly because I said we talk about this let's talk about it quickly okay so um, quick TLDR here. Let me go through all this, all this, all this, all this. So, new impulse set. Um, new impulse set is going to be... 
are kind of really good for speed boost champions. Your speed leads where you don't need to go second or don't think or think you can win. It's going to be really good because essentially you get 36%. So basically it's a nerf at four, but a buff at six. Is it better than supersonic? No, personally. And I also think you've with these sets, you've always got to put into the factor of how available is the set. And you're not going to be swimming in impulse pieces, right? So you're not going to find a 400 speed impulse set. You're just not going to have it. But it technically is a better set for, for like your speed lead going first. The reason why I think Supersonic's a little bit better is yes, you lose a little bit more speed, but you gain all the benefits and the perks of having that speed set. So I think like a four piece Supersonic is really good. It saves you about, it basically saves you about 18 speed per AOE buff Supersonic. But as a standalone stand piece, it's better than what it was. But if you look at it, it's technically a nerf at four piece because it's now only 24%, but a buff at six piece. So it depends on how you take it. It will stack separately. It will stack separately. Okay, so it's not... So with itself, it will stack additively. So 12 plus 12 plus 12, right? The 12 plus 12 plus 12 will add together as one count of 36%, one roll. But Impulse will roll separately to Merciless, which will roll separately to Reflex. Now, the problem is, you will never pick this as an off-piece. You'll never pick it as a two-piece. Because if you want the you, if you want the cooldown, you will go four-piece Merciless, four-piece Reflex. 40 plus 30, it's better. This is weaker than both of them. The only time I see this being better is if you go six-piece Impulse for a speed lead. That's the only time. Because otherwise you're just going to want to go merciless, four piece and reflex, because that gives you a better combined odds. Yeah, obviously only if you have accessories. I'm saying in an ideal world. And like, as long as you've been doing some Centronis, you should start be getting, you should be getting some decent merciless accessories. Not many. They don't have to be the best in the world, but just viable, useful. Because all you really want is the effect. You don't care about the stats most of the times when these champions come in. So in terms of those builds, this isn't better. What this is really, really good for is the six piece speed lead. Then it's great. Yeah, it can be. It can be. But this is worse by quite a lot, if you think about it. You're losing 6%. I suppose it's pretty good. I, I suppose that's a fair, fair assessment, Aethel Red. The only thing is you can't run this with Reflex, Aethel Red. So you have to make a choice. Are you basically going to run one reflex, one impulse, which is basically 40% and 12%? Or are you going to run one reflex, one merciless, which is 40% and 30%? So it is a big difference. It's a massive difference. And remember, they roll separately. So it's not like it's a 52% chance. It's like I can tell you the odds. It's basically going to be if you had merciless, which is that times that. What was it? 40% plus 70%, right? You get about a 58% chance, give or take, if you get um, Merciless. You get at least one proc, right? So if you have Merciless Reflex, it's about 58% chance you get at least one cooldown reduction. With this one, it's going to be, with Merciless One Piece Impulse, it's going to be, idiot, 47%. So it works out around about 11 to 12% better that you run Merciless than an Impulse on average. Uh, this will probably take effect Tuesday when the Fusion comes out. So it's not terrible. It's just that if you had an optimal window, it would be four Merciless, four Reflex. I wouldn't go this one. What this is really good for, I think, is like the speed leads going hard. But I just don't think you're going to get enough accessories. So it doesn't really, does it really matter. Does it really matter? Because like trying to get impulse out of a 35 wins from Live Arena is like pulling teeth from like, you know, it's just gonna be impossible. Um, zeal is another similar thing. They've basically made four piece zeal worse, but made six piece zeal better because you're gonna get 60% crit damage. And uh, was it 36% bonus damage? Six piece zeal might be very interesting for some situations. Like for example, one big thing that I didn't realize, they missed, they missed, they incorrectly had the description. They put the description in the game based on assuming that the target 
HP was the thing you were checking. So it would be like, if the target's HP is at 100%, it was wrong. Actually, it's always been your champion. So as long as your champion is at full HP, you can get 60% crit damage and 36% bonus crit damage if the if you're on full HP. So, well, no, because the damage component is worse. Because you used to get 7.5%, right? So 7.5% times uh, 4 would be 30. Now you're only going to get 6%. So you're losing, like, 6% bonus damage. So whilst you're getting a bit more crit damage, you're actually losing bo out on bonus damage output. So for me personally, like, what, was it the math? Maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe it's, like, 9% better. Because you get the extra crit damage. Crit damage is a bit weird. It's different to a multiplier though. It should technically be linear, I guess. I'm thinking out loud here now. Maybe it is better, actually. Maybe it is better. Anyway, it's still better overall. Whether it's better at four piece or worse at four piece. Technically, you lose the benefit at four, right? So the 7.5% is about 1.5% weaker. But you do gain 15% crit damage. So yeah, so is it better overall? Well, I'm now going to get 24 plus 40, which would have been 64, where before I would have got 7.5 times 4, which would have been 30 plus 25. Yeah, it's worse. No, it's better. Yeah, it's better. It's better by 9%. It's slightly better. It's slightly better. So the old way would have been 30 plus 25, so you would have got about 55%. It's not quite the same because they're separate multipliers. Where this tip, where you're going to get 40 um, plus 3 times 4. Or 6 times 4. So you're at 64. So it's 9% stronger at 4-piece. But now it's a 2-piece set, you can go up even higher. So 60% is way stronger at 6-piece. This is really, really good for Shamiel. Mostly. This is really, really good for Shamiel's A2. Whether or not it's, it's, it's better than Ignore Defense with a Helm Smasher proc on the A1, I don't know. But the, the type of champions that ignore 100% defense. This. Rathalos. Rathalos A2. This could be insane for Rathalos A2. Straight up 36% more damage. Straight up. I don't know why they're uncommon. They probably should have done it. Those, those missions are nasty, lads. It should take you, on average, about 2,500 energy to get all five. It's about, you get one mythical per 20 runs normally on average, lads. Make sure you run in hard mode, though. That's on stage 10 hard as well. Better than Rathalos, nine-piece Slayer. Rathalos shouldn't be in Slayer set. Rathalos is not not a good Slayer set. So this would be really good for Rathalos if you didn't want to run the Reflex Merciless build, which is what we'll be building today. Um, Manaya looks like a pretty good healer. Not too bad. Queen Eva absolutely could be a, in a Hydra team. This is going to hit really hard, I think. She could be an interesting Hydra option. Um, the Calamitous looks a bit meh. I'll be honest. He's kind of like got a, a Romantu A2, but it's not got like... If this had decreased crit rate... This would be a very good Riho sub. But for a mythical champion, he just feels a bit meh. You know, like you could be getting a Lazarius. You could be getting an Alaz. You could be getting a Garol. You could be getting... Um... What's the other one that I keep forgetting? Not Androk. Um... Galathe. You could be getting all of these crazy champions. Or you could get a Calamitous that basically does what... I mean, it's cool that he ignores Life Barrier and Poison Cloud and Alley Protection, but is that really worth it? He's all right. I think he's a bit meh. Uh, Toshiro, this is going to be nuts. This passive, each hit increases his champion's attack and HP by 5% up to 100%. So basically, he's going to do 5%. Like double damage. I'm pretty sure his multipliers are attack and HP as well, from what I've seen from te the test server content creator videos. I'm pretty sure his attack and HP is, multi is both. So he's going to gain 100% of both multiplication stats. And 
He also increases his damage by 15% for each enemy under leech. So in Hydra, that's 15% times 4. So that's like, what, 15, 30, 45, 60% bonus damage. And he will increase 25% more damage against leech. He is going to wreck. Absolutely wreck Hydra. Absolutely. This guy is going to be insane for damage on Hydra. The only problem is, just like I said before, you could be pulling Lazarius, you could be pulling Alaz, you could be pulling Galathe, you could be pulling Garol, you could be pulling Crixia. Do you really want someone who just does a bit more damage on Hydra? As a mythical option. If he was a legendary, fine. Mythical? I don't know. I don't know. His alternate form is a bit like Aphidius as well. I feel like his alternate form is a bit of an Aphidius thing where it's like, would you ever change out of his base? Probably not. Uh, we've talked about the fusion. I, we haven't really talked about the fusion. I think the fusion is better than Necmothar. And the only reason why I think it's better than Necmothar is because it gives you weaken. And increased attack. It depends on your team balance. If you already have Mithrala in your team, you probably go lean a little bit more towards Necmo because you get more turn meter filling. But she enables a more offensive style damage team. She's She is the only champion in the game, by the way, that has weakened, decreased speed, and increased speed in one kit. Frostbringer has increased speed and increased attack on an A3. But she is the only champion in the game that's going to have this combo skills. So it makes her quite unique. I don't really understand the sleep on the A1. It's almost like they're trying to force her into arena when probably we're not going to use her in arena, right? But the fact you also get an extra turn and it's for three turns and it books. So this is basically a four turn cooldown with an extra turn. So effectively, these are on permanently permanently on as long as she's the fastest champion they're on permanently you also get decreased defense uh, decreased speed and weaken on permanently pretty much because it's a two for three for two is pretty good and this heal could be quite good as well if you put her in like curing set every single time she takes a turn and you're you know when you fill their turn meter all allies will get a bit of healing you can restore some max hp at the same time so she be, could be quite good in curing set in hydra she'd be great for uh, any fire knight team that comes up um, this guy. <sighs> you know how I've sat here for many hours complaining about Ultimate Death Knight. And do you know what they've done? They've now made Ultimate Death Knight that you can't kill that actually one-shots you with Siegfried. This guy is probably going to be broken on release unless his multipliers are terrible which i don't think he's basically ultimate death knight with siegfried's a3 he's that broken he's so broken so let, let me just explain why okay so firstly decreases the damage taken by this champion by 10 percent for each turn taken by an ally or enemy before this champion resets next turn resets so after the enemy takes 10 turns he's immune to damage So if you've taken 10 turns between you, he's immune to damage until he takes a turn. And if you bring three allies, you can't even lock out his abilities. So you think, okay, fine, maybe he's not going to hit too hard. No, 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 no. Because he's going to use Burning Courage. This is where it gets more fun. Attacks one enemies... Aren't you killing him in 10 turns? Well, not if you put him in two turns stone skin. How many how many turns have we taken waiting for the ultimate death knight to take a turn? This is what you've got to do. Put him with zero speed. He doesn't need anything else. Put him with zero speed and watch as you you spend you get a turn, you take a turn, they take a turn, you take a turn, you take a turn. Yeah, it's additive, of course it is. Why would it not be additive? Decreases the damage taken by this champion by 10% for each turn taken by an ally. Well, 10% times 10 is 100. It's not going to go 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. No, no, no. It's going to go 10 plus the number of turns taken. Once it reaches 100, you are immune to damage. This, that's the only way it could work. There's no way that it could be multiplicative. That would just make the whole equation way too complicated. I'm sure it's not going to be like that. I would be pretty confident he's going to be additive. Um, so yes, yeah, so you put him in stone skin, right? And then you have this ability. 
Attacks one enemy. Before attacking, removes all buffs from the target. It's kind of annoying. You could get polymorphed. You don't really want that, but here we go. Uh, damage increases by 20% for each buff removed. So if you do survive the polymorph and you steal like, I don't know, five buffs. Great, you got 100% more damage, okay? Before attacking, we'll steal those buffs and you cannot resist it. So you, if you have one Sacred Order, then the damage inflicted by this skill increases by 20% for each turn taken by an ally or enemy before the enemy. So if, you've, if, you, if you're at 10 turns, now he's going to steal 5 buffs. That's 100%. Then he's going to get 10 times 20%. So that's 200%. So we've got a 300% bonus, or basically 200 plus 100% bonus. And then he bet, gets Siegfried's A3. So we're basically talking about a champion that you can't kill that's going to have a Siegfried A3 that's going to get 200% and 100% bonus. And the best part, if you're attacking anyone from the Demon Spawn, Night Revenants, Undead Hordes, or uh, what's the last one? Dark Elves. He will, he'll never use his A1. He'll keep using Burning Courage, even if it's on cooldown. Yeah, but it's Sacred Order. They could all die. It doesn't really matter. It's Cardiel. Like, we, we could easily construct a very annoying team that, that works with Sacred Order. It's, um... He's, he's amazing for clan boss as well. Damage inflicted by the skill increases by 5% for each buff and debuff on the target. So if the clan boss has 10 debuffs, that's like 50% damage bonus. He will also ignore 25%. So he could get a 50% damage bonus and ignore 25% of defense if there's no buffs. Yeah, Cardiel, Venus, Cupidus, Falmund. Siegfried, you could put them both together. You can't ban either of them out if you put them both together. He is basically Ultimate Death Knight meets Siegfried. It's it's mon it's mon it's monstrous to me. No, probably not because you will eventually take turns, right? It resets at the end of the turn. I mean, even, by the way, even if it's not additive, it's still pretty incredible that he just takes no damage. Like, you'd still put him in two-turn stone skin, right? Super slow, because you actually want to build up his A2. Yeah, it resets at the end of his turn, so you have to restart the stack. Uh, I have an MJT, because it's really technical. It won't work at the moment until I fix it, that, so it's not technical. Uh, would, how would his A1 work if it's part of Cardiel? He'll use A3. Just like when... Um, what's his face? The Barbarian dude. When he counterattacks with his A3. It'll just basically target this and use that. I think Ava's going to be very strong. Uh, no, I don't think you... Uh, I think you would run in with some speed. He's not a Hydra champion. He's, a, he's an arena champion. He's an arena champion and he will absolutely dominate an arena. He's so strong. He's probably the strongest unity we've had. He's probably the strongest unity champion we've had so far. I mean, basically, if you don't kill someone, you get a 100% chance to place true fear on all enemies and it's guaranteed. Which means it probably bypasses block debuffs. If that guaranteed works exactly the same way as Baron's A2, you probably place a true fear on all block debuffs enemy. So... It's nuts. Yeah, but Siegfried's not getting fight, like 200% bonus damage. That's what you've got to remember. Excess damage is not about... All, all these secondary hits is all about the first hit. The first hit. That's what it's all about. So you basically want to make sure that the first hit is really, really big. So he's getting so much damage multiplication on his first hit that it will overwhelm and overcome the problem of he doesn't critically hit on the second hit. He can still multiply it by masteries, by books. He can still multiply it by um, things like uh, weaken. All those things will still increase. It's going to work like Wukong's ability. All the other stuff still multiplies it. It's just not going to get his crit damage bonus. So... Yeah, I mean, our mans can counter it, but our mans can counter Ultimate Death Knight. He's still a problem. You ban the Armands. That's what I'm saying. 
So I, all I'm saying is he will absolutely be on the tier of Sun Wukong and um, and Siegfried when you build him correctly. Because you'll just be able to build up this massive pile of multiplication and off you go. So it'll be fine, you know? I think it'll be absolutely good. He's also, by the way, excellent for soloing some stuff. He's going to heal on his A1. So if you need him for Borgoth, you've got a Borgoth champion straight away. He's going to overheal with his shield. So he actually will be quite tanky to keep alive on waves as well, which is quite nice. I really like him. Um, anyway, Wallmaster Authorian. The reason why I think he is the best non-void legendary for Hydra. Block buffs. There are so few good options for block buffs in this game. You've got Feral. You've got that. You've got, what's it? You've got Feral. You've got Supreme Gaelic. You've got two Hanarak. Both of those two avoid legendaries. You've got Ugo. Then you have Uko, which is not very good. Ugo's not good for damage. And you have affinity issues a little bit with that. But you, you'll get it with this. But you have basically, you know, no damage there. And then you start running out of writing Monkey. Mon Wukong can work, but not great. Gurp Tech is okay, but, you know, no damage. So... Yeah, Archbishop as well. But a lot of those block buffs champions are not damage orientated, right? They're like support. The only one that is damage orientated is probably Supreme Gaelic. And I forget the other one. There's one more that's damage orientated. Feral, just because he gives you damage. What this guy is going to give you is enemy max HP on the A2, which is a double hit. So you get double enemy max HP AoE with block buffs and decreased attack. But the most important thing here is, oh yeah, I forgot about Ostrox. Ostrox is not bad. Is this fill this champion's turn meter by 5%? If you've got four enemies, which you always have in Hydra, he's going to get 20% turn meter back every single time he attacks because it's on his A1 as well. What's more important is you put him in a four-piece Slayer set or even six-piece if you've got it so that you get the ignore defense to help his A2. You now get 40% turn meter boost. Then you also have increased attack, increased accuracy, increased speed with an extra turn on a four turn cooldown for three turns. So you can go, you get this basically this concept where you go forever marked, extra turn, A2, 40% turn meter back, A1, 40% turn meter back, counter attack, 40% turn meter back. You get around the problem of affinity because he's getting back around to this A2 probably before the enemy even takes a turn due to the volume of turn meter control. Also increases this champion's max HP by 20% every time you decapitate the head. They're starting to realize that killing enemies, you need to decapitate in Hydra. So he's going to give himself 50k free HP. So you can make him a mischief tank because he's going to have three buffs. You might not have an AoE increase accuracy. Make him the mischief tank, put a bit of resist on him. He's then a block buffs, mischief tank, decrease attack, enemy max HP, and he rotates significantly quickly. That's why I think he's one of the best, if not the best for it, because you can replace a Provoke. You can replace a Hex. It's so hard to replace damage with block buffs. You always either have to bring damage and block buffs, or you have to sacrifice one of the two. This guy will bring both. And I think that's really, really good. So... That's why I think he's really good, because I think you can replace Archer. Archer, you, you need to bring decreased speed and... Hex. Well, that's pretty easy to replace. A uh, decrease speed, Hex, and Provoke. You can easily find a lot of decrease speed champions, right? You can bring the new Fusion. You can bring uh, Necmo. You can bring... Um... <sighs> Who am I thinking of now off the top of my head? That's decrease speed. I can't remember. But you can you can replace those champions, right? Yeah, healing is fine. But you, you could front it up by Razzlevarg with Leech, for example. Kimmy, for example, right? Kimmy's block buffs is inconsistent as well, see? Yeah, nine piece will double his attack as well. Yeah, so nine piece is even better with him. I think this guy is so, 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 so good. Uh, you want, ideally you want Gurptuk in protection nine piece, Sanjay, if you can get it. Because the A1 will give continuous heals and that gives you a little bit more damage. It's not required though. Yeah, Kirillin can do it. Yeah, yeah, Kirillin's a pretty good Timia boost. But he is so, so, so good, in my opinion. Uh, Whisper worth in six piece, merciless. Uh, I probably, yeah, it's fun. not merciless. Yes, merciless. Yes, yes, merciless. Sorry. Yeah, can't fix. Yeah, my brain's getting messed up. 
So I think he's really, really good, this guy. This guy, this guy is like top, 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 top tier. Um, I think he's going to be amazing. She is Brent, but remember, you have to replace the decrease speed. So you don't actually get as much turn meter as you think. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, that's what I think about these champions. I think they're really good for things. Uh, five Slayer, four Merciless. Uh, I would probably want to go... Honestly, I don't think you need the cooldown reduction on the skills, John. I think you probably would go six Slayer. Or you would go... Four Slayer, six Merciless. One of the two. But he's double, he's double AoE, so you would just go six Slayer if you could. Nine Slayer is better, but you might not have the accessories, right? Like, if I look at my account right now, do I even have high health accessories, for example? Could I even do it? Let's have a look, out of curiosity. Uh, high elves. Let's see, let's see. Probably not luck. See, I don't even have a Slayer ring. Still very difficult to get Slayer sets, right? Because if you didn't roll them, you didn't get lucky. See, I don't even have a Slayer ring, so I couldn't do nine pieces, so I would go six pieces and find the three pieces elsewhere. You know, if you can, like, get a couple of pieces, then maybe you can get an S spear set. Like, you can go six Slayer um, and, like, a two-piece. But even then, like, I got one down here, which is defense. Um, oh, we do have a crit damage, so I could go one piece there if I ever got him, you know. And then we got a defense resistance so i i could probably go two accessories through uh, was it two accessories and then if i wanted six pieces you'd have to go four and a two piece so you go like four slayer maybe like two impulse or something like that right fill in the gaps maybe too cruel to get some ignore defense there's so much flexibilities you can do with these variable sets it's just a shame they're so difficult to acquire it really is it really is so difficult um, so. Right, where were we before we got sidetracked by that? Figuring out my team. We're not going very efficiently right now. Uh, here's your Rathalos should be in Slayer set. What's the recommendation? So, there's two ways you build Rathalos. I, the way that I've got him built right now is wait the, the version one. Okay? Version one is you basically have him in six pieces of Merciless... And then ideally like two pieces of cruel or whatnot. The idea with this is you're going to use his A3. So we need to ignore the defense on the A3 and the A1. That's why we've gone six piece merciless. The way that we're going to be rebuilding him into is going to be four pieces of merciless with four pieces of reflex. And the reason why is because this ignores 100% of the target's defense on bosses. So what we will do is we won't use A3. And we will try to reset the cooldown of Spirit Step Slash as many times as we can. And basically just use this constantly on Hydra. That's what we're going to be rebuilding him into today as one of my Hydra teams. You can only really use this ability if you have someone that has AoE increased crit damage, which is normally Mikage. If you don't have Mikage or someone of that nature, then this creates a, a mischief problem because he's always going to have one buff that no one else has. And then he always gets eaten by the mischief head, which is really frustrating. You lose a lot of turn meter, you lose a lot of power. So, um, that's the other way. Um, um, I would stick with what you got, Jared. I mean, mine at the moment is in Slayer. I've not really found the value yet. Maybe I just need to go on a lower difficulty to make it work. But that's what mine is in Slayer at the moment. Like 7.1k, 305%. But it's very slow because we need to just like... Ideally, we just need to do this. Let's get out of the way. We get more speed and ideally let's like get a hopefully a decent a decent speed glyph on here or oh, plus one is what we'll get uh is there, is there a use for six star for self uh for self's a great provoker a great damage dealer as well green if you have like crushing rend you can do a lot of damage with self he's one of the strongest hp nukers he just needs cc to, to double hit so, where can you find it without attacking? I'm not sure. We will have something on the website eventually, but we don't have it at the moment. Yeah, at the moment, my Padraig, we actually need to build him out. 
Let me see. Just run a bit of this. Um, so Pedraig at the moment is not built. We're going to build him out masteries here. What do I want his masteries to be? I don't know. Don't. I'm trying to ignore it, Quirty. I can't be waiting anymore. I'm so done. Uh, not for Hydra, no. I think he double hits on Leech. I can't remember what he double hits on. Six star Shamel, Cruelty, or Heaven Cast. Some people would argue you go Crushing Rend, Chase, and you go Ignore Defense, and you make his A1 hit a lot harder. That's one way you can treat Shamel, is if you put his A1 against some heads in decapitation form, his A1 will hit a lot harder. That's one way you can do it. You can go heaven cast. Uh, what blessing would you recommend for a fully blessed Garrel second form? Um, oh, full blessing. Oh, crushing rend. Garrel goes crushing rend. Any six star damage dealer you want to use in PvE has to be crushing rend. It's so good. It's insanely powerful. Uh, recommended blessing for Ragash Arena Nuka. What star rating? If it's like six star, polymorph. If it's not six star, you could go something like Ward of the Fallen to stay alive, or you can go Heaven Cast for more buffs, or you can go something like Life Harvest for more turn to control. Depends what star rating. Yeah, I use I, I use Alatrina at the moment in my Nightmare team, but we need to change him up, so... He doesn't really do debuffs, but we do want to get that, right? Does he even shield? Oh, that's probably okay. How many champs have I rebuilt so far? None, because I'm still trying to figure out who I want to rebuild. Okay, so we're probably going to go something like... Ronda go first or go second nuke. There's not really a go first or go second concept anymore. If I'm being honest. It's very much a... Um... What if I lost him, I guess? I don't really want counter-attack. Counter-attack's going to be a problem. Let me just go with this. We can always reset it. Um, you want him to just be fast. You want him to take a turn. So you just build them with as much damage as you can get with as much that you're willing to sacrifice. Okay, cool. So he's got masteries now. He's not booked, though. That's the only downside. Oh, look how bad my speed banners are. Um... Do I have anything interesting here? Stone skin banner. It's amazing how poor Hydro Clash has been for me. Oh, it's a Merciless. We could go four piece Merciless with him. I'm trying to think if there's going to be anyone that we need that for. I don't know. We'll figure that out in a minute. We're, we're wasting time here. Well, no, we haven't got that. Not there yet. Uh, Five-star polymorph for Armands, yeah. Yeah, because we're trying to figure out the Hydro Teams. The Hydro Teams is always going to be the hardest problem for me because I need to make sure that the teams that I put in there are good to go and are going to be able to do it. I'm pretty confident the top ones are going to be okay because we've got decrease attack, weaken. If I make Newt have resistance, which I could do because... I don't need too much. It could work. Um, Garrel's going to come in for damage with Michinaki damage and Newt damage. It helps us kill the Torment Head quicker because we could just one-shot with Newt. we got double ally attack. 
We've got single cleanse, which is a bit annoying, but we do have provoke. We do have a decreased speed. We do have hex. We have decreased attack. We have weaken. We have decreased defense. We do have Padraig's increased attack as well, actually. There was me worrying about increased attack on that top turn. We have Padraig's passive. I keep forgetting about that. So I'm happy with that one. Then this team here, we need Blade Master, Venus, Alatry, and Blade Master. So that gives us the decreased defense damage setup. We just need an increased attack option. Honestly, I feel like the fusion goes in this second team. I feel like um, the fusion is really, really nicely fitting in this second team because it would give us increased speed and increased attack, which is the problem that I've got here is how do I get increased attack into the team? The fusion could fit in this team. The only thing is I'd have to balance it with Razzlebarg, but that should be fine. What would we need to cover then? Probably just some... Well, we got protection. Just provoke, right? We're going to call Nekmo the fusion. Because that would give us decreased defense, uh, decreased speed, increased attack, increased speed. He gets increased speed leech. And then we probably just need a torment counter here, which probably is probably fine to do a Shamael. Like, if we just do one Shamael, I think it's fine. I think this team is great then. The only downside is provoke. Don't really have a provoke in this team. Oh, ignore the color coding. It means who's built and who's not. We have to fix that. The only problem is Shamael with the fusion with Razavag doesn't go. One of them has to drop. Yeah, because I think Nekmo replaces Razavag. And then that leaves me a spot to basically get like a provoker in. Which is not ideal because there's not many good provokers. thinking maybe Cantra we can decrease speed decrease defense hex uh, see I need another hex champion in here uh, no my spreadsheet's not available but you can find all my champions in the link above um yeah morley revive is a good idea actually morley morley revive would be good gives us a bit of security right generally if you're generally you shouldn't need to revi depend on revive but sometimes it just goes wrong Yeah, exactly. We gotta heal every single time Morley gets a turn, and as long as they are all tied together, that could work. Um So maybe we go Morley. The only thing is Morley is just like it just feels so poor for damage. You know, this team just feels so poor for damage.
because what happens if the head of mischief respawns eats my hex champion and then i can't get hex on that head that's the issue with having one hex champion that's why i always like to have two because you always get the extra chance of getting cursed out in case you need to hit the mischief head uh, i don't know i hate trying to find balance on hydra teams it's so stressful No, it's going to have to be the fusion. The reason why it has to be the fusion is um, that's the one that gives the increased attack. So it's, it's very important that the fusion is there. If you're having an issue with the... Well, be specific about problem with HH Optimizer. What do you mean? Uh, because it's pulling all of my champions so I know what rank they are, whether they're leveled up. Because I can look at every single champion in my account. So I know whether they're rank 6 or not. So like, for example, if I wanted to use Bivold, it would tell me that Bivold is not rank 6. So that's not, a, that's not workable, you know? Yeah, I mean, I could run Duchess Chris. Duchess Chris is a combo. I don't particularly like it because I think it's low damage, but... Like, the Shamael is the damage deal. If we run Duchess Chris, then we have got a big problem. There's no damage in the team. It's just not enough. It needs more. You know, that's the problem. Maybe I should just move the Garrel team to, to Brutal. Maybe I should just use, move the... Maybe I should just do this. Maybe it's just do a Mikage Padrai Garol is brutal. Rebuilds a Nightmare Team around Archer Michinaki. No, Michinaki's got to be... See, the, the problem is these five are fixed. These five are fixed, essentially. Which Blade Master? I got, I got three of them in here. These three are fixed. I can move all these three down into uh, here, right? Let's make screen for that. And just do that. But then, what is my nightmare team? Like, what is my nightmare team going to be then, Shooter? You know, so this would have to go back to Venus. Then we can basically bring, like, Lydia up here. Like, who are we going to really say is my damage dealers? Like, we could put Blade Master back up here. But I feel like Blade Master... Like, as a damage deal is great. I don't really know who to run as Knight... As an Ivory Queen then. Because I've basically committed all my strong champions down into... Into the Brutal and Hard. Hey, honestly, this has stressed me out now. I wanted to do all this prep work earlier in the day, but I didn't have a chance um, to sort it out. Around Newt, you think? I don't have Grizzor, no, unfortunately. Yeah, so I, I know the hard team is good to go. I'm pretty happy with the hard team, so that's fine. Um, no, Blade Master's stronger than Ruel. I could run Ruel up here, actually. That's interesting. 
The only annoying thing is wherever Mikage goes is where Michinaki has to go because of the faction pairing, right? So we, we absolutely need to make Michinaki go with Mikage. That's kind of like fixed in, in position, right? We can't really have any variance from that. Wherever they, those two go, that's where they stay. The other option is we just run, we split up the ally attackers. That's the other option, is we strict, split up the ally attackers and bring Mikage up with Michinaki up into the top row and run something around the Garol Padraig Archer. You know, we don't actually have to have double ally attack, I guess. Like, that's that's not a mandate. Like, it's not mandatory to do that. It's certainly nice to, but it's not mandatory. Where's the Trender team? Here. Just pull Harima. I know, right, Bob? Easy. So... Like... I feel like Blade Master goes very nicely with Michinaki because you get the burns, you you get the setup. Um, so, yeah, you do need burns on him, but Michinaki can provide the burns because that's what I'm saying. If Mikage is with Michinaki, you can force burns on everyone pretty quickly because of the amount of ally attacks he's doing. He's attacking all the time. I don't really feel like that's a problem. Maybe we just do this to this, this, and then this to this, right? So we basically free up that. We bring yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, you need at least two, two minimum, two minimum is the damage dealers. But ideally, you want as many as you can get, right? That's that's the thing. You want to you want to try and get as much damage dealer in your team as you can because you really don't want to be um, you don't want to be slow. You know, we got a lot of burn options. Right, I can run two Messia, I can run Venus, I can run Michinaki, I can run Tila, I can run you know Artak if I need to. I can run loads of different options. Uh, I'm not a fan of Ninja anymore. I thought he was used to be quite good, but I think he's been power crept a little bit. I think there are better options. It's just trying to figure out who goes in with the Garol team. You know, probably Razzlevarg comes back in here. So we get speed, speeds, damage, damage, provoke. And we just need a decreased defense and weaken. can be do I need a weekend yeah I do we could run Balanor it's not the craziest idea it's not the craziest idea to run Balanor I've had crazier ideas I'm just comparing my roster here now to see what I've got. Ah, uh, Vlad, no. He's not very good for here. I'm just thinking, like, I've got Marinix as an option. We've got, um... Bellinor. If we wanted to run it. Like, the Fusion's gonna come into one of these teams, I'm pretty confident. I think maybe the Fusion for even Nightmare Team. I don't know. Because we don't have decreased speed in the Nightmare Team at the moment, and that would be helpful. Bellman brings what? Decreased defense and weaken. Uh, I think Gizmak is very good. 
I think his A2 smacks quite hard. He's very good at getting rid of stone skin. I think he's very good. So this is great damage. And hopefully, like, Razzlevarg will outrun his attack buff. But if we build a fast Pedraig, then obviously Razzlevarg will keep getting attack buff, which is great. We get Provoke, Decrease Speed, which is great. We get Damage. We just need a Decrease Defense, Weaken, and Block buffs, really. So we could go, like, Ugo Fusion. Or we could go Ugo Someone with Weaken. Like Val. Because we don't have decreased attack here at the moment, do we? Which is quite important. So we could put like Ugo and Val. That gives us decreased attack, weaken, decreased defense, block buffs, provoke, Razzlevarg. We don't have a torment solution though with this team. It's the only downside here. Or we basically go Shamiel and then try to find a solution for the block buffs. So maybe we just run without block buffs, which is very risky. Weaken. It's a shame there's no decrease attack. It's a real shame. That could have worked. <sighs> yeah, I don't have a feral. There is a technical way to export, but um, it doesn't work really for most people because it's really difficult to do. Um, the problem with this team is it doesn't have decreased attack, it doesn't have block buffs, and it doesn't have decreased defense. So this is going to get one shot by Wrath. It's going to absolutely get one shot by Wrath. There's nothing I can do about that. So that's not going to work in this setup here. Like, we get good damage source between these two. We get increased speed, but this needs to have, like, a decreased attack as well. This is why I said that that new high elf was why he's very good. It's the only champion that can really do it. I mean, maybe... It's going to have to be this, isn't it? But I've already got to provoke. Everything just doesn't work. I'm so stressed out with this right now. Trying to find the balance between these teams is the hardest part. I'm not I've got I haven't got him in here right now. See if I take Razzlevarg out, then one of the last spots has to be DPS. Newt would be better in Nightmare. Yeah, I know. I wanted to do this a couple of days ago, but I haven't had a chance. This is this is why I was a bit frustrated they did the re-gearing on Sunday. Today is like the only day that I've been able to look at stuff to do. And it's just trying to find the balance and the champions is stressing me out a little bit because um, I do need to know what I'm going to build right now so that I can lock it in so I can keep them locked in. As much as I can get. There isn't really a limit. I, my Nightmare team worked really well with, with Rathalos. The Rathalos and the Nightmare team worked really well. I, I didn't really have a problem with it. It's just obviously I was trying to build the Garrel. So, you know, if I basically restore what my Nightmare team was, it was basically this, that, and then Michinaki, and then Archer, right? So that's my Nightmare team right now. 
So I could absolutely run this team still. This team works. This team is great. It does 300 million. Uh, I do want to read. I do want to change the Blade Master build a little bit because I'm going to prioritize his A2 over his A3. But apart from that, this works really well. I'm pretty happy with it. It's a bit risky if there's a Reflect buff, but we can use Lydia's A3. The Torment head can be a bit frustrating to kill at times, but it works. So it's like, how do we maximize the damage of Garrel? Well, Garrel needs lots of joint attacks. Pedraig feels like a good option to go in there with because we basically get an ally attack. Razzlevarg is great, but again, I don't really know if I want him here. So I need to have, from the rest of this team, another damage dealer. Do you know what I'm actually going to do? Necmo is the fusion. Whisper. Shamiel. Torment Solution. Double damage dealer. Increase cleanse. Do we have a decrease attack? Not yes. No. Decrease speed weaken to set up that. So we need a decrease defense. And a decrease attack. That's more achievable to get as a combo. Do we need a decrease attack? No. Yes, because we're not running Neck Method, we're running the Fusion, which is increased speed, increase attack. Um, oh, wait, I don't need the Fusion. I can run Necmo. Why, why am I talking about that? I don't need the Fusion because we can run Necmo here because we've got Pedraig, which is going to give us increased attack on Garol every single time. Will? Huh. Huh. Thought. What buff does Garol get from... What buff does Garol get from Pedraig? Interesting. Okay, so increased attack. That's what I was just checking. Just checking you get increased attack. Okay, so I, that means I don't actually need to run the fusion. I can run Necromathar because we'll get increased speed, decreased speed, leeched, and decreased attack. Padrai gives us increased speed as a second form, an ally attack, and also uh, a cleanse and a heal, and also the buffs. We got Garol for damage, Whisper for damage. So we need to provide a decreased defense and weaken for Whisper. And then Shamael for Torment and just try to kill things quickly to avoid block buffs. Because we won't have block buffs, right? So the only risk that this team has is what happens if we get Poison Cloud. Well, if we take Lydia out of the, the top team, we need decreased defense, we can strengthen and increase speed on the top team. So maybe, here's the thing, maybe this goes to there... And maybe the fusion comes in here. Let's just call the fusion, I don't know, um, Oella. So maybe the fusion is that. I know, once we get this, it'll go a lot faster. Because if we put the fusion up here, then Michinaki can provide us decreased defense. Blade Master can provide us the support we need anyway. We'll get the burn from Michinaki. We get Provoke, Mikage. So she can give us the increased speed that we need. She can give us the decreased speed we need. Weaken and increase attack across the board. No, we don't because of the fusion, Pappas. The fusion has weaken. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. And then at least with Lydia, we can... If we know that the poison cloud is going to come up, we can always block buffs the, the poison cloud head and kill it. So that we get rid of Poison Cloud that way. Or we can block buffs the Wrath Head. Or we can block buffs the thing, right? So we can use Lydia's A3. I like this team. And I think Garrel Whisper together is very good damage. Does that work? What do we think? Shooter, are you still here? 
What do you think? Oella is the fusion. Okay. Oella is the fusion. It's not going to let me because it's linked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The brutal team feels good now. Uh, why not use Val instead of Whisper? Um, Whisper will output more damage than Val, probably. My Whisper will, anyway. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that was the theme. Uh, where's the Hex? Uh, Lydia's in Hex. So we would have, like, Lydia in Hex, um, and we could also put, like, um, Nekmo in Hex if we wanted to. We would need a Provoke, though, so we'll probably have to run Nekmo and Provoke. Like, we'd need someone in Provoke here, because we don't have a Provoke guy, I've just realised. But we could always run, like, um, Nekmo Provoke and Lydia Hex. Because you absolutely want an AWA one Provoke. Um, and it's not so bad with the Provoke set here, because you get an ally attack, so you get an extra shot at it. Is there a block buffs in this team? Um, no. <laughs> we'll run the risk. doesn't look like it. I can't fit him in. You know, I could always run uh, a damage neck, uh, damage hex Shamael as well, so we could have a chance at placing hex. Although you do want AoE, which, you know, it does make it a bit more awkward. I am a bit nervous about running one hex set on Lydia. It's not great. Oella is the fusion. Oella is the fusion. There's not enough damage, if that's the case, shooter. There's just nowhere near enough damage on that team. If we did that. Yeah, the Oella is the fusion because I haven't got it, so... Uh, I'll try Skrelia. I'll try Skrelia. Um, yeah, four-piece Provoke, four-piece Slayer. Yeah, that's the only problem if I put Uko into Team 2 against Whisper. I don't think there's enough damage in there. So maybe... Yeah, I mean, uh, it could replace Lydia, but then we need a decreased defense. And we don't have a decreased defense option, right? That's the problem. I mean, it's not that Shaman... I want three damage dealers. That's what I'm saying. I, I would want three damage dealers. You know, we can kind of get a feeling of it. Yeah, but it's not a problem, actually, Shooter, because I don't run an AoE HP burn to begin with. Because it's Mikage A1, he burns pretty much everything. I've been running it perfectly fine, trust me. I've been running it a lot. He will burn everything so quickly because he's always getting on a counter-attack and he's always getting it with... Um... Like, this is the team here. So, like, for example, I'll show you. Nightmare team. Uh, let's just put this over here. It's always nice when everyone, when we all get feared. I hate the set for this team. Out of Venomage, Ultimate Death Knight, Herndig, Artak or Bad L, who would best fit solo? Bad L. Uh, Bad L would. Yeah, but I'm also conscious that Newt is in my Finite Hard team, and anything that I do to make him work in Hydra is going to slow him down in Finite Hard. Simply because, um, like, simply because we'd have to put resistance on him, so it will slow him down. Yeah, I only manual, though. I literally only manual, so.
He's not the best affinity this rotation is dear old Michinaki. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. That's why that was a mistake, because we didn't get a provoke. I should probably find those burn. Oh, I almost killed myself. It's always fun when you make mistakes, like what I've just done here. I made so many mistakes because I didn't use my right setup. Okay. I'm gonna try again. You need to make sure you pick the area that you're attacking in it be, otherwise it will not know what defense to use. Vote. Lydia against the Torment Head is really frustrating. So if I can get her into a team with Shamael, it's so much better. Because she's just so frustrating to fight with this. Because she keeps con constantly counter-attacking. There's not much I can really do about it. Uh, then... Burn. See what I mean? It's very easy to get burns up with him with Makage, specifically. Specifically with Makage, he's very easy to do. The only downside is I messed up because I, I, I meant to put... I meant to put block buffs up on the, the, the torment head, uh, on the, the reflect head. That's how you set this up. So I hear, for example, normally I try to do A2. If I if I don't, I need to restart. It's just really frustrating because of the, the suffering head. Wow, this is it. Maybe the fusion can't go in this team. See, this is what's meant to happen. You put block buffs up there, burn it out. Then we can get hex out here. I probably should have A2 there, to be honest. Then we get first cleanse, get rid of the fears. Uh, I attack this. There's a burnout there. Decrease speeds. Uh, we can just AOE here. A1 over here. head over here now because it's got burn so this is the team that i've been running for nightmare and once it gets past this initial awkward setup phase which is always a bit of a pain in the backside because of the the torment head it's um it's pretty stable it's just i have to make sure i play it properly and not mess up which i have a habit of doing with this team and normally because it's nightmare you get away with things like um, you don't get it up as much. You don't have the torment up, up as much as you normally do on other other difficulties if it's in starting rotation. So it makes it a little bit easier. So you can see how much damage I do to single target when I hit it. And once this head dies, 
which should be any moment now. That's a bit annoying. Well, that's a bit frustrating. Can we just kill this head? Apparently not. Now we got that fear. Thankfully that wasn't a true fear. Okay, so it should all die after this one now. And now hopefully we want to kill the head on the right. Because we want to reset to a meter. Oh, that's really frustrating that it did that just at the moment that I wanted to kill it. So you can see, like, even though I don't have full AWE HP burn shooter. I'm burning these heads very consistently because of Mikage. Uh, like, so for example, I could hit this. No, I didn't get it that time. It's unfortunate. No, we're pushing. I have a video on the channel, Cucumber Drick. There is a video there with all the stats you need. We just did a 1 million A1 there. So, yeah, so. That's the team I'm running. It works quite well if Lydia stays in the team. But if Lydia drops out of this team, then it's it's going to struggle for Nightmare. It works great for Nightmare once you get past that initial setup. But for if I lose Lydia out of that team, it's not going to work. So Lydia would have to stay in that team. If we're going to not change the Nightmare team and instead just basically make something out of this. It's just who do we fill the spot? Who do we fill the spot that's going to have decreased defense as well? I don't have access to the new fusion. Yeah, I feel like this, just leave it as it is. I feel like just leave it as it is. Another Michinaki, right? It's just, who do we put up with this, you know? Refresh the web page, blah, it should recover it. It should do anyway. Check mine's still there. Yeah, my lock stats is still there, so. Uh, Ugo could go there. That would give us block buffs and decreased defense, and then we could run provoke. And we could run. Actually, we could run. Uh, we wouldn't have weaken then. We need weaken. That would require us to then drop Nekmo Thar for the fusion, which would then require us to have increase, uh, decreased attack, which we don't have, which would then require us to run something else like that. That's the problem. No, I'm not a fan of Affinity Breaker. We're going to have to do it tonight, Castle. Why do you think I'm prior trying to prioritize this at the moment before I start rebuilding everything? Why did you want to build? Oh, this is just basically me saying this is what my clan boss team is going to be. I'm going to be rebuilding it down so it's less strength. Shadow side. Once we've finished this Hydra team, I'm going to be rebuilding everything down for different areas so that they, they I can move my gear around. Um...
Um, not at the moment because it's tied specifically to the way that I've coded it, so it wouldn't work for someone else. Um, what do you think about losing Leech in favor of the Fusion's Weaken? It's fine. The problem is it's the decreased attack that I lose if I drop Necmo. If you drop Necmo, you lose decreased attack, which means that I have to find decreased attack from someone else, which means that probably, like, probably Whisper's the problem here. And if we just run Val, that gives us decreased attack and Weaken, and then we can run Ugo. We can run Ugo in Hex, and we can run Necmothar in... And then we can run the Fusion. Well, the problem is Val is kind of the Fusion. That doesn't make sense either. That doesn't really make sense either. Because Val is the Fusion. It's like, who do we run with weakened damage, basically? And I generally find that when you run in Whisper, she needs more than herself to basically set up the Weaken. She's not good enough on her own. She needs someone else to set her up. That's what I find anyway. Yeah, I mean, I could just run Necmo, Padrai, Garol, Val, Ugo, Shamael. That's three damage sources. It covers everything. We don't really have, um, you know, Provoke, Necmo, Hex, Ugo. I just, I would like more than one Hex. If I'm being honest. Newton said a Whisper. I mean, Whisper out damages Newton Hydra. Especially Brutal. Whisper will out damage a Newton Hydra. For Brutal, that is. Ruel. What does that give us? It gives us a single target decreased defense. Hex. I mean, it, it just gives us Hex. Um, I don't really think it gives us much more. It's just trying to find this three balance. I mean, Uko is not bad. Uko could come in nicely. And Uko as well would give us decreased accuracy. So we could run an Uko. And he's already built for, like, Provoke at the moment. And I probably wouldn't re-gear him because he is built in Provoke in, in, like, the good Provoke gear that I have. So we could literally leave him in here. Put him in the lead. That's block buffs and Provoke and decreased accuracy. And decreased attack. Which means that frees up a lot of opportunities for us now. Because we can now basically need... We need decreased speed in here. We don't need block buffs anymore. Yes, there's a bit of problems around, like, respawning with Uko, but we can work around that. Um, we need a decreased defense is the main thing we need here, and, and a weaken. So the fusion could be a weaken. So I, I do think the the fusion works well with Whisper, but not without the decreased defense then. So I'd need a decreased defense here. Now I know we want block buff Wrath. He will as long as you block buffs him before Wrath procs. That's the key thing. Yeah, Wrath is, is seriously nasty. No, they don't. Look. 
Oh, Wrath's not in rotation. I can't show you. I, I can show you if when we do a run later. They they're definitely fine. Yeah, it does work. I've used it before. It's working for me anyway. Uh, Akimtum's passive can trigger Warmaster, yes. I did not want this entire stream to be figuring out a Hydra team. But it is where we're at, at the moment. Until I figure this out, I can't really re-gear anything. If I run Ugo, I'm not running Ugo. That's the thing. If I run Ugo here, then that's decreased defense and block buffs. But then we need a block buffs here. Uh, then we need a... Um, we don't need to run uh, that. So we need a Provoke set or we need a Provoker. So that is either going to be... Um, that's either going to be Morley or it's going to be Necmo in Provoke. Because it can't be the Fusion in Provoke. So that means we go Necmo... Which means we have increased speed, decreased speed, leech, decreased attack. But then we need weaken. So, and I don't really feel like I want to run Val here. And Val is the best weakened DPS that I could possibly put. But I wouldn't want to run Val here. Might just run Kutraxa. <laughs> that would be funny. Should actually do a good job, actually. Unless we just run Weaken with A1. Um... Oh, it's the Hex I didn't have a very good option for, did I? It was the Hex I was concerned about because there's no Hex team in. There's no, like, dedicated Hex champion. And I, I would have to run Necmo and Provoke. So Necmo would have to go to Provoke. Which means that really the only um, Hex champion we've got is Ugo. That's not enough for me. I feel like I need another one. Which means then whoever comes in has to be Hex Weaken. Which is Clear Terex. He's not going to do that, you know. Well, if Archer comes in here, then Archer comes out of Nightmare. Mithral instead of Padrai, but then where does Padrai go? What does Jag do? Jag doesn't do hex. I mean, he does debuff spread, I guess, but. He'd be a nightmare though for be a nightmare. Maybe Padraig is the problem. Maybe Padraig just has to come out, but you lose so much value if you don't have ally attack with Garrel. Increase attack, uh, continuous heals, increase speed, cleanse, ally attack, passive buffs. How do you get your Renegade to not die in Shogun? Reaction, lots and lots of health, highest crit damage. Bolster set as well, like a shield set. Yeah, no, because then I have no provoke. That, that's the problem is, there's always a problem when I take someone out of something and I put someone else in. I'm losing something that I can't replace. Archer's replacing so many roles. So, can you swap Rathalus with Garrel? Some idea. 
I mean, I'd have to find a burn for this team now. You know, I'd have to make a burn available for this team. This just goes to show, by the way, guys, how difficult it is to come up with a balanced Hydra team. Just to try and find some balance in the team that makes sense, that you cover everything that you need. This is the challenge. So, yeah, so like if Blade Master comes out of the top team, then I need a burner for the second team, which just creates another problem. At the moment, at least, I don't need burn for the second team. So, that is going to be a problem. Scrank, burn, and weaken. Mm, it's a bit. It's okay. It doesn't really solve the decreased defense problem, though. Knight, uh, Nigeris. This is why I don't like Shamael, by the way. All he does is do damage. It's the same problem with Whisper. All they do is do damage. And you just, you can't fit it in. I mean, we got decreased defense, so we could potentially go this. What if we put that to that, that to that, and then take that out? And then. Oops. If we then figure out how to bring a burn with weak gun, does that give us everything we need? Team 2 is a little bit squishy, I'm not going to lie. Team 2 is a little bit squishy. Ooh. That's an interesting idea. What about this? Well, no, we need the burn for Blade Master's passive. So what about Kyoku? Because Kyoko will place HP burn on enemies that are already under decrease attack. And we're going to be putting decrease attack out all the time with Nekmothar. And Kyoko would give us ally protection and also an emergency heal and an A1 weaken with some damage. I know it's A1, but at least Pedraig will pull proc it with the A1. Yeah, yeah, but she'd be the mischief tank, right? She'd be the mischief tank. So we'd put lightning cage on her and make her the mischief tank. That could work. Because likelihood is she's going to burn more than she's going to do anything, right? In hex set. Yeah, that's it, QWERTY. Because that way then at least I've got double hex. The only problem with Skrank is he's very squishy. He's very squishy, right? That's the only problem with Skrank, is he is incredibly squishy. So if we basically take this out, take this out, take that out, take that out, take that out, we're going to bring, like, Shamael. Okay. Uh, put him in here. We'll bring Kyoku. We'll bring Nekmo. We'll bring uh, Nekmathar, Kyoku, Pedraig, and we'll go. Okay, right. Um, we'll do that, do we? Oops. Oh, damn it. Yeah, like that. Okay. Uh, awesome. 
Empty mode like this. And then that should be fine. Now, just a, just a conceptual test here, right? So, obviously, Necmo at the moment is in Relentless, not in Provoke. So, let's just forget about that for a second. And Kyoku is in a bad um, build. So, obviously, it would be improved. Can we get three buffs? Yes, we can. So, we get increased speeds. So here's the thing, right? Watch this head here. It should get weakened. There you go. So there's a weaken coming out. We'll eventually get a turn one shot. else finish shooting it with a with a crossbow. Then we burn. Then we burn. Obviously, we would have like proper proper priority here which you know obviously we would have a2 a, i should have a3 into a2 and then we can go in with the slash you you underestimate how much damage rathalos will do when i build him properly i'm not i haven't got him built properly here Current Master Hex are on decreased attack, but just not on um, her. Right, so this is where she'd become the, the, the target now. Obviously, we're not running Provoke Necmo. That would be what we'd be regearing. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, 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 put. Oh, the decapitation bonus, I think, counts as a debuff as well. That's kind of cool. I think this might be the way. This one's this one feels good. That the Kyoku will give us stability, which is what you kind of want. You, you don't want your team to be like super unstable. Obviously, I'd build it with resistance. But I can't A3 right now because we had that block thing. Padrai will also reset durations. So we'll get like some skill cooldowns back from Padrai's A1. Uh, which this could work. Cool. So like, you know, we burn here. The burn's really is, the burn will be consistent because we have Nekmothar. We will basically have that burn up almost all of the time. Considering we've had no like provoke, no cleanse so far. I feel like this is the answer. I'm also having to wait for this. Um, I'm, I'm having to wait for the, the the thing to fall off, the the reflect before I can A2. Otherwise, I'll kill my Rathalos. But this should always give me a buff differential. And Kyoku can hit quite hard. We lose this reflect buff. It's the only problem. The downside is I don't have anything to get rid of reflect buff, which is kind of annoying. So if the block buffs comes up at the wrong time, I just have to be mindful not to get reflected one because I'm losing all my damage at the moment. Like that. See, that's what you've got to be careful of. 
we'll just carry on a second because I just want to see if I can. I, I literally cannot use this. It will kill it. Hence why I'm having A1. <laughs> Until this happened. Now I can do stuff. But obviously Shamail's dead now, so... Maybe that's the team. And just put Garrel in my Nightmare team. So, how good is Garrel in the Nightmare team on its own? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you need gear. Final test, and then we'll actually start playing the game. Uh, play, playing the Rigae game. So, how good is Garol as a setup option here? That's the question now. Did that wrong. I should have blocked that, but it's fine. Hopefully I, I cut in first, get that out. Okay, cool. So now it's a case of how quickly are we able to kill this Torment Head. Feels alright so far. Alright, yeah, you had a stupid thing, it's fine. Be helpful if this burn. Okay, well. <laughs> we basically have double ally attack from the Garrel passive when it works. Uh, I need A1. So I don't get preferred. Nice. Provoke. Oh, I actually pressed the wrong button. Never mind. Gowl's almost killed it. It's almost dead. The nice thing about this team, we get more buffs on Garol, so her A2 is going to be super... Super, like a lot stronger. Right, torment head is down. That that we, I think we killed that quicker than when we uh, killed it with Rathalos, to be honest. I want to kill that head now. Plonk, 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 plonk. Oh, that was nice. There was like two million that. Uh, let's attack this. It's a shame I don't have decreased defense right now. Okay, I think I found the team. I think this is the team. Like, considering we haven't got decreased defense out at the moment. Now we have. Okay, here we go. Damage time. Let's see how quickly we can ramp this up. 18.3 goes to 19.6. 20. Uh, we absolutely don't need that right now. So we just A1. Do that. Uh, we don't need this. Just whack this head over here. 
Wow, we have not got a single counterattack. Okay, now we're talking. Rumor has it Garol knows how to counterattack, but just not often. So we're up to 32 million from that run. And Garol didn't even counterattack once in that cycle. Boom, boom. Whoa, look at that. 40 million. This is nightmare, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, look at this damage. Well, it's only taken us like, I don't know, two hours, but I think I found my nightmare team. I think I found my teams now. This is like the scary part, by the way, because I don't have any decreased attack out. But generally speaking, as long as I have block buffs out, the Wrath Head doesn't really hurt me. Because Alatrian is pumping so much defensiveness into my team. Until I get the decreased attack out, it's normally a bit stressful. See, this is a situation that could be awkward here, where you get like a block buffs, but it's, it's normally okay because I have at least block buffs out on someone. I feel like as long as it's someone that I can attack, I'll keep doing damage. Um, I'm waiting for uh, the last head to respawn because it could be like um, it could be like a head of provoke. Garol is just like swinging. See, Garol is a little bit at risk when I don't have my protections out. So I've got to be careful at the moment because I don't have the increased defense just yet. And now we're in super spot of bother. So I'm just going to heal up. I could transform. I don't think he'll kill me though. Oh, it's fine. That's what I was afraid of, but it's okay. It didn't do any damage to me. Now we get ally shield. Now we're good. Gotta love fears. I love this fear head. I really do not want to kill that head on the right. Because if I kill that head on the right, I'm going to make this torment head. Basically, there we go. That's great. So just do that for a second. Gal smash. Okay, resetting to me is great at this point. Just that to happen. That to happen. Okay, Nakaga's out. Lovely. stop this so the only thing that really makes this team it like super scary is the um it, it is this torment head that's what makes this team scary because look how much it's affecting my performance i've no provoke right now i've got no decreased speed i've got nothing out because of the fear head causing me so many problems there's a very strong possibility that this is going to get a cleanse unless I have Provoke available to me right now. No, I don't. So we're going to get cleansed. Absolutely nothing I can do. So let's just try and kill this out so we at least have a head that we can kill. No, apparently not. Don't poison cloud me now. Don't poison cloud me. Don't poison cloud me. 
Okay, now we're in trouble. I think we're alright though. I think we've recovered a bit. Alright, we're good now. Mostly. Can we stop counter attacking? Eesh. Oh, no! <sighs> Torment Head! And that is the risk with Torment Head. I should have switched her off and waited until I had control. And it was just because I couldn't kill the Torment Head quick enough. I'm actually going to lock in this key, by the way, tonight. So I don't need to re-gear any of these champions because they're all perfectly fine for what we need right now. So... Uh, mine's like 250 or something like that. Honestly, the mistake that I made there is I should have switched her form back, put Unkillable up on it for the time being until I took control of the fight. That's what I should have done. Uh, just Garrel. Honestly, all I wish they would do is just delete Torment Head. I feel like Torment Head is the most disgusting mechanic in Hydra. Because it forces you to build one champion. I hate it. I don't mind all the other mechanics and challenges you have with them, um, like the Poison Cloud and everything else, but the Torment Head is just so dumb. Only Perfect Veil. Yeah, exactly. It should be something better than what it currently is. Because right now, it just feels tr like... It feels like it forces your hand. It feels like you have no choice. It's like, run run Shamael or you're just a useless person. That's what it feels like a lot of the time. That team was actually fine, as I said. I made a mistake because I should have... Um, I should have switched her back to her alternate form to keep her alive. Because of the counter-attack problems. And it's because I just couldn't get the setup with the block debuffs. As long as Alatrian's shield is up here, nobody dies. The problem is when Alatrian's shield is not up, that's when people die. Should have buff removal, so we strip all these away. You know, something like Feral in this team would be great. I'd want to kill this mischief head. So the quicker I can kill Torment Head here, the just the better the whole run is. And it's always fun when it's like affinity issues, like Archer's weak affinity and Lydia, as I said, is not the best here because obviously that's my decreased defense, weak and strength and And she's missed every single time so far. All right, we can kill it now. Kill it. There we go. And once we're in this form, it's like, great, let's go. Full damage time.
The issue I had last run as well, you never really want these heads to to like revive at the same time because you end up in a situation where they're all under like decreased defense buff and you have this problem where you just can't quite get yourself back into sync because you've got to wait for all these debuffs to fall off. I don't think we've had decreased defense and weakened out once this run so far. We actually don't have this for once. It's nice. We might actually be able to get some momentum now. Okay, we didn't get burned that time, which is unfortunate. Nice. Nice. Everything's set up now. Smash, smash, smash. I am Hulk. Alright, Poison Cloud is fine. We're not really worried about that. Decrease defense. Weaken. Boom, boom, boom. We still need... Um, over there. That's what I was waiting for. Do I need to provoke? Probably not. All right. I kind of want to kill this suffering head. I'll get them. Get the AOE penalty away. Nice. This is a better rhythm, even though the damage output at the moment is less when these heads are. Um, when these heads are in this motion where it's almost like you don't have them all out at the same time it's a better balance because you can control when the heads come back up you're not having to like hold everything for certain things like maybe the provoke head's going to be one of the four heads that are going to come out see what I mean the wrath head doesn't even touch me once we have like shield up block buffs on him Right, we want to kill that suffering head on the right now. Nice, boom, boom, boom. It's actually, it's actually quite fun this, to watch them do it. Like the amount of like ally attacks and joint attacks, like it's just constant attack flow. Oh, look at that damage. About to kill a poison cloud head. Lovely. Uh, can we get hex on this? Nope. Nice. I, I just want to try and lock in one Hydra key. Um, just because we've got two to do. So if I could just get a decent nightmare key. Boost. Duke's defense weaken. Smash. Smash. Uh, we don't need to do that right now, so let's just try and get a burn up. Smash. Uh... Oh, look at that. That was like 3 million damage. Because we had all the buffs up on her, right? She gets 10% damage per buff. So those buffs are really really powerful. Uh, do we need to provoke? Uh, we do have a friggin' torment head again. Which kind of sucks. What can you do? Um, I might switch her back into an alternate form for the duration of this debuff. I'm switching it back until this debuff goes off so she doesn't keep counterattacking. That's what I don't want to happen right now. 
So I could do this as a backup provoke as well if I need to. So that's the nice thing about Mythical. Sometimes, especially if you're manual, like you can balance and control it. Uh, right, so we could do decrease speeds. Only thing we got to be careful of here is there is a Wrath head out. Uh, there is a um, Poison Cloud head out with someone consumed. And that person consumed is also without a Hex, which is good. There we go. We need to get that person out yesterday. Um... I'll swap. I'll switch her back now. That, see, that's annoying. We're going to have to basically wait two turns now because I had to basically prioritize getting that out. Oh, man. It's fine. We'll switch her back now. Yeah, I don't know if I can keep it stable, Shooter, and I don't think my focus can keep it stable. Um. Mainly because I'm trying to wait for the Poison Cloud to fall off. I'll switch back now. Now we can start pumping damage again. Okay, Wrath Heads. Okay, we need to make sure we get block buffs out on the Wrath Head, which is great. Okay, cool. So now we use the Hex. I should have A2, not that. Doesn't really matter. Okay, now we've got to kill the Torment Head. Which is going to take a while, but hopefully we can. That's annoying. Uh, why can't she not fear for once in her life? <sighs> Everyone's got fear. Everyone's got fear. It's so frustrating. Everyone's got fear. Let me just kill this head. We're going to get another Poison Cloud in a minute. If we can just kill this head before the Poison Cloud comes out, that would be wonderful. Come on. Please. Please, just kill the friggin' head. There we go. Oh. I lose so much damage when that Torment head is up. It's so frustrating. Boom. Look how much better this is going to be now. We can start ramping up again. Let's go. Um, whack that. I know, it's just nonsense, isn't it? It's so difficult to work around that Torment head. And it's not even like it's fun either. It's just frustrating. Oh, 
that hurt a bit. It took a bit of damage there. Should be okay. Yeah, he's gonna heal up there. Lovely. Full heal. Probably shouldn't have used the provoke there, but hey. There we go. Look how much better it is once we actually get some killing going. They're all going to respawn all at the same time, just as I use my provoke as well, which is stupid of me. Thankfully, they're all dead. Oh, come on. Can I have just one rotation without a torment header? I don't know why I did that. It's going to get cleansed. Oh, all right. Freaking had fear on me. It's fine. Okay, so we're probably going to get poison clouded. So we absolutely need to make sure we're going to burn on him. Lovely. Might as well just whack this head for as much damage as we can. Every once in a while, Lydia has basically feared on every single time she's used A2 with a fear. every single time and that's why it's so frustrating because it's like fear is meant to be 50 percent of the time it feels like it's happened every single time and now she's getting absolutely hammered luckily we we could do that Okay, Hex is out, so we get some healing again. So now we're back on the mission of can we kill the Torment Head? A1 for now. At least there's no Wrath Head to really run the risk. Like, it's only really truly a problem when there's a Wrath Head out. As long as there's no Wrath Head out, it's normally okay. There you go, another fair A2. Every single A2 she's feared on. Every single every single A2 she's had a fear on. It's almost down now. Come on. Kill it off. Finish it off. There we go. No more. Oh, come on. There we go. No more fears. Great. Awesome. All right. We have no decreased defense for that boss right now, so it's a bit of a problem, but I'm sure we can make it work. Give me back my Lydia. Where's my Lydia? Come on. There she is. Yay, we don't have a torment head. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. There's no torment head. We might actually be able to get some sustained DPS out. Oh man, there's a reflect buff. Do 
The only good news is we can reduce the duration on this team. Uh, you. He should be okay. As long as I don't... I might have to switch form. I'm going to switch form. We've got to avoid the reflex buff for a couple of turns. Otherwise, she's going to die. <laughs> Very quickly. Oh, man. I haven't, I, I haven't seen the last time that decreased defense and weakened happened. There we go. Oh, I probably didn't need to switch forms in hindsight because I forgot I've got Michinaki's removal. turn before I can switch back. Make sure you don't do that anymore. It's looking good though. I mean, it's at 100 million and... You know, it's probably like... Not been run optimally. I shouldn't have done that because this is going to pop out. This is for sure going to pop out the provoke head now that I've just used the provoke at the wrong time. Oh, it's Torment again. <sighs> Didn't even get any opportunity to use any sort of damage. The problem is, I, the only way I solve Torment... I don't even know how I solve Torment on this team. I don't even know the solution for the Torment on this team because I can't fit a Shamael, I can't fit a Duchess, I can't fit a Feral because I don't have him. I don't even know how you solve it. You don't. You just kill it. No, Alatrian is so, like, providing so much that Duchess just doesn't do. Like, shields, increased defense. If anything, it would have to be Mithral and that doesn't really solve the problem either. Look at it, it's all friggin' fear and... Oh my god, I actually landed an A2 during a fear. Amazing. Put that dead. Um... Kill the rat head off. You don't understand how I can do it. Well, it's mostly okay. It's just when it's not okay. <laughs> like, you see how quickly I can kill it once I get a bit of rhythm? As long as it's like at least one or two decapitated heads available. Because of the, the way the hex works, we will do a lot of damage. It's just if we get into a particularly bad run of it, where we get lots of fears in one go, and then we just don't get this down. A2 is really important from the, from the, the Lydia more than anything else. Because once you have decreased defense and weaken out, then this does 1 million damage and we kill things a lot quicker. See the next basically next attack the head is dead now we no longer have fears now we can actually go ham. It's just whether or not we actually have anything left to go ham with. Whatever we don't really care. 
care about that. Nice. Defense weaken. And that is the problem there now, because we're going to get a cleanse and watch these two heads spawn just before that head takes a turn, which means that now we can't do anything. Oh, it's so frustrating. So incredibly frustrating. <sighs> well, there's nothing I can do. Just keep killing. And what should be the Torment Head that pops up? It's for sure going to be the Torment Head. We've rebuilt 80 today, Darkie. I've rebuilt zero. Because we've been trying to decide what to build. But after this Hydra Kia saving, we are going to be building stuff. Oh, good. No torment. That's great. That's I can work with that. Wrath is less of a problem. As long as I get a block buffs up now. Uh, I don't want reflect. Just got to play this carefully. As long as I play it carefully, I'm okay. Which is basically... Get A2 out. I might actually switch her out at the moment just to keep her safe. I don't want any more counter-attacking right now. I just don't want to counter-attack at the moment and speeding up the Wrath's head. Basically, need to just get back around to the A2. We get a provoke out now. Get rid of the buffs. Put that up. I think I'm okay now. I just need to get um Oh, it was close. What a live arena, Cintranos. Uh, yeah, Cintranos, that we probably will get there before reset. I'm going to run this up as high as I can and then I'm going to save it. I want to wait one more turn. As we can. Switch form. Ew. Kill off the poison cloud. Lovely. I think we're okay now. Yeah, I never really auto Hydra, so it's not really a problem. I should really learn to start holding some of these buffs back, though, until I actually need them. I don't really need to be using A2 there. Make sure you don't get blocked. Thing. Boom. Boom. Okay, what can we get out here? Deep defense weaken. Wow, she's about to get a huge hit. 
She's going to get a huge hit. Look how many buffs she's got. Garrel currently has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is going to do 70% extra damage. Whoa. Well, our fun is pr quickly over because the torment heads back. How fun is that? Just when you're about to have fun, the torment head comes out. It's like, nah, it's not. No, it's time to ruin your fun now. Give me my gal back. Thank you. Daisies blooming. Sundress swaying in the breeze. I can't stop. Uh, we'll see how I go. I might stop at 200. You've put a spell Depends where we're at in terms of things. Yeah, the weather's terrible. Um, we're in Nightmare right now. This is going to be my new Nightmare team with Garrel, I think. It feels pretty comfortable outside of the Torment Head problem. So as long as we don't get as many Torment Heads, it's pretty okay. Whoa, whoa, she went crazy. Boom, boom, boom. This is why I wanted Garrel. Boom, boom, boom. My nightmare record is like three, two, like 220, 230 million. That's probably my nightmare record. No more torment head. Ah, oh, we actually get some uptime and damage. It's a dream. I can't remember the last time we had this much uptime for damage. Uh, make sure you don't get that. I mean, it's ramping. That's the thing. The damage is ramping. Like, you can see, like, once we have a good, like, non-torment setup, the damage output is really solid. The boom. Oh man, that's set straight in. Yeah, I've gone to term limit all the time. Many times, I should say, not all the time. Um, not at this point. There's obviously many ways they could do, but not at this point. This team is solid, though. I'm really happy with this team now. Let's do that to get some Hex out. Boom. So I'm running this team just because I need to do my keys today, right? And um, if I don't do at least one of them right now, we're never going to get this done, so... Did get poison clouded there, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Nobody knows where the wind will blow. How can we tell what the future holds? Those buffs are not great. Okay, that's pretty good. Get out of your head. Don't say. Ooh. 
Rathhead's about to die in a moment. It's nice. Um, yeah, Padraig looks like he's going to be in my hard team, uh, my brutal team, which is basically going to be Nekmo, Padraig, Blademaster, Kyoku, Ugo, and Quizzer Shamel. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish this. I might finish it. Um, Shooter, you still here? Can you check what um, our current Hydro Clash score is? Or if anyone, if Carnifix or someone's here who's in the clan, can you just check what it currently is? Do I need to push hard or do you think we're okay? Like, do I need to push beyond 200 million? Because I could push this 300 million. Very easily. Ah, oh, Torment Head has come to ruin the fun that we were having. <sighs> Never mind. Yeah, you don't want to be up there, Darky. Yeah, she's in 6P Slayer. Garrel is in 6P Slayer here, so every single time she A1, she gets 40% turn meter boost. Gotta be careful. Poison Cloud is going to go out. I was trying to be a, I trying to. I was trying to avoid Poison Cloud, but it's going to come out on everyone. Uh, the run might be over. <laughs> this one's going to hurt. Yeah, we need to. We need to slow down because we're going to have to wait before we can do anything. Yes, that's a six piece. Yeah, you'd have to go six piece for it. Thank you. Oh, I don't really need to push. I don't need to push too hard. Helm Smasher, I think. I'm pretty sure I put her in Helm Smasher. Just to give a shield for that. All those nasty buffs. Yeah, my Trunder team now does hard. Now that I've optimized it. And it's still not even fully booked up yet. Because um, we're still waiting on Gurp Tuck books. I have more than 80 turns. I've probably got another... I could probably go for another 20 minutes here. I just need to make sure. Increase defense. 
That was always going to happen. No more Jeep's attack. Let's go to this poison cloud head. Right, we're going to take a full nuke, but it's fine. He's got a reflect buff, so as long as we don't go too crazy, we should be all right. Right, he's lost his provoke. That's lovely. Okay, so now we just need to... This. Tanaki's back. Nice if we can kill off that fear head. Like so. Lovely. All right, okay, so I'm going to do one more, a couple more blasts with these dead heads, and I'm just going to give the run up. Because we've got other things to do, right? It, yeah, I could keep going a little bit longer, but, um, you know, if we want to get through all the stuff we need to get through, then I need to keep, you know, we, we're probably going to win this clash without meaning to go like 300 million. So the, th the thing I wanted to know is it could do it, and it can. Considering as well, we've still got um, optimizations to do on, like, uh, Garrel, right? There's still a lot of ascending to do and different things like that. Oh, look at that. Huge damage. Head dies. If the torment head pops out, we're done. Uh, we've got poison clouds, so we've got to be careful about that. We got a burn there, but never mind. Who do we think is going to be the highest damage? Do we think it's going to be Garrel or do we think it's going to be Michinaki? Surely Garrel, right? Surely. Surely. You'd be surprised though. Michinaki is one of those champions that just like keeps ch chipping away at it. And then you get to the end of it and you're like, wow, we actually top damaged. What the hell? You see, every single time on A1 in this head, he's doing like 400,000 damage. All right, it's over now. We're going to wait for this other head to respawn, and then we're going to end it. There we go. Right, we'll end this one now. Michinaki was close, but he didn't do it. Now, obviously, Lydia and Archer are sharing Hex. That's why the damage is split between the two. Not bad. Not bad for first sample. Okay, so I'm happy with that team. Q 
keep results. We've done something tonight on this stream. We've been live for how long? How long we've we been live? Four hours and we've rebuilt nothing. Great start. Excellent start. Four hours and we've rebuilt absolutely nothing. But what we have done is figure out the teams that we're going to build. You know, I, th I think we're going to be comfortable victories here. So I don't need to push super hard. But, you know, I do need to put a bit of challenge towards Shooter here. So I just got to wait for my score. Because this is my score that I did yesterday. I, I put a quick, like a quick hard Trunder team run through. I can probably do a bit more than that. Let's hit the delay. There it is. How far am I away? See, I'm still, I, I need to do more competition for Shooter. It's like he needs a challenge. But I'm happy with that. I, c I can go further. Yeah, exactly. I just, time is of the essence. Um, and I don't want to go and waste all the time doing it. What we can do quickly is just give it a quick go in arena, shall we? See if it gets banned. I'm not going to be doing all of my live arena tonight. We just don't have time. Because I need to try and get some Centranos done at the same time. Uh, okay. Let's first pick our mans. Poor le Don't be poor. Look at him. Poor level 38. Uh, 30, 83. Yeah, he's really poor. Now I have to think of my pick. So I I'll do this. Yeah, you can. You should, Elixir. How many more? How many more mythicals do you think he's gonna have? At least one more, right? At least one more mythical's gonna come out of this. Uh, I don't know if I do. Let's find out. You should, don't call him a newbie. He's got freaking Harima Siffy Lazarius. Oh yeah, he's a newbie. Sure he is. He's so banning my he's so banning my Garrel. He's so gonna ban my Garrel. The nice thing is the way Garrel is built, I can use in arena. Because of its in Slayer. You know. Look at this. Mythical fest. Absolute mythic fest. This if this doesn't scream credit card, I don't know what does. All right. I should still be fast enough. I probably won't be. How will Garl survive? I don't know. Probably not. Based on this, no. I mean, theoretically, I could have cut in. You kind of need to go first. I mean, it's still small hope. It's not over yet. Ah, oh, can we stop switching forms? I mean, he has to kill my Ancora. If he can't kill my Ancora, then I win. Potentially. If he kills my Ancora, I got no chance. He shouldn't kill my Narsus. There we go, that was a mistake. Oh, come on. Thank you. He's going to revive someone. Probably Lazarius. 
And Lazarus might be able to do something. Nope. The only downside is he's got so much turn meter control. So I have to basically do it again to try and... Like, he's going he's gonna to ally attack me now. He should just kill... I don't know why he's not killing Ancora. Just kill Ancora. I'm never going to get a turn anyway. Ay. Why is he attacking the Narcissus? The Narcissus can't get killed. He realizes the Narcissus can't get killed on ally attack, right? He does realize this. Why? I've lost this one. <sighs> Mythical champions. The new meta. I mean, he won because he went first, so... That's because I haven't finished building out our mans, you know? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's not like speed in the sense that you need to go first. It's speed in the sense that if you don't build a team that can sustain going first, then you will need to go first, right? It's not so much how much better they are. They just have too much in their kit. So. What's he going to do? I'm getting much higher rated heroes now, uh, like players. Like I have had 3,900 as well, so it's crazy. My Amans is just too slow at the moment. If he was like 40 speed more, he would have cut in and then I would have been able to take a turn. So once I finish, I'm gonna have a look at his build after this fight now and we'll see where he's at. And then we're gonna basically rip the, the account apart. This one, probably that. Wow, he's let me have Garrel? I don't know about that. I don't know about that, I'll be honest. I think he may have made a mistake here. Because we can do this. Give me all your turn meter. You go to sleep. <laughs> so, the way you can use Garrel in Live Arena, you can either use this ability to basically place unkillable and provoke, or you can switch instantly. It's up to you, really. It doesn't really matter. Like, I'm just going to switch instantly and just see how much an A1 does. Me to boost. Don't weak. Lovely. You know, they will revive, which is not a problem because I have life harvest and stuff like that. Thank you. The only thing is, our man's is a bit of a. He is a bit of a problem into. Um, Harima sometimes because Harima is strong affinity. So if he weak hits, then he doesn't get the Termite Steel like this now. It shouldn't be a problem though because I just got too much damage from Garrel. So, you know, it's fun. Right, okay, so our mans, let's just have a look at his build, see what we can do to it. So I, I'm kind of like hesitant to use. I'm kind of hesitant to use uh, oil on this, like dust on these boots. Because I feel like I can get better ones. But it's the only one with accuracy. 
That's the, that's the problem. They're the only boots I've got with accuracy on it. Now, they are pretty good boots. I suppose they're overall good boots, aren't they? But... I need speed. One more. Speed. And that's the problem. I don't want to burn any more dust on it. Which is really frustrating. Otherwise, he's fairly fast across the board. But, like, this needs to be, like, accuracy. And you can just burn through dust so quickly, and I really don't want to. Like, this one here, look. It's got to roll accuracy. It's so hard to get what you want in this bottom row. And before I blink, I'll lose all my dust. So, you know... It is what it is, unfortunately. Um... But he hasn't got masteries yet, so that's why he, that, you know he's a bit slow at the moment. Once these become speed boots, he becomes better. But it's just so much, you know, dust. You know, that's the problem. It's all about dust. And the same as this, it's not really the best amulet. So I'm kind of like, I really want to reserve my dust for the best possible, you know, rolls that I can get. I'm looking for HP here. See, I, I, I want HP on these rolls. If it's not got HP, it's not worth it. You know, this can go up. This, th These are fine to ascend. That needs to be switched now to crit damage. That needs to be attack. You know, it just needs to be optimized, so it's fine. Right then, so what's the best way are we going to... Um... Well, no, I will do it eventually, Dutchie. The reason why I'm not doing it right now is because I know I need to rebuild a lot of different things. Uh, absolutely need to rebuild. So the first thing I want to do is just grab my clan boss team. Um... That I want to rebuild. So I want to basically find a a less gear intensive clan boss team. It's probably going to be a standard myth foo, I would have thought. And drop some of the damage out of it. Because I just don't need to be as fast as I currently am. So I just need to find my link for it. Myth foo, myth foo, myth foo. Which one is it? This one, Eris. Myth Toro. I think that's the one. That is the one, I think. Okay, so I think we're going to be using this clan boss team. Which is Demitha, Eris, Seeker, Jintoro, Alika. But not as fast, because right now, we are running like 300 speed across the board. I just need to make sure uh, what the spirit ratios are. I think this one's fine in terms of spirit ratios. I think it's fine, because as long as Ares gets to there first... don't think there's a problem. That's very close. When do we get the decrease speed here, right? So... That should be fine. That should be fine. That should be fine. Yeah, I think this is good. Okay. So these are the speeds we're going to need to build. Right now, we are currently running at 345. Like, we are running super fast clan boss teams. So we're going to need to completely rebuild that first. So that's good. That's that's. So we're going to change it. We're going to use the same team. We're just going to take it from 295, 302, 345, 299. 
So, how are we going to do this? We're going to go into the optimizer. We are going to say every single champion is unlocked. We are starting from scratch. We are building from scratch. Now, in terms of priority, I think the first things we want to do is figure out who needs to be the best of everything. So, in terms of damage, it's probably our top damage dealers are going to be Narsus. Um, let me just see here. Narsus, Stoltus is a back at the moment. Oops. Uh, okay, get rid of that. That. Lad is out. Xena is a backup. Constantine's a backup. Ruanus is out. And in here, we're going to bring Rhonda. Because she's rank 5 now, so just better. So, what we're going to be doing is... In terms of the best damage dealers on my account, is these. Let's get rid of the color scheme to second. So these are the best damage options, I think. In terms of arena, okay? Narsus for the Narsus Ancora pairing. Sun Wukong for leading a team and basically doing lots of damage. Rotus for being paired with like Duchess and then Ronda as well. Now in terms of live arena then, I also need like backup options here. So in terms of priority of backup options, I feel like Stoltus is a really good backup option. Uh, Helicath maybe. Tormin is a very good backup option as well. And Xena is a very good backup option. Now, I feel like those cover me for damage rolls. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, this is like big picture. So, how are we looking for protection? Helicath. Uh... What factions? Helicath? Uh, He's demon spawn, right? But. The only ones I can really do 9 out of 9 protection on are... High Elves, Sacred Order, Ogryn, Orcs, Barbarians, those are the ones I can do it on. No, no, I'm going to. I'm going to Elixir. So what I'm going to do, this is the process we're going to do, right? This is the process. Let me write it out. Okay. Arena champions first. Okay. Then we're going to do dungeon champions. Then we're going to do... Oh, sorry, sorry. Hydra champions. Then we're going to do dungeon champions. Then we're going to do clan boss. Okay. Then we're going to do... Um... Sintranos. Okay? That's how we're going to do it. So lock one, lock one, lock one, lock one, lock two. That's how we're going to do it. So the process first. So everything is available. Everything is pretty much available. The only thing I might do is keep some of the Hydra champions that I've got locked up because they're already built. And I don't necessarily want to touch them necessarily. But essentially, I want to basically pull out all of those and put them in there. And then rebuild this with what's left. Now the good news is most of the gear that's on those champions are things like crit damage sets, toxic sets. So they probably won't get reused. Uh, and I have a pretty good concept in my brain of what's fast and not to keep them available. But lots of the things like the cruel sets, the other things will come out. So. Um, yeah, probably. Uh, like I've got a Doom Tower farm wave here. So we got these champions in here, right? So we have champions in this list that we need to rework. So, you know, what we're going to do here, for example, is probably this is how I'm going to do it. Everything that I want to keep locked. Uh, 
this one is fine, apart from this one, because I haven't done anything. These are fine, I think. I need to check Michinaki, but I think these are fine. Uh, right, so, uh, Newt is kind of okay. Hold hot, bad, 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 bad. This one, I think, is pretty good as well. Because these are all, um... I think these are my, my finite hard because I've just rebuilt it. And like same with Ruark. But again, I want to check Teodor. I want to check Seer. I want to check Renegade. I want to check Ghostborn. So we'll just do this a second. Because I want to check those. Uh, Skartorsis probably will stay as he is. But we'll see. Uh, we'll check this. Definitely need to rebuild some of these Whispers. That one's fine as well because of the way that it's built. Uh, that one I think is going to be okay. Uh, obviously, my Sand Devil team. I want to check Ninja, and I want to check her. I think I can make it better, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, let me just get rid of this. Let's make it tidier. Oops. Uh, okay, what have we got here? Owella needs to be... Considered, Totora considered, Geomancer considered, Aox considered. Uh, probably, probably consider both of those. Uh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad because Romanto has been rebuilt. Like this one, I've put Dark Fae in here. But I'm extremely not worried about it. If we don't rebuild these until like three months of time, then it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, bad, 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 bad. Oh, you're good. I mean, we'll check Arbiter, but I'm pretty sure Arbiter's as, as fast as we can go. Uh, now, in terms of things I've built recently, Ancora is good. Narcissus is good. Elva, we need to check. Uh, and Rotus is good. Uh, Sun Wukong's bad. Rotus is good. I need to check Elva. I think Arbiter's as fast as she can be. You're good. Uh, we'll check you. You're good. Yeah, so that's kind of like the situation we're in. Everything green is probably okay. Everything red needs check and everything yellow maybe. Yeah, red basically means just not built. Yeah, anything in red means either it's got a build or... Um, like, yellow means I think it's probably in its best build and it doesn't need to be changed. But I need to verify it. Red means probably want to rebuild them. Green means I've only built them recently, so they're probably fine as they are. They can stay as they are. How do I make this table with the power of XL? Uh, have you thought about setting an optimizer that would only let you use gear with X lower rated? It's something I'm looking at. I think first chance that it's going to be like rank, restricting it based on rank 5 and ranks, ranks those types of things. That will be the first approach we do. Um, it's always tricky because the optimizer's goal is to find you the best of what you want. The problem is clarifying the worst of the best thing you want is a bit harder. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. I've unlocked everything. Yeah, everything is unlocked. So... These are the DPS champions I think I need to cover. Xena, Sun Wukong, Rotus, Ronda. So Ronda we're going to use. So I'm, I'm trying to think, right, so if I face Ultimate Death Knight, who do I counter it with? Ronda, right? Ronda's the counter. But also I need to be mindful of what else they bring. So Ronda, Narsus. So DPS 1, DPS 2. Okay, so Ronda, Narsus counters Ultimate Death Knight. Who do I counter Sun Wukong with? Ronda and Narsus. Um, who do I counter Harima with? Uh, 
Who do I counter Harima with? Ronda? <laughs> Surprising how good Ronda is now. It's only taken me like a month of stubbornness to get over my head around it. We do have Garrel, actually. We should put Garrel in here as well. Does Damage Monkey encounter Harima? Oh, yeah. He's, he's, yeah, so went Wukong. And Narciss, I guess. The five-star soul does help. I'm trying to think of the types of champions we're going to face. Um, like Siffy Rotus. Who are we going to bring for Siffy Rotus? We need a double hitter. So Narciss is obviously first priority. Ronda again, I guess. Um... just going to look at Live Arena to see what if there's uh, meta teams that I can explore. So one thing I always have a problem with is Kaimar Arbiter. But it's not really a damage killing thing. So, yeah, Tormin in damage build and Ancora as well to help, but not really a DPS, but I need a secondary DPS with Tormin. Who would we run as a DPS into, it's like Kaima Arbiter. I'm trying to think. Is there any champion that gains a lot of turn meter when an enemy gains turn meter? There is. There's someone in the back of my mind that can do that. Where they basically get... Turn meter. When um, the enemy Yoshi does. Yeah, Garol. No, um, Candy does. Xena. That's it. Xena. That's who I was thinking of. Xena. Xena would be great into Kaima teams. Okay. Xena was the one I was thinking of. So, what about... Marichka and Taras. What are we putting to Tarichka? Ronda, I guess. But Ronda's likely to get banned by anyone who's wearing Tarichka, right? I don't have Leoris, no. Is Helicath a good counter into Tarichka? Oh man, that's right. Um, you can't get slept, no. Do we just build a damage Helicath? Is my Helicath even booked? Oh, he's booked. Does he have masteries? Well, he hasn't got any masteries, but we can do that. Because we can always open with, like, a uh, Ronda pick. I'm going to stop picking damage options, basically, is my first pick. I'm going to start picking things like... Um... Yeah, obviously, mind you, we could actually go three here. Narciss, right? Because Narciss will ignore his passive. But the issue is protection Helicath is much more valuable. Do I even have damage sets with it? I don't know. But definitely, so really, it, I feel like we've got a good coverage here. You know, Garrel can be picked as any option into these. We've, we've got Rotus. I mean, Rotus isn't even making it against any of these teams, ironically. Like Sippy Duchess. That's surely um, Rotus Xena, right? 
No, but she's going to gain damage from it, right? Is that you? Will she gain enough? Let's see. What'd she do? Mm, it's a single turn. Yeah, it's got to be a double buff. Yeah, so that is not a good counter into a Kaima Arbiter. So who's the counter into the Kaima Arbiter then? Uh, well, my Yumiko Warlord team is basically Necret, Rotus, and Korra, Narsus, and then um, like a fifth utility. Because what happens is Rotus will be able to get his A2 back very quickly. Uh, and Korra will reset cooldowns on the A1. Narsus also resets his passive so you can get ally attacks. So it's really, really good into those. I don't have Harima, no. Uh, red means needs to be built. Green means probably okay, ready to go. Yellow means maybe, but I need to check it. Well, we do need to feed the cat, so we might get a bit of a, a drink break in a second. And so you're saying Foley. Okay. I don't know how good my Foley is. Well, that's how good my Foley is. Unbooked, unmastered, unused. Yeah, that's true. I don't have an Eth, we know. Also, Ancora Narcissus, Ancora takes the freeze off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to be honest, I think Tormin is probably... The, the difference is Tormin was going to get banned. So if Tormin gets banned, what's my answer? That's that's my concern with the Kaima Arbiter team is if Tormin gets banned, then I need, a, I need an answer. So what am I going to run um, into that type of combo it's almost like the the kaima arbiter combo i mean is like i'm not gonna go first i'm gonna go slow well the problem is supersonic armands and stone skin armands is not gonna get a turn because if i get stripped by the kaima that's not gonna work so that's not always an answer i don't have leo rotus is just gonna get sleep control down i don't have lockout either I could use I could use Garrel. The problem is I'm not going to keep her alive. She's not built to survive in arena. Yeah, but he can still strip the um. Hmm, Staltus. Yes, that's when I would use Staltus. Actually, that's a good point. Stone skin Staltus. The question is, what do I have in terms of stone skin? in the Banner Lords. Not a lot. I mean, I could potentially like switch the uh, the attack amulet over. Oh, I've got plenty of nuke gear. That's not the problem. Would you consider Queen Eva as an arena nuke with a buff? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I didn't think about that. I don't know who she... Well, I don't know what team you put her in, though. Like, you know, stone skin is a very important thing. Do I have... Like, I can do... Uh, can I Can I even do... Like, you don't need three pieces. You just need two. So, like, I can do a sacred order. The best way to do this. How many crit damage amulets do I have? Not good. Not, not, not good. So we're looking at maybe Shadowkin and Dark Elves. So many. What about protection? So many. Uh, why is Bash a bad? It's only in, it's only one turn. It's not left. It's just it's just not enough lockout. It's too easy to reset people these days. 
Because the thing is, even things like Yumiko and Warlord are falling off a little bit because you've got things like Ancora, Padraig type of effects where the A1s are resetting cooldowns. You've got low cooldown units like Rotus and stuff basically coming in. So you're finding that even they're not as consistent as they used to be. Warlord more so because of the term meter control. Yeah, I would have to Chaos or some, but you know. It's just the, the point is I only have, you know... I've got a lot of attack amulets. Believe it or not, I have a lot of attack amulets. Look how many they've given me. And I've sold some of these. So stupid. Yeah, mythicals are breaking it as well. Exactly. So you've got mythicals compared with people like Rotus, Necra, Ancora, um, Padraig, those types of champions that are reducing and keeping really low cooldowns. It's much harder to lock people out permanently. Crixia will reset people. It's, it's really difficult. The only one that can really do it now probably is Warlord because he can drop the turn meter. So it gives you the turn as well. Um, against Kaimo, would you take Mithrala? Yeah, I could do. I think this team is more about the supports, but I, I definitely think like a Stoltus damage dealer option here is pretty good. Um, yeah, I can probably figure it out. It's just making sure that I pick the right people. So right now we've got Ronda, Narsus, um, Sun Wukong. I feel like Stoltus is going to come into actually my main rather than being um, backup, you know? I think I feel like Stoltus would be one of the main picks. I feel like five damage dealers is probably enough at this point. I feel like five, using my primary damage gear, five damage dealers is probably enough. I feel like that's good. I think that's, I think these five cover everything I could possibly need. With the backup of Tormin and Xena. And Garrel. So, do we think any other any other damage dealer? Like, I know I've got... Yeah, but she's not good for this because she's built in the Hydra build now. So, it kind of limits her potential. Um... You know, we do have a Baron 5-star. I, I honestly don't think Baron is worth... I don't think Baron is worth it. I think Baron has kind of had his day. Yeah, it will spe be speed. That's why I can't use Trunder. So in terms of, like, tag team defenses, can I make this black? No, it looks terrible in dark mode. There's a reason why it's in white mode. <laughs> it looks terrible in dark mode. Office does. Harima, Rotus, Wukong, Narsus, Ronda. Mix and match, yeah. So in terms of defense... Then if I just build this out again. So in terms of a lead for each defense, I think one of them is going to be Duchess. One of them will be probably like uh, Elva Led. And the other one will be like um, Ancora, maybe. Narsus with Ancora. Um, I think Rotus Necret. Let's, let's put this as bad a second. Uh, so Duchess, Rotus, Necra, and then probably a second Reviver there to make that annoying as hell. Uh, Shu Zhen should come in here somewhere, even though she's a bit slow. And so should our mans, I guess. Like, supports here need to be our mans. I actually kind of think um, Uko, Elva is a good setup, and Coronarsis is a good setup. I think Shu Zhen actually, so we'd go Shu Zhen, Ancora, Narsus, something like that. And then something to like keep it alive, like a secondary revive or something. Because it's, there's really not that many like strong revive metas in my account. I do have a four-star Raglin. 
Where would I put our mans? I don't know if I put. I, I don't know if I'd put him on defense. Well, I guess I could actually. He's absolutely fine to put on defense, isn't he? I'm feeling like he would probably go into this team here. Or better still. Did I go to the haircut? No, not yet. It's going to need to soon, though. It's grown back a little bit now. It's getting better a bit. Uh, I'm not a fan of Kaja, purely because I feel like she needs to two-turn block debuffs. I feel like she's too... She doesn't give you enough. She gives you... You just you don't have enough of what you want. Like, so in the terms of revivers, her revive's okay, but her block debuffs and cleanses is a bit... Not ideal, in my opinion. She's too easy to kill. She hasn't got any survivability. Whereas at least with like people like Uko, they've got like the passive um, effects where they can steal buffs and they can be annoying. I mean, the only thing I worry about this is, yes, our man's is reasonably fast, but he's not fast enough to win speed races. And is he just, is he just going to be like one shot? He will have supersonic and people wouldn't expect it, which will hopefully give us a boost. But maybe I just do this, actually. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is the way to do it. Narsus. Our oh, man is here. Honestly, I am I am contemplating just deleting my Arbiter and, and putting it all onto Shu Zhen. I am contemplating just making Shu Zhen my fastest champ in my account. And just basically run my speed team on defense. Because the thing is now. The only thing I think with our mans and tag team is. It's very easy to. It's, it is very easy to counter our mans. Because essentially you just run stone skin. That's the only thing I feel about this. Alright I'll get some food now. Yeah they, they, they are at rank 6 yeah. I could put a du yeah, that's right. Actually, let's just do that. Let's put Duchess back in here, Rodas, because the Tormin requires them to basically run, you know, that. And I think Uko Elva is a very good combo because they're very frustrating to fight. We just need to put something in it that's going to keep the team alive. Um, that one is going to be Stoltus, I think. And then we just need something to go with this. In an ideal world. I might have a look to see how good we can make a stone skin our mans. Maybe we rebuild our mans into stone skin supersonic. Because if he's in there, then he can go into this build and it's much harder to counter him. Whereas a Wukong, yeah, 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 Wukong. You're right. Wuko. Some Wukong. And then this team here, it's like what do we put around Narsus and Korra? Not Ultimate Death Knight. I mean, I could just use Romantu. He's not very good on defense, though. I could just throw... Ang Do you know what? I could? I just could throw Garrel in here for the laughs. It would lose, though, because it's not built for defense. Not too worried, to be honest. I think any of them. Honestly, I'm taking Pythian out of my builds for now. He will get rebuilt, but I'm taking him out. I don't think I'll use him at the moment. I don't think I'll use him. I find him very difficult to build. I 
I could just throw Lydia in here. That could be funny. Just throw Lydia in to stop it, the revives. That could present a challenge for people. I don't have Siffy now. Virgum car. What is everyone's obsession with Virgum car? I think that's good. I think some combination of this will be fine. Um, I could throw Lydia in here as well. Some combination of this will be fine, I think. Right, I'm just going to feed the cat. I will be back in about five minutes. Um, let me let me let me put a. Um, big but hey we'll do that and we'll swap to this and then we will start building up these new these um we will start building out all these uh dps options for arena so i'll be back now
you saw my Daywalkers video. So uh, I had this concept once to do um, Army of the Dead team. Hence why I have lots of Daywalkers. Why they're all awakened? Well, it's a myth amongst men, really. But, you know. And they're all four-star as well. <laughs> Pretty much. Army of the Dead. One day. One day. Right then. So, let's do some optimizations. So, I'm going to do tutorials as I go, so I explain what I'm doing when it comes to the optimization flow, how I approach it. Pretty much everything is on the table, but I might lock out some heroes that I know I definitely am not going to touch. Like, I'm pretty confident I'm not going to change this build. I'm pretty happy with it. As much as it's using fast savage gear, maybe I should maybe I should wait and see. It's always difficult when you do this build out because it's like you know it's going to take from everything. Like, so for example, if I went to Narcissus right now. Let's just say I want to make Narsus my best built champion in the game. Then I've already got the configuration that I had for previous optimizations. I can literally just rerun the same thing again. So I've required a little bit of defense, a bit of speed. I've swapped all these things around. Sets. I basically left free, put a bit of glyphs. Now if I do this, what's probably going to happen is it's probably... It's probably going to take Arbiter's gear. It's probably going to take Arbiter's gear, which means we don't really want it to do that. Oh, it didn't actually. It took Rotus's gear, and it took some Slayer pieces for some crazy reason. It's actually giving me two Slayer pieces. Interesting, eh? So, do I really want it to pick Slayer? Don't really think so. That would be 124,286% crit damage. <laughs> And only 99% crit rate. I guess it's got some sort of weird thing going on with um, the Slayer set and Laura Steel. So probably this is where I'd go. Do you know what? I don't actually want to commit Slayer set to any of these unless I want to go deep on Slayer set. So I, for this thing, I'm not going to ask you to take any Slayer sets because I don't want it to take it. I'd rather keep those for people are going to have Slayer pieces. This is not a left off it. So now it's produced this, which is pretty optimal. So it's basically saying swap the weapon that I've got. Otherwise, keep everything as it is. So I lose 2,000 HP, but I gain 12% crit damage. But I gain the, um, the cruel piece. This is a very, very small difference. I did it that way. Or I could do it this way. But I assume Narsus currently doesn't have it's, it's probably not it's it's probably switched the boots. Oh no, he's currently got the speed. Yeah, it's, it's switching his boots from HP percent. So the 12 speed is literally just the 12 speed is literally just an ascension change. And I've got it at HP percent, so I've just accepted I'd rather run 12 speed lower than try and find speed on a piece. So in this instance, what I would do is I would basically say stats, keep it as current. Because I'm not, I'm not going to replace the HP percentage with speed. It's just not worth it. But it will probably now tell me you can't find a better piece. Because it's probably still going to require 250 speed. So it's going to require something else. Which, oddly enough, is kind of the same damage. It's just requiring to take from other people. Um, but I feel like he's okay at the speed he's at. He's currently at 238 speed with room for a glyphing. So I feel like he's okay. So I, I don't really think Narsus is right now is worth rebuilding. I think I'd keep him as he is. You know, he's 238 speed. He's 100% crit rate with a bit of optimization, switching a few things around. Then um, it's, it's probably fine. He's almost perfect in everything he's rolled. The only 
negative about him is his amulet and his banners. So he's he's good. First one done. We're happy with Narsus. He's good. Next up is Rotus. Again, he's built using the same configuration as last time. Stats. You've seen it. So we're looking using fairly similar speeds here. 250. Um, I'm a little bit less concerned about this, but I'll give him a little bit of base defense. We're setting our custom gear loadouts here. Uh, what are those lock numbers? So what you can do is if you go into your optimizer settings when it loads you can turn on advanced locking if you turn that on i can basically define whether i want lock status one two three four and five so i can basically set my own lock statuses so for, for me i always say everything into one lock status is my number one priority i don't want you to change it so you do that by going into the cog um no you don't it's free Sniper, it's free. This isn't locked behind premium. It's just you have to turn it on. It's an opt-in. This is free. You just turn it on. That's all you have to do is just turn it on. So what we're going to get with Rotus. Yeah, there's a couple of other good features in here as well. If you prefer having the table view by default, you can turn that turn off modern UI views. And what it will do is it will turn off the, the cards and put it back to table. You can hide the notification if that's really annoying you. Um, and you can also set your progression state. So if you want to get your ratings aligned to where you are, change it to like lower or higher. I have everything on mine on high, for example. Okay, so... Here, for example, it's going to start stealing the, the Rathalos boots. Now, I don't want to commit any of my... I think that's stone skin, is it? Um, I don't want to commit necessarily like Merciless and stuff like that into this without being, you know, without being safe. So these are only worth it if it's going to give me significant gains. Right now, it's going to give me 66% crit damage, which is kind of insane. So it depends what he's wearing right now. So it's asking me to take my Whisper's weapon, Whisper's chest. Keep the shield that he's currently got. I just don't know whether I want to give him the stone skin boots or whether I want to keep the stone skin for a set. Out of interest, of these damage dealers, who are we putting into stone skin? Would we run Ronda, stone skin savage? Oh, Brian, we're going to be going for another six, seven hours. Don't you worry. Uh, Ferrotus, do you want overall damage especially? No, you always pick a... So whenever you're doing damage, always, always pick a skill. Every single time. Always pick a skill because if the skills have like conditional parameters or ignore defense components, then it won't calculate properly. Always pick the skill you want to do the most damage with and build around that. All the time. Well, the, 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 this isn't really good for Staltus. The reason why is it's got attack percent as a, a mythic. I mean, it could go with Staltus as well. Don't get me wrong. It's just I feel like this would be more appropriate for an attack-based champion because the roll has, has gone with attack. It's too good to really put on Rotus at this point. Because I think Ronda's going to get used more than Rotus. Narsus is okay. The thing about Narsus is he's got a lot of HP, so he doesn't really need the stone skin. He's also in reaction, so he doesn't need it either. So he can survive without everything. Uh, account progression. This basically scales the artifact ratings in line with where you should be in terms of your account. So endgame is going to make the ratings significantly harsher. It's going to really look for those really perfect pieces. Whereas early game is going to be more forgiving. It's going to look for pieces that generally have got the right stats in the right places. So you can use it to push your progression up. I do need to update the progression document that goes with it. So it's on my list of things to do. HP destruction is a problem for Narsus and it does help it. But by that point, I've probably lost Jano. If I'm at the point where I'm worried about HP destruction, I've probably lost anyway. Um, that's a good question. What have we got accessories wise? 
I mean, my accessories to stones are not great. Honestly, they are not great. Uh, in terms of rings, I do have some... Oh, why are these not showing? I need to fix that. I do have a very good ring for, like, defense HP. I suppose we should look at factions, right? So, Bannerlords... No. So, Stoltus is going to really struggle to get into a 4-4. Four -four. He's just going to really struggle. The only way I do is if I or if I chaos or the the epic one. Let me find um, Stoltus here a second. Mm, where is Stoltus? Yeah. Uh, can I chaos all this? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm going to rework. We're going to rework. I've already, I've already pulled them. Start the stream, Das. Okay, that did not pay off. It's still good for, like, defense-based options, but not for a damage dealer. I do have some Slayer pieces, but it's not great. I do have some... I ironically have a lot of crit damage Slayer pieces. I mean, whoa, that is insane. That's super good for uh, Stoltus, that is. You know, defense really is what he needs. Yeah, it'll be at the start, so uh, don't worry about it. It'll be at the start. I've got all these rings that I could potentially... Oh, there's a defense one there. Eh, what, what lag? Eh, lag. Game's lagging. So I can maybe just run reaction as one piece. They're not very good. You need two, that's the problem. I just don't have the stone skin. That's the problem. I, I simply just don't have the stone skin accessories to do Stoltus in stone skin. And I worry how effective he's going to be outside of it. I really worry. Um, the other option is we just go triple, triple reaction Stoltus. You know, we do have some pretty strong... Um, I've got a, a wide selection of reaction banners. So look, that, that one's pretty good. So maybe we just go triple reaction. And just maybe deal with it that way. Or at least like double reaction. Because there's, there's, just, there's just no way that I'm going to get stone skin. With the, the level that I've got at the moment. You know, and, and basically, if I build, if I build him in damage, savage, two-piece stone skin, and then bit by bit add the stone skin in, that's probably the best way to do it. So working on building out our mans and pull Siffy, have Rotus to hit the goal. Do I finish our mans? Oh, you finish our mans. Brian, our mans is, is worth it. Uh, I thought Penta roll defense and stall only... Ugh. Damn. 33%. Like, I can go triple reaction. Because I, I, I keep every reaction thing I have. Because, you know, I can chaos all of this if I want to. You know, if I want to, I can just chaos all this. Because I, I, I've got plenty. I, I do need to be mindful I'm running low, but I can. What effect to HP do you need for our attack? Um... I try to get more like Stalwart and Defiant. If I can, that really makes a difference. That's the best way to go more than anything else. Like, that is insane. 
I know it's not um, a, a set bonus, but maybe that with uh, like a reaction ring is maybe just the best course of action right now. You know, something like something like that is the best course of action right now. What do we think? Who are avid Staltus users in chat? Have you run your Staltus? If I just run basically double reaction and work towards stone skin, I think that's the best way. Uh, I don't think they'll up the Chaos or attempts, no. Yeah, I run our attack on a Wellow and I score him 10. We'll probably be rebuilding our attack today, because I have to. Do you run your arena, Staltus, in... Um, do, you, do you guys always run it in... in blah, 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 blah. Words evade me. In stone skin. Just one piece stone skin, one turn. I feel like he needs... He needs savage though, right? He needs ignore defense, otherwise he's just not going to want to. Oh, he's a, that's another one to put on this list, actually. Jorgid. So it's a good reaction. I did you, you run bolster. Why would you run bolster on him? Do you mean bolster with him, not on him? Right, that's that. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I run it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my supports are in bolster. That's fine. I was going to say it was weird then. I mean, I think what I'll do is I'll force two pieces of stone skin on him. So that I can switch them over time. Because I do think he needs to be in stone skin. Um, well, yeah, with him. Why would you put... You lose so much damage with him in bolster, though, surely. Yeah, but it's not that I want... I, I don't want him to not die. I want him to actually kill someone. Is he ever going to kill anyone? If you don't run ignore defense, surely he kills no one. Yeah, I always run bolsters with him. Nope, that's obviously that's obviously going to happen, you know. I always run bolsters with him. Right, let me put this on him. Um, I want to see if this is going to quad roll. Oh! <laughs> Crit damage. Oh. Come on, crit damage. There we go. There we go. Max it out. <laughs> well, that doesn't get much better than that, does it? You know. I feel a bit disgusting by that, not gonna lie. Right, so I think we just run this rather than try and reforge something, especially if it goes to like 16. I, I'm, I'm willing to burn some silver just for... I swear, I'm not in the game code, okay? I haven't... Ha this is why I can't have test server, right? This is this is the problem. This is why I'm not allowed test server because of all this. They look at my game and they're like, look, we're already giving you good rolls. What more do you want from us? Go on, roll the defense to finish it off. Oh, okay, HP is fine. It's not in the world. 
Well, it's pretty pretty nutty. The ring's actually kind of naff, but what you need to do is remaster these as well. Oh, it's going to cost me 150 gems. Ah. Oh. Better make sure I don't mess this up then if it costs me 150 gems. Um, um, We don't have masteries maxed out yet. Not bother with a surgeon and just go some some of this. It's pretty good. I could basically go there. Instead. Yeah, let's do that. It's going to increase my polymorph risk, but it's fine. Obviously, he need, we need to rebuild him now, but that's fine. Um... So, that's good. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, cool. Um, that was a sidetrack thing of me trying to figure out if I should not give him stone skin boots, which I don't think I will. So, back to what we were doing, which is Rodas. I actually need to figure out who I actually want to put stone skin on. So if it's not going to be Stoltus, then it, it probably needs to be Rhonda, right? So do we have it? For, she's a Bannerlord as well, isn't she? They're all blimming Bannerlords. Wait, is she a ban Yeah, she's a Bannerlord. Well, we can't do Bannerlords. So Rhonda can't go in Stone Skin. Maybe Wukong. Maybe we've got something for Skinwalkers. Surely we've got something. Okay, it's not Sun Wukong. Um... <laughs> well, we've run out of damage dealers. Xena. Xena's barbarians. Oh, we can do Xena's. Some... No, somewhat. I mean... Am I going to use Garol? Garol will be an off-piece. Uh, I prefer ignore defense on her all the time. I mean, yeah, we we, we can like do something. I, I just don't have any. I just have terrible stone skin. Look at it; it's all terrible. Is there anyone that even can do something with this stuff? Can I make an orc? With a HP based orc. Oh, look, we can do a defense based undead horde. Is there a defense based undead horde in the game? Don't, don't give me ultimate death knight. I can't. I can't today. I'm not going with ultimate death knight, okay? No. I'm not doing it. You stupid ultimate death knight thing. No. Yeah, Jorgid, the one I don't have. Well, he's technically um, Night Revs, so he's Night Revs. Uh, Vizix. Wow, a champion has entered the arena. Thank you so much for becoming a minion. Make sure you join the Discord, link your YouTube to the Discord so you get access to the premium membership area. Uh, Solus is Night Revs as well, yeah. It's, I mean, Blood Gorged. I mean, <laughs> Rotus. Not the really the best banners though. Funny. Um, oh, we have a dark elf options. Night rev. 
Apparently the dwarf ring is busted. I need to figure out why. Um, not entirely sure why that's busted. Oh, there's a dwarf attack one. It's kind of useless. Shadowkin, we've got like an attack banner. And then we just have one really good Sylvan Watchers. Basically, Stone Skin's not really a problem. But we probably want to put... Dark Elf, Green Eva. Yeah, she's not built at the moment. So right now it's going to recommend that I switch these boots. I feel like I want to keep these stone skin boots free. And maybe put it on someone else. Because it's probably going to recommend it on every single piece soon. Because it's one of the best. It's probably the best boots that I have on my account for whatever it's doing as an off piece. So unless I commit to stone skin, I don't think I want the stone skin here. So I'm going to ask it to give me options without stone skin. Yeah, I mean, technically everyone should be in stone skin, but until you run a lot of Hydro Clash and you get a lot of a lot of wins, it's just not going to happen, is it? So it's just not going to happen. So it's going to take crit rate sets. I mean. Honestly, the gains are so marginal, I wonder if it's just not worth changing. Because the gains are incredibly marginal. Like, at this point, we're actually losing damage. Because of the amount of HP we're losing. So I wonder if we just leave it be. I think he's okay. I mean, the gear he's in... Is really strong already. Like he's in incredibly strong boots. So I don't think he needs changing. This is his build at the moment, but it's mainly dusting, right? So the chest piece is probably the weakest part, but it needs to go to attack percent. The gloves are HP percent. They need to go to crit damage. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty good. Like the attack, the weapon's great. It feels pretty good, right? I think that's a, a solid build. So I'm gonna lock him in. As one, these are these are champions I've recently rebuilt, so it's it's okay to leave them as they are. That's why they're green, right? I know they're good. Like same as Ancora, for example. Like Ancora, yeah, the boots are nuts. Like she's currently at 836 resistance, and she's not even maxed out yet. In bolster. So, again, I don't really feel like I need to change this up at all, right? She's got a quad roll amulet. She's got multiple double, 283 speed. Like, we can run it just to make sure. Um, probably put priority one. Uh, with like priority four. My configuration hasn't saved from the last time I did this, which is kind of annoying. Other been resistance, resistance, speed. Sorry, health defense, health defense, health defense, probably defense or health.
10. Let's see what it finds. Um, Kaimars A3 can benefit from refresh, but not from reflex, maybe? You can certainly refresh his A3. I don't know if you can re... Yeah, I don't know if you can reflex his A3. I mean, I could get 989 resistance if I really wanted to. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could go that much, you know. I'd lose, like, um, 31 speed. I feel like I want a minimum of, like, 280 speed. I mean, oh wait, I didn't set balls to set requirements, that's why. That's what I get. So, I can get 11,000 more health, a bit more speed, and a bit more resistance for the exchange of a few pieces. So we basically take Karja's helmet, we would take Necret's gloves, and we would take that chest. I feel that's a good trade. Considering she's, I'm using her everywhere, 11,000 more health is going to be equal to... Um, Like 3,000 more shields. That might be worth changing, actually. She is in a very good chest piece already, mind. So maybe it's not worth the chest piece because she's in a triple speed. Uh, I think Ancor is better than Duchess purely because of the A1. And if you have the king, then absolutely Ancor takes precedent over Duchess if you have the king and you're using the king. Like, her together with the king is really good. Like, this is, this is a pretty good build, actually. Maybe this is better to use. Uh, bolster stacks with any shield. Any shield becomes a bolster shield with bolster. So yeah. So that would give me basically 27 more resistance, 5 more speed, 207 more defense, and 6,400 more health. Um, lockout, armands, like everything. There's so many effects that happen in arena that you want to resist. Can you try to build around 6 star Stratikos Islin team? Uh, not right now, but... Um, in terms of what Islin is doing, I'm not really sure what you would put on him. Like, I have Cage on him for... I had Cage on him for uh, stun targeting. Nope. Any, non, any shield in the presence of Bolster becomes a protected shield. So even if you have the worst bolster set in the world and you have the best shield set in the world, the shield set upgrades to a bolster set the moment someone in your team has bolster. So. I don't train dress. I like this. I think it's really good. We're a bit short on space, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. Uh, right, and Cora. I think I'm still working on masteries on her. Hence why she's not level 100 yet. Because I'm pretty sure 
She still needs a few masteries. Um, like counterattack masteries that I haven't built yet. Not that it really matters, but... Right, so we're going to take Elva's boots. Which are protection boots. Oh, look at these. We kind of need to... Dust. Can we dust? Speed! Speed! Oh. Speed! One more attempt. Speed! It's so expensive to do dusting. <sighs> what we got going on here? Look at all these speed boots. Just chilling down here. Watch this roll speed. Oh, that roll flat attack. Just, you know, casual amounts of speed down here. Oh, well. Something to dust eventually. A massive dust backlog. Uh, and then we need to take a bolster chest. Again, look, this is defense. It needs to be resistance, really. Otherwise... I mean, it doesn't need to be because um, this is already maxed out. So I can basically trade even with what I've got right now. And then... Necrets Gloves. I want these to roll. HP percentage. HP percentage. Ooh, it baited me. Well, HP is better than anything. All right. Okay, so that's good. That's HP. That's good. So these just need ascending. This needs to be switched to HP. That needs to be switched to HP. That needs to be switched to HP. So new build. 269 speed. So we're down... The 12 speed. 831 resistance. So we're down the resistance chest. 3.8k defense. That's just a few things. And 73k. So we're down about 12,000 health from just not having HP percentage gloves and HP top row and all this ascended. So see you, Raiden. But, you know, I feel like this is the right way to go once we build them up and ascend them up. So that's somewhere to work on. Um, so for now, we're going to lock that in on a live refresh. And we're going to say Ancora is done. Okay, so. We've done three champions so far. Now we want to do, uh, I think. Let's have a little look at our mans. Right now, our mans is in four stone skin. Uh, four, a uh, five supersonic. What we really want him to be in is not that. Uh, but the problem with our mans is, again, we don't really have stone skin accessories that we can use. Like, I've got some rings. They're not the best. But we're going to level it up and see what we can do. The amulet is the worst. Okay, I'm going to try this rework. We're going to try a rework. I want it to roll accuracy. Accuracy was the one I wanted to roll. No. Okay, that's good. That's, that's, that's good. That is good. Because we can now... Probably go and drop this anyway for this. And then we can... Do we have a better... 
That's protection. Protection. Merciless. I can never tell the difference between merciless protection and stone skin. Wait, do we have any stone skin here? That's merciless, that's slayer. That's protection. So supersonic is equal to about 18 per four buff. Oh, that's a pretty good banner. So every four buffs that go on an enemy team is equal to about 18 speed. So if you can't guarantee he's going to go first, it will guarantee he's going to go after the, the Duchess or the Siffy buffs. See ya, Flap. So I use him to basically cut in. It's the best build for him. Well, the rings... For, for him, I don't really care about the rings. The rings is just extra HP. So, in all essence, all I care about is a fast banner. But my, my Barbarian banners, they're not very good. Like, they are not good. Like, that's my fastest banner. And I don't think... I can check my inbox... I don't think I've got a better Barbarian banner. Let's have a look. Just have a little look down my inbox here. My inbox is a travesty again. Uh, I do have... I do have... That wasn't what I was looking for. Let's go to that. Um, I do have a supersonic resistance one for him. But I need accuracy, right? He needs accuracy. It's the only one we can have. Barbarian banners are a particular weak point of my account that I need to really focus and try and get some better accessories for. There's a resistance one. Uh, it's an orc. Yes, yeah, so I, I don't have a better banner than this. Uh, one, one thing I should do, by the way. Let's just do this quickly. Uh, yeah, I'll zoom it in now. Sorry. Hey, look. I found a new Vlad. It's called Garrel. Every single content piece now. Even in probably, like, Doom Tower. I might just run him in Doom Tower permanently just so he can do this. Not much really can happen. They can't really kill her. Wow. Um, can we... Thank you. Oh, he's got block damage. Cheating. Well, I might actually die to this. Let's find out. Oh, nearly. Let's switch forms. We're about to die. Yeah, she's in Slayer. Rest assured, we got unkillable. We're alright now. Oh, we removed my unkillable. That's freaking cheating, isn't it? Okay, it's a one man. It's a one man wrecking ball. A one girl wrecking ball. Boom. Ah, oh, we couldn't use Gal. Okay, fine. Uh, 
uh, maybe he can't do this. Maybe he needed help. Or, oh, okay, we're, no, no, no. He needs help. Uh, he needed help. No, 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 he needs help. Don't, don't replay it. Edit team. He needs, he needs another AoE. Uh, Razzle Varg. Come help with Gwyneth will do. Boom. Are you ready to see the most exciting, exhilarating reward? I mean, 200 coins actually is quite good. That's better than I thought it could have been. Okay, that's done. Um, we're not going to get this done in time today because we've got so much to do. But we, we, are, we will do it on reset. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We can get to finite. That's what I wanted to get to today. Let me just make sure I've done all my dailies in time and stuff like this. Like this, for example, we need to do one Doom Tower key, so let's just bash this out quickly. Would Crixia work in a Trender team as a replacement for Yumiko? No. Crixia can't be reset. So if you're replacing Yumiko, it goes Emic, Painkeeper, Countess Lix as priority. Nia is also an option. Nia is also a fine option as well. Oh yeah, I have. I'm not used to the daylight savings times in the UK. I forgot the clocks went forward, so it's now 1am, not, not midnight. I was freaking out because I was like, I've got 40 minutes to go. I mean, I know it's bad. I'm just saying it was better than what I thought it was going to be. I'm not condoning it. I was, simply, I was simply highlighting the fact it wasn't as trash as I thought it was going to be. Oh man, Yoms, I feel for you. Like, I said in my video, I really hope everyone gets one mythical this weekend because I feel like they've been out long enough now that everyone should, should deserves to have at least one. And it's on player's responsibility that people can actually engage and, and get to experience it. So that sucks. It really does. Uh, these should be easy wins. Someone actually DM'd me. I kid you not. And they may even be in chat now. Someone DM'd me the words... Oh, come on. Something like, I pulled one primal. I'm going to lose this. Because of a stupid stone skin. Why do people put stone skins on their frigging defense? Might be alright. No. Why do people put stone skins on your defense? If you're going to do a one-man defense, don't do this. It's so stupid. Oh, I can't. I can't, honestly. Just, what is wrong with people? This is worse than Ultimate Death Knight abusers. <laughs> you just, like, you're not, you're making it, like, slower for everyone. I don't, I don't understand it. I Just put a one-man defense in if you don't want to put a defense. Just don't. Just, just stop. Like, anyway. As I was saying, uh, someone basically sent me a message. They were like, I pulled one primal and I got Galathe. So I felt lucky. And then they pulled, they pulled more. Basically they pulled, they, I think they, they said they bought 11 and they pulled more and they got this. And I, I, I kind of cried a little bit. But I was happy because I got Garol before I got this message. If I got this message before Garol, I would have been like, no, stop. So 40, so 11 primal shards or 12 primal shards and he got four mythicals. Four. Like, I was like, okay. Um, I, I, I think I said, go buy a lottery ticket. That was the words that came into my brain or something. I can't remember exactly what I said. I was like, what the hell is this? And what's, what's, the, what's the thing is, he's got two, like, excellent ones. One pretty good one in Frawn if you set him up correctly. Um, but it's just like, what the hell? That is crazy. I mean, 
you know what's what, what's even crazier about it? He's got four epics as well. So in seven pulls, he got three primals and four epics. Madness, right? Absolute madness. Congrats to the person. Uh, commiserations, because you need now about a billion mythical books, which you haven't got. But hey, you know, congrats. Uh, is he optimized? We don't track it mainly because it was it when we when it first came out, of course, controversy. We just kind of made a decision not to track it back then, um, so we don't really track it. No legendary weak pull, all right. Oh man, I don't want to have to fight these. Uh, can I just one shot a team and like be done with it? I mean, the nice thing about mythical shards are, like, yes, just skip the battle, that um, you do get. Like, the, the nice thing about mythicals in a sense are that you do get legendary chances as well, right? You do get a good chance to get legendary champions from it, so that's something at least. My greatest hits. All right, he didn't get stunned. Well, you've lost your cooldown. You're dead. Um. Um. I'll win that speed race. That'll do. I don't really care. I just want to get these missions done. Yeah, the thing is, I didn't. I bought one pack of the primals, but I, I never, I will never buy a primal shard that's like valued at. Like, I'll never buy a primal shard that's valued above four point five dollars, ever. I just won't do it. I feel like it's a waste of money. I'll only buy them if it's like five dollars, me, uh, like four dollars or something like that. But only in special occasions if I do. Just just because generally, like Green Virus said, for me right now, I need about a billion dust. So I don't really need more champions. I just wanted one mythical. I knew I was pretty close to Mercy. So. Uh, I can. It won't be there for long. So yeah, I can. What happened to the music? It stopped. Have we killed this yet? No. Well, apparently. Apparently it needs more effort for me. I have to manual this, do I? Well, polymorph. Can we stop? No. All right. Look. Thank you. Our man's is just disgusting, isn't he? Look at him. He's just like, I got you, bros. Alright. Uh, one rare in your team. Fine. Uh, hey, Sam, do you think the new high, uh, Hydra Focus High Elf will be a guaranteed? I have no idea. I don't know what they think. 
I mean, I would have never thought they would have sold 999 mystery shards to make you pull 300 mystery shards, but they did. They did these crazy things. <laughs> I know, right? Play some banjos. Um... So I, the last, the first time they did like the really good primal prices, I think I pulled like 60 and then obviously I've pulled for seven months. So I knew I must've been like in the region of like a hundred to 150. Cause the thing is you never really get to, like, it's very rare that you'll ever have to go full deep mercy in this game. It's very rare. Cause the mercy is a scaler in this game. Um. In other games, like Dragon Age, for example, you don't really increment your summon chance per summon. You basically keep summoning, and if you don't get it by the 35th, it's just, just like a hard mercy. It just grants legendary at 35. In, Dra in Raid, it's not like that. You, you start scaling at a certain point, and bit by bit, you increase your odds. So realistically, whilst the absolute limit is very high, on average, you'll get your legendary below mercy. It's very unlikely you'll ever have to go super deep. You've only pulled three legendaries from your seven, last 719 shards. It's very, 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 very unlikely to be accurate, that, Jano. That would require you to have gone 230 deep. I'm pretty sure the mercy for ancient shards is like 220. So that would be impossible. Could be wrong, but that would be like super impossible. I, I'm pretty sure the... the, the the mercy for um I'm pretty sure the mercy is like 300 and uh, 220 Is it? I I thought it was less than that. After 200 summons you get 5%. So Yeah, so mercy is 220. So that's impossible. It's, just, it's not possible to, for you to, unless you have hit. Yeah, that's not possible. Yeah, it's impossible that it's it's cost you two twenty. That's like physically not 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 doable. Yeah, Sacreds is a lot worse because the thing about Sacreds in this game is like 54. So you could easily go 20 to 25 plus on Sacreds. Yeah, the problem is that the, the Primal Shard is built like an Ancient Shard, but it's priced like a like a premium Void Shard. That's the only real issue, Draki. Like a lot of people have said like, oh, Primal Shards this. I'm like, the only reason why people are negative about Primal Shards, they didn't give enough of them. So scarcity is driving negativity towards them. But if you think about what you actually get, you get basically permanent times to ancients and you get a chance at mythical champions. And you can see, to be fair to Plarium, I'm quite critical at times they do different things about monetization. They have started giving us far more consistent ways to acquire primal shards. Quartz are appearing in events more often. You can get 400 quartz from live arena chests. You can get... Um, about 100 quarts from Hydra Clash every so often. The only downside is they keep putting these rewards into game modes we don't exactly enjoy and lock them behind aggressive playstyles. If they could improve the availability so it's not behind like 5,000 points of Dungeon Diver events or 35 wins of Live Arena or you know, 29 hours of Hydra Clash, then the actual, like the system is good. They just just need to adapt a little bit more and move it a little bit over. The thing is, though, they're not really Kraken shards. And I'll tell you why. You get your thing from it too easily. It's too easy to get, like, mythical champions out of it. Because there's only, like, 12 mythicals. If a Kraken really wants to go hard, he's more efficient on the primal, on the primal shard than he is a sacred shard. He will spend, the, the Kraken will spend about 20% of the amount of money he would have to spend on a Secret Shard. So in essence, you don't really want to be giving too many of them away. Because otherwise, you get this situation here, where you go into the, the top of Live Arena. 
like you go up here and about half of these teams are like quad i mean they're still putting defenses on you're starting to see this fully awakened six star mythicals plus four siegfriend plus four crixia it's too easy to wail on them personally i think that's the case they are too crack and friendly like the amount of time and effort it would take for you to get this versus one of these is like so much more for the rotus because the player pool the champion pool is bigger you know the champion pool is bigger uh let me just i normally do sorath but i really can't which one's the fastest one Just blast this. I really can't be bothered. Yeah, exactly. You can infinitely purchase them. So, in essence, they're not a Kraken Shard. I'd, I'd have capped it. Yeah, I do. I'm just getting it out of the way. I'm just, I'm just doing it and clearing it out of the way. New fusion is is worth going for, yeah. Like if it's like I would say, especially if you don't have Nekmothar. If you don't have Nekmothar, the new fusion is going to be very valuable for you because it is the only champion in the game that can do decreased defense, increased defense, increased attack, and decreased speed all in one kit, all in one set. So, but yeah, so I, I think. The actual primal shard is actually a very nice shard to summon. It's just you don't get enough of them, so it can feel like forever. And I think when, if you think about it, it's taken them six months to basically give every faction a mythical champion. So in essence, you don't really want to give too many of them out to begin with. Yeah, 115 base speed, yeah. Should be really, really, really good. Wind limb is your budget, Necmo. Okay. I don't think she's necessarily going to be very good in a curse set. I think she's going to be brilliant in a curing set. I think she's going to be really good in a curing set. I still think it's worth grabbing even if you have Necmothar because I think she's more of a damage based Necmothar. So in the right setup, she's really, really good. And you never know when you need someone that's got decreased speed, weaken, and increased attack all in one set for your team. Right, done. Nice. Boom, 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 boom. Daily's done. Awesome. Missions. We, we will get this done in a moment. Uh, right, okay. So where were we? Armands. Good old Armands. Where is the fella? So we've got one piece of stone skin on him now. And we got one... Uh, we got one piece of supersonic. So really what we want to see is, can we get... This is going to have to remain his banner. I just don't have a better one. It is what it is. Uh, the only way we could do it is if we look at a reaction one. But, yeah, I could reforge a reaction one into something to see if it's going to work. But it's, it's very unlikely that it's going to pay off. You know, I haven't really rolled this one yet. No, they're all bad rolls anyway, so... I think we just leave it as this for now. And let's see what we can get. If we optimize, we've lost our build here, so we'll have to rebuild it. Uh, he will have Eagle Eye. So we want him as fast as possible with as much resistance. Um, I don't really care about defense and stats at the moment. No, not resistance. What am I talking about? As much accuracy. Uh, I'm probably going to go speed here and then speed. This is always going to be an accuracy chest. So what I'm doing here is I'm essentially reducing the amount of artifacts that the optimizer has to assess in order to determine the best piece. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically saying I only want accuracy chests to be included because I know I definitely want accuracy. I only want speed boots because I know I definitely want speed boots. 
Um, I'm going to tell it as well. Assume that we're going to put accuracy on the um, the banner. The rest I don't really care about right now in terms of stats. So what it means is when I send the optimization request, because I've already pre-selected my accessories because I know what I want, it should be a lot quicker. Uh, Sets-wise, we need uh, supersonic, and we need three supersonic, and we need three stone skins. We're going to see how badly this is going to go with stone skin here. Uh, we're going to put some glyphs on. Let's just put some plus three because I don't have an awful lot. Plus seven, and we'll just put plus three here, plus three. Let's see what it throws out. Okay, so we've got 298 speed, so it's not a lot of things. So we need to basically drop this down a little bit and let it prioritize speed a bit more. Okay, 343588. Interesting. So we could put him at 343588 in stone skin. Oh wait, why isn't that? Oh, because I told it. It helps if I tell it the right amount. Okay, so what do we got? So 302, I kind of need to be... This is, the, this is the only thing I'm worried about with stone skin, is how much slower we're going to end up going. Yes, Jordan, we actually have a dev branch that I didn't release because I didn't want to uh, run the risk of breaking any more things with the server during the free regearing. We've had a few problems in terms of like uh, account acquisition, like the way that it retrieves your account information. We've fixed them now. And I think we've fixed the, the remote extractor issues as well, but I didn't want to introduce any more new changes during the free regearing window when I know a lot of people are going to be optimizing. But after that, we have got a dev branch plan that's going to allow you to basically say, give me any combination of these variable sets. There's also some issues as well where, for example, if I deselect stone skin, you see it also deselects accessories. Because when we built the optimizer, we never really anticipated the need for so many variable sets. So now we're, we're just adapting and we're going to make it more, basically make variable its own thing. So it's a bit easier for us to look for, for builds. So it is on there. We just didn't want to, um, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Grant. Uh, yeah, so it's working now. Um, but we just had to optimize the way that we were retrieving information because like the game has got so big and the optimizer was suffering for it. Um, so I don't know, 317. Uh, can, tell, uh, can the optimizer tell me when I ask too much of it so I can tell it if it's slow due to... Let me read it. Can the optimizer tell me when I ask too much of it so I can tell if it's slow? It should tell you. It will tell you you've asked for too much, re-optimize it down. Normally, as long as you pre-select your accessories and exclude your accessories, your runs will be tops 10 minutes, uh, ten, two minutes, one minute. I never optimize a job longer than a minute. And I've got a lot of accessories and, and, and gear because I have a lot. The thing that adds most time is banners. And nine times out of 10, you already know what banner you're going to pick because you know whether you need accuracy, you know whether you need attack. So if you pre-select your banner, the optimization speed will be significantly quicker. That's what I always recommend people, pick your banner because the banner adds speed and speed basically recontextualizes the entire build a seventh time by a factor of seven instead of by a factor of six. It takes a lot longer. It's the speed dracky. Essentially, if you think about it, when I, when I look for, say like you say you want 250 speed. Well, I've got six slots that I need to assess in combination to find the speed you want. If you then add a banner, it increases everything up by an exponential factor of seven. You know, so it's now seven different slots. And that exponential growth is what really adds a lot of the performance issues. We did add burst mode, so it should be able to assess it at a much greater speed. But I think my advice has always been pick your banner because you already know what you want. The banner is the easiest slot to pick. The only time you ever question it is when you're thinking, I'm, I'm on the fence between if I go for an accuracy banner or if I go for an attack banner. That's the only time that you're really kind of not sure what you want when you're in that range where you technically don't need as much accuracy, but maybe you've got a really fast accuracy banner. Like our man's, for example, I know he needs accuracy. So I'm picking the fastest accuracy banner that I've got. So I, I can, I, I know what I want, you know? 
I have a lot, yeah. Uh, what if I don't know if I need a stone skin banner? What if you don't know what banner you need? Yes, so if you want to, this is, this build, this view it needs to be fixed. It is absolutely not suitable right now. But this swap gear, it does allow you to change things in the optimizer, but it's really, really buggy. I need to improve it. It's been a bit, it's on my backlog for a while. And I kind of like the mobile thing kind of made it awkward because you needed three things. But essentially what should happen when you click on it, it should change it. Um, so if I reset this here now, so you see like, for example, I can pick any of these banners I want and it will swap, uh, swap it. So if I want to say pick this, I can pick it and it will swap it. And now the optimizer will assume that that's the banner I've picked without actually changing in game. I can I can change it around. I can pick this one if I want to. I can pick that one or I can pick that one or I can pick this one. I can move it all around as much as I want. And then the optimizer will optimize assuming that is the slot you want. Assuming you have told it not to optimize the banner. Yes, Blaze. Yes. So all this does when you untick this is say, don't change the banner. So when you're looking at my build, you just assume the banner that I've got is the one that you select. That is what this is saying. Don't change my banner. Keep the one that I'm wearing. It will still ascend it correctly. It will still glyph it correctly. It will still modify it the way that you've asked it to from the glyphs and everything else. It just won't pick a different one. And that one change, will, you will find you will optimize at like five times speed. It will be much faster for you. Uh, would you all mix if you're just as fast as possible or as certain set? She's best to be putting in high speed because her base speed is really high. I don't know if I really want to go 317. It would require me to rebuild New Gigante Archer as well. But I suppose this is the reason why we have this stone skin. I don't know. Uh, question about team optics that include auras and blessings for auras. Yes. If the leader in the team optimizer has an aura that is compatible, it will auto apply the aura except for speed because we assume the speed numbers you're asking for are with the aura in mind, if that makes sense. So we're assuming that you've gone into like the, the speed calculators and stuff and that's the speed you actually want. So we don't want to, we don't want to basically double provide you the aura. But apart from that, it's fine. How do we ignore the ascending stat on artifacts? Ignore? So you can ignore all accessory ascension bonuses. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't really get it any faster. I mean, I can put it down even lower. It's just the limitations of stone skin. I just don't have fast stone skin gear. Um. I prefer supersonic, see. So this build is going to basically put it into supersonic one turn, stone skin one turn, which is the best build for our mans. It's just it's a bit slow. That's my problem. It's a bit slow. Versus if I just get rid of the stone skin for now and basically say, just give me supersonic. Like minimum three. Then I can go. 356 speed and if I just basically ask it to put a bit more priority into accuracy you can't see a way to add ascension stars to a champion oh you can't no no you can't ascend a, a, a we don't have a function where you can assume that you're six star ascended we will probably have a function at some point to change the blessing you've selected but it's not really that the only one it's relevant to is like crush and rend that's the only one uh, but, but yeah, you can't actually physically ascend a, a hero. So I could go 352, see? Or like 342 of 599. And I feel like Supersonic is just better here.
I mean, to be fair though, I've probably got some stone skin that I could roll that I haven't. Like, do I have any uh, that's got speed accuracy that I haven't rolled? Yeah. Well, 350 might. Keep in mind, Supersonic is worth... Supersonic is worth, for me, 18 speed per 4 buffs. So it's worth, essentially, against the Siffy, it's worth about 50 speed. Grandpa. That's the rough... That's how the math works out. Versus around about... Um, one 4-piece one Supersonic set is about 18 times 4. So if you have a triple buffer, it's about 50 speed it's worth. So, yeah, I mean, that is the problem with... So, yeah, I can go 354, uh, 352, uh, 77. No, it's not considered cheating. You still have to gear it yourself. You're just trying to find the best gear. There are some traditional teams that can do it, yeah. I tried, I didn't get any. I'm so scared, so damn afraid to look. I'm so sick of talking. I'm wearing the words out, words out. I can, I can see in all directions. It's a bit slow, isn't it? I do. Yeah, I do. So I can assume 75 accuracy. I can probably drop the accuracy down, actually. I do have it. I just haven't ascended him yet. Like my goal is about 600, assuming... I really don't want to take reflex pieces. When it feels like everyone's out to get yeah, there's always the problem. I need to build up a bit of silver for this, so... It's like, do I really want to take the new helm off Shu Zhen? Maybe I should build Shu Zhen first. I don't know. Do I do I just ditch? Do I just ditch Arbiter and put all my gear on Shu Zhen? And just be done with Arbiter? The thing I like about Arbiter is she is a reviver. So in live arena, she can play the role of reviver and booster.
I'll put it at 378 because it's gone for a little bit of accuracy. Oh yeah, I got the uh, the, the new helm as well. That was a bit of an oopsie. Um, I feel like... How does her passive work? Now, I, I keep forgetting this. She, does, she has a passive, doesn't she? Where... Increases champions accuracy equal to the amount of speed they have. I still need accuracy though, don't I? I just don't need as much. Yeah, this is a problem with Forge Pass accessory sets. I don't know why we can't just forge the accessories. 388. Do I need accuracy at all? Maybe I just say, give me a minimum of like 300 because 300 with 400 speed is 700. That's enough. I don't really need any more than that. 388. I think she's in a fast banner as well. And she's in a super, super fast banner, so there's not much that it's going to improve on. At 388. I mean, if I basically try to find the fastest possible. How fast could I go? Three ninety six. It's not. Do you know what's ironic? It's not even taking half the gear from um, Arbiter. It's taking one piece from Arbiter. That's it. One piece. Now I wonder if it's because I've got a priority on this. Let me take the priority away from defense. Three hundred ninety nine. Can I breach four hundred? Can I breach 400? Can I breach 400? Oh! Damn! Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Come on. Ah! Can't breach 400! God damn it! 399! It's already assuming plus eight. This is like the fastest possible build ever. This is how you would work out how fast can you go. You basically pick the fastest possible. You put maximum glyph. You put priority speed at eight. And then you basically say, give me everything. Like obviously if I did this as well, it would literally give me everything. And I'm pretty sure I can't get three more than 399. Yeah, it's maximum C. I mean, the banner she's got already is a 23 plus 8, so that's not going to get any better. Yeah, it assumes lower steel. Crit rate, for some reason. I prefer, like, a bit of defense. Um, just lean it into the like defense and HP. See what it comes up with. That's a bit better. That feels a bit better because it just leans it more towards defense. Three ninety six. I should do it, shouldn't it? That should do it. I guess that's what we're doing. Let's build out Shujen and lock her down. Do you know what's disgusting? I don't even have faction guardians. I don't even have plus six. Like she's not even plus four. That's how disgusting this is going to be. That's a 396 Shujen that has no faction guardians for plus 10. That has no empowerment and that has no soul. that one obviously max glyphs but uh, I 
need Ruella's gloves. Where is Ruella's gloves? She's a HP. Those. Yeah, this um this popped out of the uh artifact enhancement. Of course it's plus four. Of course it's plus six. Honestly. This popped out of the deck of fates event. Pretty happy with that. So it's recommending that one. I don't really know why, because it's got probably more HP defense. Does it have speed? Which one has speed? That one didn't have speed. Did this one have speed? <sighs> the one she had didn't have speed either, so... Now we basically play jockey game. We'll try and rework this one into speed. Okay. Let's try the other one. Into speeds. Speeds. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good inside when it does this. Honestly, the most amount of um, hype that I get in this game is when I ascend, like I dust something into the one that I want. It's like the only thing. <laughs> it's like the biggest dopamine rush in the game. All the rest of it's rolled terribly, so. Yeah, you can go crazy. So at the moment, she is at 373 speed. You know, in Hydra, she'll be at 383 speed. So when we finish with it, she'll be at three, 406 speed in Hydra. 406. And ironically, I haven't really slowed my Arbiter down too much to do that. Because of this piece. This piece came in clutch. Does this have a cap? Uh, it caps at 7 cost. Yeah, so basically, like, if you look at the stats I've got here, I haven't even got... Um, oh, I put a press on her as well. Yeah, I forgot about that. I tried to pr I'm trying to press her on her. I don't really know why. Just thought I'd give it a go. Um, right now, she's only at 373 speed. She has no area bonus for... Uh, she has no blessing bonus. She has no empowerment bonus. She has no faction guarding. So I can get 10, 15, and 15. So she can go to... 40 speed above this... So she's going to be, when I finish, 436 speed, if I ever get it fully maxed out. Nuts, right? Okay, so she's done. Uh, Shu Zhen is good. Let's lock her in. And now go back to our mans. We're making progress. We are getting these built. It may not seem like we're getting a lot done, but we are getting a lot done. Does it cap at 9? I thought it capped at 7. I could be wrong. Imagine having a 488 speed. I know, right? Breaks the game. Uh, okay, so... I'm pretty confident my Riho build is not going to be improved. Because she is in such a very specific build. I might lock her already. We'll see. Figure, Eagle Eye, Priority 1, Stats 1, good. 
I'll resort her out afterwards, Lefty. Okay, so 342, 567. This feels better. This feels a bit better. 342. We also give him a bit more defense. He's at 843 defense now. I don't really want to... I, I do not want to give him Relentless Gear. Let me let me take that off. Certain sets, I'll always hide. Like Reflex, Relentless. Like, I don't want to be wasting gear on those pieces when I don't need to. This be better. 341. 562. Considering he's going to get plus 75 from the... Um, soul so he's gonna get more from the soul 341 does seem quite slow but we want him to be within the five the 50 radius right so i want him to be like ideally like four 400 speed with 50 down so ideally i'd like him to be 350 so maybe we just say 350 can you get it for me uh yeah it's fine can you actually find it? No. Okay, so it can't find 350 with a glyph count of 3. What about 4? No. Okay, so what about 5? No. Okay, so 350 is not on. But 345. Just. We can scrape this build. So I think this builds best. So we're going to build this. So it means taking Timmit's chest. Which is a speed piece. Is it Axie? Okay, resistance. It could be Axie, but we'll take it. Oh, my storage is full. Um, hang on, let me, let me just mill some pieces away to someone a second. Uh, Minaya, no. Second Venus. Look after this for now. I do need to strip a lot of champions, but uh Timmit's time is over, right? Yeah. Well, that's quite nice. Um Creela. Hey look, you you hold on to these zeal sets for me. Because we need one of these. Where's with where's, where's this impulse? Do you know what's annoying now? We're actually gonna need to keep good versions of impulse. Why can't I find Impulse in there? We're actually going to need to keep good gear here now. Do you know how frustrating that is? Yes, that is a triple roll mythical Impulse that I should probably now consider a reforging at some point. I want to see what do they do to us. Why do I have like five Countess Lixes as well? What the hell's going on? After this defined gear. Right, that should do it. Uh, our man's, our man's, our man's, our man's, our man's. There he is. He needs Timmy's chest. Timmit, 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 the fool is there. Okay, and then he needs uh, the new helm, or the, basically the new helm that I've just taken off Shu Zhen. Which is this. And then he needs a supersonic piece, which is down here. That one. I think so. This one. 
and watch as it low rolls. Yay! We love a we love a plus one. Yay! Okay, this one is definitely gonna work. Every time, every time. Have you noticed that you you do one plus one plus one and then a plus four every time, every time. Uh, I got an important question. When are you going to pl uh, when are you going to let play on your account? Let play? What do you mean let play? Okay, where does that leave us? 329 speed at the moment because we still haven't got speed on here. 570 accuracy. 437 because we haven't finished mastery. So that's 50. So that'll take us up a bit. I'm guessing there's glyphing to be done here. Yeah, look, we can glyph this up. I've got to be careful though. I'm running out of accuracy glyphs. So I'm, I'm kind of being conscious about that. Need to make sure that we keep accuracy. I'll let you. Nah. good position to be in so 450 will go to 500 with the mastery 575 with the blessing and then there's 70 actually to be had from various different places which you don't really know where oh the chess piece is 70 actually the banner is 70 actually again like i've got this banner in but i really just don't feel like i don't feel like dusting it i feel like it's just a waste of dust because it's so bad like, it's such a bad banner that I just don't feel like it's worth dusting. But I'm pretty happy with that for now. That'll do. It's a bit low on accuracy once we ascend it all up. The reason why I haven't awoken him yet is because I know I'm going to need to do it for a four star. I, I easily could just do some random four star. You know, I could do it right now. It wouldn't bother me. I could just do some random four star. Like I got a six star Melga if I wanted to. I got like a, a five star. In terms of like four stars... I could do any one of these if I wanted to, I guess. So it's not really a problem. I just haven't bothered. Uh, right, so our man's is locked in now. Let's refresh. Let's lock him in. Great. Okay, so we've done our man's, Ancora, Shujen, Narsus, Rotus, Garrel, all locked in. Um, should we build Ronda? Or do, do we keep building our supports out first until we go towards the Ronda damage dealer? I do wonder if we should continue to build out supports until... Um, until Because they're going to take the speed gear, right? How many more do I have to do? This many. A lot. No, it's just, stay, it's just there until it expires tomorrow, basically. I, I don't know, like... Let's see what a Ronda damage build looks like. Let's build Ronda out. Optimize. Let's reset it. Right, we're going to go damage mode on the phase reduction. We're going to configure. We're going to exclude everyone as one. Uh, does she have masteries? I think she does. You know, I think she does have masteries. Do we do we change her out of Phantom Touch? She's only five star, so I still think Phantom Touch is probably the way to go just for more raw single ta target damage i don't really see the need of soul reap i don't really see the need of like brimstone life harvest it's not going to work water the fallen temporal chains not really worth intimidating presence maybe but it's not that crazy i feel like just having phantom touch is just good because it's going to give me raw damage right i did get my i didn't get my gifts yeah What do we... Yeah, the gifts in the shop. Yeah, I collected mine. What's a good speed for nuke and hydro? I always aim like 240. 240, 230 is the break point that I look for now. Ideally, you want to go faster, but that's what I go for. See you later, Viper. There's going to be another six hours of this yet, Fizer, and we've got to rebuild everything. We're working through it. We're, we're making progress now, though. We're making good progress. I think we'll stick with Phantom Touch for now. Uh, so she is... The only thing is Ronda's not booked, but we can deal with that for now.
So 250 speed, I'm going to start with. That's all she needs. Uh, in terms of accessories, she's got a pretty good banner. As in the best banner that I can put on her. 80 on 80. It's pretty good. Uh, Ring-wise, I think she's solid. Oh, mind you, there is a lot of rings I could have here. Let's see if we can find a triple roll. Let's see if we can find a triple roll. That's a double. It's a double. That one's bad. That one's going to be sold. We're looking for a triple roll attack percentage. One of these is going to triple roll attack percentage. There we go. Here it comes. Triple roll. Triple roll. Ho ho. Ask and one shall receive. Now it's going to give me attack. Oh, I was close. One chance. Attack. Okay. One more chance. Attack. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it like that. We're not going to play ping pong. Take it up to 16. Beautiful. It's just, it's just the, the art of the triple roll is, you know, I used to say that I cannot summon champions, but my art is triple rolling. I can't say that in, oh my God. Is it another quad roll? Is it another quad? Nearly. Do you want to see, like, These are my unequipped amulets. Right? These are my unequipped amulets. This isn't like even my equipped ones. Do we go re so we go 61 plus 38 or we can go 85. Let's try a crit damage roll. Ooh. Try one more. Yay. Okay, so we've got an option. Do we go? That's 85. That is more. There's also more defense and there's also more HP, but we could go for the refresh. and refresh our ability. It is only really 24 attack. It is only 24 attack. But it is also 935 HP. It is also 27 attack defense. It's kind of two and it doesn't really matter either way. One is just a little bit more defensive than the other one. But one has the refresh. But the refresh might be handy, so I guess we go with the refresh. And then banner wise, I think this is the one the one she's got now is gonna be the best one. Like Rathalos is wearing this piece, but we're not gonna use that one. That one's too defensive. Uh, that one is slower. Mm, that one's not bad. That one's faster. I think I just kept the one she's got because she's she already had the a uh, attack, so I didn't have to dust it. And it's a pretty good one. I mean, it's only five speed difference, but I, I got the extra roll into attack percent. Hey, Bindus. Yeah. I feel like that's good. We'll go with those. Mm 
take those away. I'm just keeping the banner because it's already ascended, so... It's just easier, you know. Okay, that, 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 great stats. 250 speed, doesn't really matter what sets we get. We'll just go three, five. Give me what you got. What can we get for Ronda? Let's find out. I think there's like six hours here. Who am I running Garrow within Arena? Uh, no one in particular. Ooh, ooh, look at that, look at that. That is good. It's going to destroy my whispers. But, you know, needs must, I guess. 8.1k attack. 321% crit damage. 41k. think we just basically break the whisper it's painful but we will repair the whisper the church will be restored you know we, we will pay the restoration fees but do you see what i mean about the um why i need to change it because i had so many powerful pieces on my clan boss team it's it's actually disgusting look at these gloves like these should not be like, these gloves should not be on my Jintoro for Clan Boss. Look how perfect they are. It's it's crazy. Like, you, you see now with the, uh, the shield. The, this is Alika in Clan Boss. 300 speed for no apparent reason. Uh, where is she? Why can't I sit there? Like... Crit rate, crit damage, triple speed, HP percent attack with it. Should not be there. Right, so now we want crit rate in lethal. Um, we need to take... Alright, which whisper are we taking from? This does not crit rate. That one. Yep. There goes the Shogun team. We're gonna have to rebuild that. Um, this one. Oh, it's the wrong one. Never mind. This one. Those boots, by the way, that I've just put on, these ones, these were on my second whisper. It's not even on my first whisper, the second one. Baroth just chilling with this. <laughs> Attack. Yes. There's a reason, by the way, I'm not ascending all of the things up because I know there will be missions that I have to ascend things to rank 4 with gear. So I'm currently not burning any oils for Greater because Greater is so expensive to get. So that's why I'm holding these. Um, so, 8k attack, 321% crit take, 10% crit thing because we need to forge this. Ah. Oh. Damn. I don't really want to dust that away. That is so expensive to dust. That's going to take so much to try and get that to crit rate. Can I just find 10% crit rate from somewhere? Uh, all right, right. just just re-optimize, re-optimize. Slots don't include gloves. Leave it as it is. All 
Oh, wow, it's changing the build completely. I was hoping it would just find a tweak of the crit rate to get it up, but... That was not too bad. Just 14% crit damage. Okay, that's a good compromise. Uh, good compromise is this. So, so I, I just don't want to have to dust that away. You know, ideally this would be crit rate or crit damage. I just don't want to have to... Ideally the uh, the gloves here, they would be crit rate. But I, I simply just don't want to have to spend the dust. It's going to take me too much. So if we take... No, we don't need... Oh, we do need to dust the boots as well, yeah. To bring up the speed. It's fast enough though. Again, like the boots here, I'll accept the twelve percent because it's it's fast enough. But this one, we're going to take the weapon from Baroth. It's going to slow us down, but it's going to give us more crit rate. And then we're going to take the helm from. To speed us back up a little bit. Attack. That sucked. Okay, so 238 speed is okay. It's okay. It's It could be better, but it's okay. Um, we're kind of sacrificing a little bit to make it work. Like, this could easily get an extra... Thank you. 5%. Yeah, the gloves is just it's just too expensive to change that over. And we can easily glyph a lot more speed here. There's more attack to come because we haven't ascended the banners. You know, once we send the banners here, you know, we could get a bit more get attack here. So right now we're at two seven point nine K, three hundred and seven percent. Oh, I haven't bought anything from the clan shop. Oh, chaos Wars. yes. I love Chaos Wars. Mission complete. Ready for spirit on reset we are. Well, next reset, not this reset. We can give it a whirl if we want. Let's go see what she can do. Let's find a super tanky team. This looks fun. Let's find you for the time being. Uh, Rhonda. Now Rhonda's not booked though. That's the only downside. She's not booked at the moment. Let's just put some support around her. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Put. Where's our mans? Cool. And who else have we got built? Ancora. Let's just bring Ancora in as well. Cool. Generally, this should work great. Who do we want to kill? Everyone. <laughs> Didn't even hit twice. Okay. Uh, let's try something a little bit more exotic. Well, we did kill it, but the... She kind of got revived. <laughs> All right, bye. Oh, nearly. Didn't quite kill that, but that was obviously with the strength then. Obviously, it's only classic, so it's, it's nothing special here. We can try a tag, see if we can find someone super tanky. Like, this looks like a hellish thing to fight, right? So we just do this. Uh, that. That. 
Ronda. I'm trying to think of a team I would build it around. Just bring my car again for now. Yeah, I'll show the mastery to Ronda now in a second. Well, that team died. Arbit has no gear anymore. <laughs> Bit of an oopsie. I mean, it's not really going to be a problem. But hey. <laughs> okay, so this is the new team. So we can basically... Well, that was a Marichka. <laughs> that was a Marichka. That was a Rotus. She's um she's doing work. The only downside is I'm probably still gonna lose this, I think. Unless I get super lucky. Um Oh, well, our man's just one shot that. Really? Can we stop? Go to sleep. Keep in mind, this Ronda is not booked. So this is like 30% weaker than she can be. And this is where she does struggle, though. Like, this is where she's going to struggle a bit. She just doesn't quite have the damage output without the A2. Well, that died. Let's go experience... Um, this team. I don't even know who's built anymore. Who, who else did we say has been from the approved list of builds? Garrel. Garrel, go in. Go do your job. Okay, so. I mean, this, the problem is the triple revive here, right? So I can just stop the, the Marichka. Oh, that one did not go. Okay, well. Um, well, this is one tanky team. <laughs> I'm probably going to lose this one, I think. As a tanky team. Yeah. Okay, well that one's just... Suit, that was like triple revive super tank. Which, you know... Oh man. Oh yeah, that ship has sailed, don't worry. Really, our mans? Really? Can, can we stop? They're, they're acting like this isn't going to end up in their death. Okay, well, that was a good little playtest. 
Um, so, Ronda Masteries currently are this. I mean, they probably need to be redone. To be that, that. I'm pretty sure she ignores shields, right? Yeah, so we don't really care for that. do uh, this is kind of like what i do for pvp masteries now i always take wisdom of battle so i don't have to deal with siffy sleeps and also it, it's kind of handy for any sort of crowd control like provoke sets stun sets fears from different things like taras and all things it just means that you get a chance and then i always take cycle with whirlwind of death because speed is really important if you kill some people you can go again and then just take a single out bring it down eventually i'll get methodical Kill streak just to increase your damage output and then Helm Smasher. It just helps you get some good sustainability. Very rare do you want to like very rare can you kill someone in one go. But like this is what I was saying. I'm missing 20% damage. 20% damage. You know, 20% damage. When I get those, that'll be even bigger. So you know, so Ronda is done. Let's lock her in. Ronda is down. Okay, so next up is Sun Wukong. Now, Sun Wukong, we kind of want to build hybrid, right? Uh, first things first, I need to pick his accessories. We're going to have to redo his masteries as well. So right now he is in the wrong there's another 150 gems down the drain Night Blaze. Okay. So we can take that one. We can take that one. I feel like I want stone skin, so we're going to take this one. Uh, I want um, this. We don't have stone skin here, so... I have literally no stone skin stuff, so... That would be amazing if it was actually crit damage, but it's not. In this rare occasion, I would like this to be a little bit more accuracy-focused. So if we can get something that's like got a bit of accuracy like this... A little bit higher. Again, like, I think we just take this. Especially if it, if it rolls at crit damage, we definitely take this. Mm. I feel like we take this. Like, let's just see how it rolls. Yeah, we take... I mean... Yeah, we do. Try a crit damage. Nice. I'm not really going hybrid per se. I'm just going full damage with this dude. I don't really care about turning people into sheep. I just want them to die. So, I mean, that should be what I put on him, I guess. Because that's not got any attack percent. I should really put that on him. 
considering we're not even using Razzlebarg on a team. So that one goes over to him. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I don't really, really care. Is reaction really needed? Well, yeah, because if I'm not going to go first, then sometimes it's great. I like, keep in mind that sometimes counterattacks happen. Just having these these things in place are really good. You're starting to see a pattern, by the way, how I build damage dealers. Start sets, glyphs, three, attack, five. Boom, boom, boom. The best debuff is death, you are correct. What well, blessing? I'll probably, I don't know, he's on temporal at the moment. It's actually recommended a merciless. I'm going to stop a second because I want to build Rathalos first. Because I want to swap Rathalos's build over to be um, Merciless. Uh, merciless Reflex. So I'm going to just take a pause a second because I want to just make sure I want to build this guy first. And I think he's staying in the same accessories. I don't think I got a better amulet so far. That's just defense. Okay, cool. Um, what I want to do is I want to switch him from. At the moment, he's currently using his A3. And with our new build that we're going to be putting him in here, which is this team, he's not going to be able to use his A3. So we're only going to make him do his A2. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to switch his build away from this A3. Three instead to a two spirit slash. We're gonna put him in this rotation here. We're gonna put him for brutal decrease defense, weaken, increase attack only. This is not gonna have uh, other bonuses. Uh, I don't think we're gonna use the black, the aura, so that can go. Uh, we will have a little bit of this, so we'll just do that. Stats so 230. I don't really care for accuracy. Um, sets instead of. Uh, six. At the moment, he's got merciless. I'm going to actually ask him to do four reflex. So I, the goal is to basically... This build is, instead of going and using his A3, I want to just repeat his A2 as many times as I can. Which means it's merciless reflex, as much damage as we can get in that build. Uh, he doesn't need this, this, and this. Or this, this, this. We will include this. We'll include that. We'll include that. That, 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 that. Uh, and then we will include crit damage, crit rate, attack, attack speed. See what it gives us. Oh. We'd have to take the Farrakhan, which I really don't want to do because I'm pretty sure Farrakhan is a fine build. Just give a quick little look over. I don't think I need to change Farrakhan. I think he's okay. Because I've only just built the finite team, I probably won't touch the finite team. But that piece is so good, I might take it off Farrakhan and put it on him instead. Because I don't think Farrakhan needs the damage where he does. So I might actually take that off Farrakhan and just find a better chest for Farrakhan now. Let's find out. It's too good to put, it's, it's too good to leave on someone like Farrakhan the Fat. It really is. So we'll, we'll find a replacement for this. Um... Like, he's not 100% crit rate anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Why is that my only attack percentage chest in reflex with speed? Literally the only one that I've got. That's madness. It's the only one that I've got with speed. Um, 
Okay. I can't really afford to lose speed. Um, right, okay. So we're going to have to... crazy 367 <laughs> percent crit damage do you okay we're gonna equip this and optimize for a second i'm gonna lock him out and then we're gonna go farrakhan i'm gonna find farrakhan a new chess piece that isn't merciless ideally So the reason why Rathalus can't use A3, okay, um, is because of this. So in this team, no one is going to provide increased crit damage. So if I was to use Rathalus Blade Master's A3, it would mean that he has a buff that no one else has, and he will permanently be the provoke target for the mischief head, which I do not want. So therefore, I don't use it. But that also gives us an opportunity to instead just prioritize this A2, which ignores 100% defense, which means we don't actually need six-piece Merciless. We can go for um, four-piece Merciless, four-piece Reflex to try and just continuously A2 all the time. So that's the goal. Always A2-ing with him, a bit like the way you do Trunder. I do wonder if that's going to produce more damage than um, his current build. Can we, can we not use the Merciless chest, please? Any Anything other than that Merciless chest... I would not want to use my attack percentage chest on him for Merciless. Um, hang on. You. No, because he only has to use five abilities. So we're going to just go A2, A1, A2, A1, A2, A1 all the time. That's what we're going to do. Okay, well, it's taken from Emic. I can't really afford to do that. Cause my, my... I mean, it doesn't even need to be that fast right now. It's, only, it's 303 speeds. Why is that saying plus 21 speed? Because I've taken gear off him. Like, you know, that's a bit better. He wants to take this one, though. And he wants to take Geomancer. Alright, we're going to have to build that afterwards. We're going to have to build that afterwards. It's fine. Um, let me just unlock that. We're going to have to build that afterwards because I don't want to take my Geomancer's build away necessarily. I need to basically lock up all my good reaction gear and the people that absolutely require reaction, which is like Iron Twins, Emic, uh, Trender Team and stuff like that before we go to Fire Knight. But this should be good, I think. Mind your pain keepers in here, which we don't really want to take off, but we can easily find a reflex boot. I mean, how many reflex boots do I have? Yeah, the music's uh, license free. Alright, there's another speed boot here. I can just use that one. Mind you, it's, uh, it's actually giving me that one here. What's the difference in damage? Pretty minimal. I like I want that one. I want the 367% Rathalus crit damage. We can just give Painkeeper a better boot. It's absolutely fine. She doesn't even need crit, right? She just needs to be able to do her abilities. Alright, we're going to build this. 
The reason why I want to build Rathless right now is because he's going to form the core aspect of my damage dealer for um, for the Hydra team. So he's very important that he doesn't have bad gear. So we're taking Painkeeper's gear. It's going to need to be swapped. A desk option. Speed or attack percent. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Honestly, it's the biggest hype you can have in this game when you get one roll dust to exactly where you wanted it. It's exactly what I wanted. Attack percent. Amazing. Uh, David, thank you so much for the $5. Thank you for all the content to help you provide the community. Are all your arena champions speed tuned? Not so much speed tuned, but I, I have speeds in mind, right? So I want my DPS is to be minimum 250 speed. That's kind of like where I want my, them to be. Um, I know if I am speed tuning, I'm normally running like 390 Arbiter with a 350 or 340 secondary boost. So I know there's no way I need to worry about speed tuning. Uh, so we now need a helmet, which is this one. This beautiful piece. And then we need uh, this, which... Come on now. Crit damage. Let's go. Crit damage. Crit damage. Ooh. Well, we'll keep it with attack percent, actually. That, that's like a, a willing sacrifice. I'm happily lose 20% crit damage for attack percent at the moment. That's a willing sacrifice. Look at these pieces here. I haven't rolled. Oh, that could change the picture as well. That's going to be pretty good going forward. Oof. Look at these rolls. This is what we want to see. I feel like we are pushing so much forward right now. It feels nice for once that I can actually play this without feeling like I'm, like, hindered. Uh, which one do I want now? I want the triple roll, that one. All right, and then we just need the this weapon here. This one might be... We'll only keep this if it doesn't flow roll. Hmm. It's probably alright. I have a bad piece. Let's sell some of these. Don't need to keep all these bad pieces. Only need to keep some of them. Honestly, I'm not trying to triple roll everything every time, okay? It's not like I'm... It's not my intent. It's not my intent. I just happen to triple roll everything. Uh, attack. Oof. Oddly enough, there's actually no value other than defense upgrading this shield anymore. It's nothing else it could give me. That I would want. Maybe speed, actually. Actually, it could give me speed. Let's have a look. Hmm. Okay, so that's pretty good. We got a little bit of glyphing we can do. But how's about a 7.3k attack? 246% speed Rathalos with 347% crit damage. And we're in Warmaster. Why? Because we ignore 100% defense. So we might as well go Warmaster, right? Technically, if I put these two 20% gloves and put Flawless, then we could 
you know, potentially get some crazy damage. But the reason why we did this is basically I can go into brutal. How long is left on this, actually? Oh, eight hours. Wait, how long until reset? Ten hours. Okay, so we've got time. That's fine. So I still need to do brutal key, right? <laughs> I'm done. I haven't done my brutal key yet. We will win. So, like, the Brutal team that we're proposing. Let me just get these through. So, Nightmare now. We're modifying this. We're taking out you and Garrel, right? That's the new Nightmare team. The Brutal team is going to be... Nekmothar. If we can... Anyone spot the Nekmothar? Mr. Pedraig. Anyone spot him? There. Uh, Rathalus Blademaster. Uh, Kyoku. Which actually needs to be higher up on the list. Uh, Anyone see a Kyoku? There. Then we need Pedraig. Then we need Rathalus Blade Master. Then we need Ugo. And then we need Inquisitor Shamael. Anyone see an Inquisitor Shamael? There's the third one. There's the second one. Where's the one with the sword? There he is. Okay, so this is the concept with this team. Let's just see how hard he hits, right? Like we have weakened, don't we? Yeah, we have weakened in Kyoku. So decreased defense. Uh, we're going to wait a second, so we'll just A1 this. Let me actually, let me just bring a Provoker. Um, let me just take Pedraig out for now, and let's just bring Morley. Just so we can test it. What I want to just do see is see the rotational cycle of it. That's what I want to feel. Oh. I'll go weak hit. Will I swap Necmo for Fusion? No, I think I want to keep Necmo because we don't have decreased attack then. And the idea is we're using the decreased attack from Necmo to set up the burn from Kyoku. That's the smart thing with this team. 3% did the burn, the decreased defense. A2 ignores 100% defense. Yeah, the A2 from um, Rathalos already ignores 100% defense. There we go, it's better. So we would speed up Kyoku, of course, because Kyoku would come in here after Nekmo does a burn. So right now we're just going to A1. So the decrease attack should have gone down. Unfortunately, we got unlucky. So we'll just ally protect for now and get the, the weaken out. Like so. That was unfortunate. I've probably broken that team, but it's fine. So we need decrease attack out, right? Great. So now what we could do is boost, drop. Over there, which is great. That's really annoying though, because um, she's gonna put decrease attack now, not burn. Oh, she put burn, great. She resisted, that's fine. So now that the burn's out, what we wanna do is the concept is you quickly rotate. So 
So we're going to go in here. Smash. So now we want to basically reset that as quickly as we can. Obviously, Pedraig would be giving us increased attack, Dennis. See what I mean? We reset it already. So I've got one more here, and then I can do it again. Like I've taken Pedraig out because um, we would have not, we wouldn't have the setup otherwise. Because I needed to provoke. I haven't built Necmo yet. I just want to see the test. Once Necmo is built, then Pedraig comes back in. See back, sweep. A1. It's going to provoke going. Extra turn. Obviously, Kyoko's not built either. Now, keep in mind when we use ally attack for Pedraig, we're also potentially firing off Merciless. There we go. It's back again. Boom. Every single time that we are attacking, whether it's ally attack or counter attack, we've got a chance to proc Merciless. I believe it works with counter attack. I don't think they took that out. I just think they took multiple per turns. Don't worry too much about the damage here. What I'm testing is how frequently I can A2. There's that big hit, 760k. That was a 500% boost. A 200% boost one. This will be much easier when Kyok is built and this team is built up. Back again. That's a bit of a mistake. I love the fact that decapitation counts as a debuff here. So we'll be able to do this, this, this back again reset so that's the concept of the team here okay the the goal is to just constantly keep cycling his a2 the more a2s we can do the more damage we can do like there's a burn here boom ideally we kill this head on the right Gonna respawn probably before we get there. It might not, we'll find out. Now considering how scuffed this is, where we have no increased attack or anything, we're already at 10 million damage. That's not bad. So every time ally attack happens, it'll increase the chance. There we go, 500k hit. And it's all about can we cycle the 200% on the five, the A2. That's, that's the goal. Can we get the 200% on the A2 at the right moment? If we can, then great. We're, we're, in, we're in for a, a good result, you know? Did we get Merciless proc? No, we didn't that time. That's unfortunate.
Oh, that provokes annoying. I have four, didn't I? I put four on. Because he's got an amulet. One, two. Oh, did I not put enough on? Did I not put enough on? Hang on. Maybe I didn't put enough on. One, two, three. I told it to do four. Oh, well, that's annoying. Oh, because I need another accessory. Uh, I need another accessory. I messed up. I messed up. Can I get another accessory in Merciless? Oh, no. That's a bit of an oopsie. Oh, it's looking a bit rip. Okay, well, it's a, it's a working in progress. It's a work in progress. Um, I just need to find a merciless banner or a merciless ring. I made a bit, a bit of an oopsie there. Oops. So this is fine. I just need a better, better set of these, I guess. Time to grind. I know, right? It'll be fine, though. I think if we leave it like this, it's absolutely fine. Um, even in this build, I think it's better than Six Piece Merciless. We just want this, basically. And then it'll be good. So I'm going to leave it in this build um, for this. Yeah, because all I have to do is just find a ring. You know, I just have to find a better ring. Uh, and then I'm good to go. It'll be hard to find a better ring and banner. I will be honest. It's going to be difficult to find good replacement pieces for this because it's so strong. Um, but we'll get there. You know, these pieces are really, really strong. But even in Reflex, Merciless at the moment is still the best. I think it's still better because you, you want to cycle this as many times as you can. So I think it's still better. So, right. Anyway, so Rathalus Blade Master. It's good for now. Um, Rodas, we were doing Sun Wukong, weren't we? So let's go back to Sun Wukong. Okay, damage staff two fifty. Bum, 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 bum. Pull the second monkey. I mean, you could run one as a, a debuffer. See, now this is going to basically give me all of the Merciless gear. The question is, do I want to run Merciless in Arena? Or do I want to run Merciless in PvE? I feel like Merciless in PvE has more value than Arena. Which means that I kind of don't want to use Merciless. And just keep the Merciless gear for people like... Um... You know, people like Garol, Michinaki. You know, those I think are better. Because you get cooldown reduction with the Ignore Defense. Maybe someone like... Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't think it's worth committing the Merciless gear here. So I think I'm going to take off Merciless gear. Altogether. The only way it's better is if you've got Merciless Cruel. But I think... Again, I'd rather that for PvE. I don't want to... I'd rather commit that to PvE. Personally. Yeah, I mean, if I had Jorgate, it'd be different. But I'm just thinking Sun Wukong. Is it, is it worth it for Sun Wukong? I mean... He already ignores 50% defense. Oh, mind you... Well, can I get to... So it's 50 plus 75. So I just need 25% ignore defense. Yeah, you just need 25% ignore defense because you want Helm Smasher proc, right? So you, you don't really need the Merciless. Oh, good God. Oh, yeah, we won't need to lock up Trunder. Um, I'm going to lock out Zenogre as well. And...
Purely because Zenogre is built. Uh, do I? Maybe not. Maybe I lock up the Trunda build, though. Because she's already built for my Hydro Chain. I don't want to touch that. Yeah, so... It, it doesn't really matter, though. Is Merciless really that much better? Uh, because I'm more interested in finding the stat that I want rather than living DKS. The only time I'd go survivability is I'm more interested in staying alive with stats. Whereas oh, I want him to go as fast as I can with the accuracy. The survivability is secondary to my goal. I'd have to take Zenogre's boots. Which I don't know if I want to do. What's the difference between that and that? It's fairly marginal. Why is that one saying it's going to do more damage? I'm very confused by that. 8,885, 277% crit damage. Why is that ranking differently? I like this one. I like this one. The only problem is it would require me to rebuild New Gigante Archer, which to be honest, I probably should anyway, because she shouldn't really have this glove. And Zenogre, which is the more the Zenogre one is the more stressful one. Because she's on a finite team. And I suppose it's fine, I could just rebuild her back in the same thing with the less gear. So I think it's probably okay. I've run out of space though, because I'm gonna have to mule a bit more. It's probably fine. I, I can probably find faster boots in Savage. Well, I can probably find boots in Savage that go just as good for her. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Is it worth it on Sun Wukong though? Am I ever going to get to play Sun Wukong? I don't know. I'm on the fence about this one. Because Sun Wukong is going to get banned half the time anyway. Yeah, it is Swift Cut. I'm just trying to decide whether or not I want to prioritize Fire Knight for... I feel like Fire Knight is a bit different. And the reason why I say it's a bit different is because you do need a lot more gear in Fire Knight. And I feel like I don't really want to... I'm, I'm pretty happy with the Zenogre build, so I'm going to actually lock out the Zenogre and just see what else I get. Just, like, keep the Fire Knight as it is, because the Fire Knight is in a really good position now. It's mostly 100% safe. And it's the one area where actually PvE content I do need to keep better bit gear. So this is the one it would recommend. Oh, this one looks a bit fun. Let's go with that one. That one feels better. Okay, Sun Wukong is going to have... I need to just make some space so someone's muling. For the time being. Dupe Candrophon, you are taking some gear. Just look after this, these pieces for the time being. You may need them in the future. 
I'm hoping at some point throughout this entire process I can actually clear some space. I can actually sell some things. Uh, Sun Wukong. Anyone see a Sun Wukong? There he is. Uh, okay, so we're going to have in the old Savage build. What is this? It's oddly quite good. It's oddly quite good. Um, so, equipped. Let's do the, that, 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 and that. Arch is going to need to be rebuilt, but that's fine. Because probably Archer is in like an offensive build she shouldn't be in. Uh, goodbye, Baron. You are losing these gear. I apologize, but um, you're no longer useful to me. Right, Nurgagante Archer currently is hoarding. Where is she? This. Way too good. Uh, full jar. Kellen the Shriek is looking after some boots for me. And hopefully this is going to give me speed. Speed! Alright, well, I mean... You win some, you lose some. Uh, and then we want to get some cruel pieces. Which is going to be to a Messiah. And this wonderful speedless. No, nope, which one is it? That one. Okay, so that's bad, that's bad. Well, all of that's going to have to be dusted. Well, you know, that can have better. We'll give it one one shot. One shot of the dust. Oh, well, well, attack is better. One more shot. Speed! Okay, well, we'll stick with attack percent. Like, <laughs> attack percent is better than HP percent. We, we'll, we'll settle for that. Uh, that needs dusting, basically. Attack, percent. All right, well, we'll stick with defense percent for now. It's better than HP. This one needs dusting, really. I've already used three attempts on that. Okay, so damage-wise, he's a little bit low. Mastery, he's done. Booking, he's done. Temporal chains, I probably keep the same at the moment. Uh, this needs to go up. A lot of these builds will get more powerful when I fully awoken and ascend all this gear. Which is great. What is this roll? Attack? Eh, it's fine. Give him some defensiveness. Um, okay, so... Hey guys, look out. Does A1 or A2 in alt form do more damage? Um, I went with A1, Sniper. A2 is very subjective to the number of buffs you have. A1 is just better because that's the one you're going to be doing more damage with. Are your Hydro teams uh, one team for all rotations? Yes, why not? What can you use Riho for? She is the best champion for Sand Devil and Shogun Grove, in my opinion. Right, so Sun Wukong, 6.8k attack, 316% crit damage. He should be 7.5, 344%. But this is, like, the wrong one. This is the wrong one. This is the wrong one. This isn't Ascended. 
all the top rows off and this. So once we fully ascend him, he'll get much stronger. So now when we take him into an arena fight, we should be able to find like... Um, let's find something like this. That's really not... I don't know. if Maybe I can take out this one. I don't think I can. I don't think I can take this one out because I think the Taras is just going to ruin me. But we can try this. This is a good one to test because it's a full-blooded one. Let's just bring you out. Let's bring in um, Sun Wukong. Let's test him out. Well, we got rid of the stone skin. We didn't need to, we didn't need accuracy. We deleted the stone skin. Okay, well, that was cheating. Our man's it's all on you. Oh wait, never mind, he's back. Sun Wukong has returned. All right, bye. <laughs> uh. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to do this. Oh, man, it's a friggin... It's a friggin' mistakes. Mistakes were made. With double negative affinity as well, which doesn't help. Our mans, take control of the fight. There we go, that's what I wanted last time. Uh oh. I've got petrified now. Um, all right. Round to turn. Nuke them all. It's working. Somewhat. Go again. Uh, nuke. Eventually, it's going to kill something. There we go. <laughs> Freaking out to my death knight. I mean, it, it's kind of working. We just do this. It's like, you know, hey, you. Be no more. I, I don't think we survived this, honestly. I, 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 have, I have no hope that this is going to work. But you never know. Well, we broke the stone skin. Nothing else. We broke the stone skin. We're not going to get a turn, though. Oh, wait. The glatter didn't, didn't shift. Okay, well, now we can steal again. Rid of some. Slow them down. Uh... It's so disgusting that I can't even, like, A1 another opponent without getting, like, blocked. Um, uh, I'm just going to A1 that. Yes, because our man's is totally balanced in this game. Nuke! Oh, we nearly got him. This Galathia is not like dying. It's really annoying. Like, what do I have to do to kill the Galathia? I don't even think they've put like AI on him. Because he just doesn't change form. 
Okay, now die. Thank you. Okay, it's working. I think I think we got a good one. Uh, we got a good Sun Wukong here. Yeah, now that our man's is a thing, I don't think you need Sun Wukong anything other than this. This is all you need Sun Wukong for. It's all you need him for now. Because our man's is basically Sun Wukong's debuff build, but better. We got the inner workings of actual damage dealers now, so we can actually do like a proper live arena fight. Yeah, Galathi, you just you stand there, look at Galathi, and you're like, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I, he won't let me do anything. Oh god, I got three nine nine nine. Garbungus. Our man's okay. Well, now we can build this, and we can build. Right, who, have we, who have we done so far? We've got Armands, we've got Ankora, we've got Shuzhen, we've got Rodas, we've got Ronda and Garol. So I guess we're going to have to go this with Ankora for now. Just to lock in some supports. Then I think we go, depending on what they've got. <sighs> like, I don't know. Narsus. I don't know. I'm just going to do that. Wait, no, we can do Sun Wukong, can't we? Sun Wukong Ronda. And then we just need Duchess, I think. Oh, we go Elva. Wait, did I take something from I took something from Elva. Do that. Quintus? Quintus? What is this nonsense? Do, 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 do. Who do we take out, though? Mezzabal got me. Nah. I've never seen a Quintus in Arena. Honestly, I've never seen one. This will be my first time ever playing a... Oh. We'll just wait it out, my friends. We'll wait it out. Man, she removed all my buffs. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. I mean, to be honest, that ally attack was a blessing. Because... Otherwise, I would have got block revived. Uh, I'm just going to do... There's no way I win this. She's gonna attack again and kill Duchess, and then they're just gonna kill me. Oh no, now it's gonna remove buffs. If Rotus can just get a turn, uh, if my Rhonda can just get a turn, that would be great. Oh man, can I? Am I even allowed to play the game? I just wanna play the game. Oh, come on. Let me take a. Oh. Mythical switch and mythical that. I'm just, I'm not allowed to play the game. Do you know what they should do? One mythical per team. This is ridiculous. Like, one mythical per team. You just can't do anything. Well, I killed half their team. It's not going to matter because Mesomol's going to kill me. Wait, I got hope. I got hope. Don't sleep me. Don't sleep me. Don't sleep me. Oh, man. I 
actually nearly had him. I actually, I actually nearly had him. Well, I, I mean, you, you can't ban the spider when there's an arm hands. Like, that was just a case of, it, like, mythical power. Like, there's just, no, there's no, literally nothing I can do against that because the four, the one turn stone skin basically means I can't control his team. I had to ban the Armands. So, what do I do? Why? Speed is not king. If speed was king, I would have won that. What is king? Is being able to get rid of stone skin this is why i think um that's why that's why i try i think the gizmak mythical is very good because gizmak there would have been extremely powerful it would have given me the opportunity to get a turn hopefully Who did we say my Harima counter was? Wukong Narsus, right? So now we go Wukong Narsus. So you can't ban me out. The lads would have helped there too. Yeah, basically the burn. I think HP burn will become more valuable if this is the meta we're going into. It's just ridiculous. I, I think a lot of the problems with mythical champions are they just take so many extra turns that you can't get in control. I like to take the Taras out. He's the only threat there. Harima can't kill me. Oh man, he's so much... He's freaking faster than me. How? It's like a 400 speed one. Well. It's nice knowing you. GG. This is why I was like, I should just make Shuja my fastest champion. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm losing, I'm losing. Wait, extra turn. Oh, never mind. GG. Stone Skin would have kept him alive there. Wait, am I fighting the same guy again? I can't be, right? Is it the same guy? Well, he knows what's happening now. Is it the same guy? Oh, he knows what's happening. Poor guy. He can't pick the same team now because he's like, ah, oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the same guy again. Uh, what do I pick? Yeah, probably. Well, no, because if he does that, he, he's got to face my man, so I'll ban his Siffy. So I'll probably ban his Siffy this time. Um, I'm going to do Ankara and Narsus again. Now that I know how fast the Siffy is, I'll just ban his Siffy. And then we'll get back to team building. Ooh, he went Ultimate Death Knight. Do I still go Wukong here, right? Wukong into Ultimate Death Knight is still really good. Right? I'm pretty sure Wukong into Ultimate Death Knight is still really good. Take out Siffy. He'll ban my Shu Zhen. Oh, he didn't. Okay, well. I mean, why would you... Why would you... I mean, that's kind of bad now because I don't have the three buff situation. I should just ban the Taras again. I have to... Well, no, because he's only picked one Reviver. So... He's only picked one Reviver. So it's fine. Because I can literally just go... That. Trigger that. It's fine. The Crixia will probably lock me out, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, wow. That is a strong Crixia.
I shouldn't get one shot because he's not got bu no buffs. Maybe he kills like... Yeah, I should be fine. He might kill my Narsus here. I don't know. I might be in trouble here. We're never in trouble, Wukong, as long as we can keep Ankor alive. Stupid. Honestly, these stupid Ultimate Death Knights. I hate them. It's just stopping everything my team can do. I shouldn't have banned the Siffy. It's just stopping everything. Ultimate Death Knight is just so stupid. It should be able to transfer damage maybe, but not effects. It's just so frustrating to fight. You know, people sit there and defend it by going, oh, well, you know, these, the, you know, it, it unlocked a lot of content. Yeah, but it also made toxic me mechanics like this where you literally just can't use your champions. Anyway, enough of me complaining. Uh, that. It's both, really. It's the combination. Oh, we picked my Narcissus away. That's fine. Uh, this time we pick... I'm going to lock in my damage dealers. It's probably going to be Duchess, our last pick. Why has every team got a crit? Did everyone pull a Crixia this weekend or something? That's what I really want to know. Did everyone pull a, a Crixia this weekend or something? Like, every team has a Crixia now. Like, seriously. <sighs> Why does she have the ability to remove all my goddamn buffs? Just end the fight, honestly. <sighs> See you later, Richie. I need an answer to Grixia, because I clearly don't have one right now. But the thing is... <sighs> yeah, I mean, this is the problem, isn't it, Brent? It's all, it's all very well if everyone has got, like... Um, has all got, like, Hydro Clash teams and everything. But if you're behind that curve, you can never catch up with this. Like, how the hell are you meant to get, like, multiple champions in one turn stone skin with damage? But every team has got a Crixia. <sighs> Is this like crack an hour or something? Every team has got a Crixia. Wow, how fast are these siffies? It should be fine again. Ah, smart. But I got cleansing. Uh... He's going to A1, he should. Wow, that is a tanky Rodas. 
Oh, he's got a reward of the Fallen Six Star, of course. Here we go. Road is time. It's actually given me time to set up everything because I just want to basically get myself back into a situation where I've got all my abilities back. I didn't quite get there. That'll do. Lockout. You're going to have to sleep one of the two. Ooh. Why is he... Why do Rotuses get an extra turn, but mine does not? Never do I get an extra turn off by Rotus. This is stressing me out. Stressing me out. Who are you going to sleep this time, my friend? That one is it. Guess what? Go away. Please kill Sippy. Thank you. <laughs> Have that, you six star. Ugh. Ugh. One more, and then we're going to get back to rebuilding. Oh. I'm not sure why he didn't kill Shuzhen. El Chaparro. You, I absolutely can feel the value now that Shu Zhen is much faster. Uh, they're going fast. Mm -mm. I feel like I just lock in this. I should win this because I got the speed race. And you only picked one reviver. That was a bit of a mistake. They let me have our mans, so they probably got stone skin. Oh, they didn't. Well, I'd probably do that. Go to sleep. Get rid of the veil. And kill everyone. And kill everyone. And win. Maybe you should have banned. The the thing is now, because of the pace of my team and the Armands, I actually can just pick one reviver. Because they might ban my reviver. But then they're going to lose anyway because i got too much damage. So do you really want to take the one revive away? Probably not. Yeah, but I took his aura away. That's the difference. So I took his aura away. So he's going to go on mans. So at this instance, I could go slower instead, right? I could basically go full tanks meta and slow down. Or I can just go back to what I was doing, which was this... And this is a good starting point. Yeah, well, I think with the, this situation, like, I can afford to go a little bit more aggressive. Mind you, he's picked my second reviver here. Um, I'm running out of revivers here. 
Because Alva's not built. I haven't built her up yet. We're pivoting. Oh man. Uh, uh, I probably lose this one. I don't think I can win this one. Uh, I reckon. I've lost this one. He's gonna ban my Shujen. And I can't survive that nuke. I can't survive the nuke that's coming. Ancora is like 280 speed, I think. She's pretty fast. But not super, super fast, you know? So she's fast. I mean, considering she's got 850 resistance. This one, I'm just going to get Seek friended. I should have picked Rotus. He's just going to execute me. Oh, he didn't. Well, I may be able to... Now he is. That one was that, that one I knew was going to be a loss. Isn't, I I just didn't have the right band counters. Uh, the Slayer sets Wukong on the A two. The second hit will yeah. Uh, I wouldn't get a soul for new attack no. Nuke, maybe, but not our attack. I don't think there's much value in getting an attack soul. That one was a case of if I ban Arbiter, I'd probably lose the race to Armands because he's going to ban my one speed lead. If I ban the Armands, I'm going to lose the speed race to Armand. If I lose the Siegfried, I'd probably lose to the Foley anyway. So, because I'm going to get Armands and Arbiter countered. So, there was, there was literally nothing I could really do in that setup. I was hoping I could get the speed, like scare him off with a mythical, but it didn't really work. Same guy again. I'm gonna faint it. I'm gonna bait it with um Where's Arbiter? Oh he's picked Arbiter. I got Amans this time though, so that's good. I need damage dealers though. Can't one shot me there. This one's better though, because I've got the Armands this time. So he has to ban my Armands, which is going to be fine. I can ban um, that. I'm not too worried. He's going to have to ban my Armands or Shujen. So he's banned that. That's fine. Because when he triple buffs, I'll get a lot of turn meter. This is where Supersonic is going to pay. Because he's probably going to go Arb to Duchess, and I'm going to get supersonic buffs, which is equal to about 60 speed, and I can cut in. And hopefully, he puts block D... Yeah, he should A2 now. He's going to put block D buff so I don't stun his Foley, so I can steal all the turn meter. I can then take away the buffs, reset him, go for a kill streak, which will probably be this into this. Get rid of sequence passive and win. Because he didn't ban our mans. So what I need to do is not put Shu Zhen on her own because it forces me down a speed team that I can't win. Whereas if I get our mans with Shu Zhen, I win. No, because I got Narcissus, and Narcissus ignores um, Sequence Passive. So Narcissus ignores Sequence Passive. So the first, the reason why I lost the first one is I couldn't ban him completely, and I forced myself into a speed meta with Shu Zhen, which meant the moment I lost to Shu Zhen, I didn't have enough support utility, because I had to pick the way that I did. So 
Yeah, I've got the Armand Sol. I just haven't put it on him yet. All right. Well, that was pretty good. It's good to see that our DPS options are working now. That I'm actually getting some value out of them. Right. Increase the champion's level in the tavern. Cool. Awesome. Right. Okay, so. What are we building next then? Uh, so, we've got Ronda. We've got Sun Wukong built. Lovely. You know, we can basically green out what we've got here. Okay, so next up is going to be Stoltus, I think. Would you rather have a Hex or a Provoker? For what context, green? Hydra, uh, Hex is more important than anything else. Uh, Hex is super important. Okay, so Stoltus. Optimize. Uh, damage mode. Let's reset this ability. Damage mode on the A3. Configure that. Get rid of that, that. Uh, this one could be a little bit slower, so we're going to go with 240 speeds. Um, we want him to be in... Actually, let's just keep him 240 speed. I really want him to be in stone skin, but it's not going to, it's not going to fit. Let's see how it's going to go. Uh, Ronda Supreme Malhain, whichever one has the highest soul. Is he alive as well, is he? Probably crying at sheep knowing him. All right. Um, let's try that again. Trying to get Savage four piece stone skin. Yeah, you want that. That's that's what you would ideally want Black Dragon, but I just don't have the accessories for me to do it. So I'm having to compromise. Like again, I'm taking out Slayer pieces because I don't want um I don't want to commit any really powerful variable sets if I'm not actually committing to the variable set. Likewise, sets. I don't want reflex in here. Relentless reflex. <laughs> Slowly losing his mind to sheep. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, what we got here? Okay. It's a very powerful supersonic piece. It's probably going to pick for all of them, is it? Irrespective of this lot. That one's slightly different. Uh, 
I mean, that looks pretty good. Um, 242, 6k defense. Yeah, Drock would eat me alive. I would like Stone Skin, but I just can't build it. At least if I pick these boots, they're pretty good, right? So, we'll go with this. Oh, look, that shield is mental. <laughs> Is it that one? Yeah. Speed! Speed! Hmm. Okay, right. Look at look at this shield. Look how crazy that is. Bonkers strong. Defense. Ooh. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go Savage. Ironically, it's taken zero pieces from my Seer team so far. Like, Seer's unlocked, and we've taken zero pieces from Seer. Which is quite insane. Where? This one. Fortis is getting ruined. It's fine, you'll get rebuilt. I did resistance, of course it did. Alright. So Stoltus is like 224 speed at the moment because we didn't get the speed boots we wanted. Uh, we can always try a, a quick little dust. Speed! Ooh. One more. Speed! Yeah! There we go. Two attempts. That's pretty good. We'll take that. We will take that. Not, not 1%. 5%. 3% will do. Game. 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 Thank you. Uh, defense already rolled on that. We could roll some speed if we want to, but we won't do it just yet. Honestly, take a six star. Okay. Try another one. Okay, try one more. <sighs> there we go. Other in the end. It's good. We can upgrade this. It'll do. It's reaction. It didn't roll what we wanted. It's the worst of the bunch, but it, it's it'll fit. All right. So there's a lot of room for growth here. We can get some more speeds, but 227 speeds a bit slow. I know it is. Um, but it can get up to 6,000 defense when we actually get, like, this rolled, this rolled, these rolled. But a lot of the builds are going to be improved based on their framework. So I'll just have to send them. I just don't want to do it right now because I know I'm going to have to do it for the missions. So I might as well hold them for the missions. He also needs some more masteries to get him down first anyway. But he's in a good enough build that we can lock him out as a build. He, like, he's not booked either on his A3, so he's like an emergency one. I should change him from Brimstone, though, actually. Um... Probably, if he's going to go slow, we build him with Life Harvest. It doesn't get turn meter, though. Attack 
temporal. Do that just just to basically give him a bit of survivability at the start of the fight. Uh, okay. Staltus is good. Uh, do you think you'll finish rebuilding the champs today? I think I have about 20, 30 to go. Potentially. We'll see how it goes. You know, it's like 2 in the morning. I was expecting to finish about 6, so we've got 4 hours left. We are powering through it now. Um, right, so now we've got like... You know, our core damage dealers are built. I do need to rebuild Tormin. So maybe we do him next. How long's left on um, Hydra? Because that's what I gotta remember. Is I gotta remember I need to do Hydra. I got six hours to do that. So I'm gonna need to, we need to do a Hydra run before the end of the stream. Um, so we might have to pivot away from supports in a bit um, and stuff like that. So last thing I want to do is like let's just do Tormin. Now Tormin, I was experimenting in Slayer. I don't really think I want to do that. Right, these are terrible masteries. Oh, I suppose we actually do need Axie. I don't know why I reset that. What? Do you want to do that? Um... No, because the team's not built. <laughs> Half the team's not built. So I need to build the others first. Uh, let's just do that. Okay, so Tormin is not really ready for use, but we can start at least building him in the right direction. Um, now, he does have stone skin. to blow a mythical chaos or I know but do I really want to oh, fine just quad roll it for me finish it off Oof. it's I mean it's at least good for a, a nuke right it's I do have an, an eclectic choice of reaction here. It, it's really quite a large list of reaction rings. Of all shapes and sizes. All of them quite good. That one's the best. So he's going to have that ring. damage wise ideally with defense well actually actually ideally perfect crit damage okay well defense is better than nothing then we want like now i'm pretty sure my axi banners are terrible for dwarves i'm like 99 certain they are awful like these are not good i could take that off um new Quite good. That was not so good. It's a bit split. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. 
That would give me 13 speed over what I got. Yeah, I know Newt doesn't need reactions, but he needs accuracy, right? This is probably why he's wearing it, because it's the fastest accuracy banner I have on my account. Like, this is a good substitute if this rolls accuracy. Of course it didn't. It rolled defense. What about this one? That rolled attack. Actually, it's really good as attack. Wait, why is that not picked as def oh, defense? Wait, what am I sorting by? Oh. It's better. Um, we've done quite a lot, Adam. Fair amount. It's just like... I want him as like a, a hybrid. I want him to be doing damage, but I also want him to freeze. So I need a level of accuracy on him, right? I, I can't not have accuracy banners on him. So I could take this, but then what do I replace that with Newt? Like, Newt is going to have to take that one, which means he's down accuracy, which is probably okay. Because I'm only really using him in Fire Knight, so I could probably swap this. So I think that's probably fine. So let's equip that here. I'm gonna space. And then if I go to Newt, give him Morley's banner. It should still put him in good position. It's a bit low, but it, it, it'll be fine. I can probably find some accuracy from places. It's all right for now. Okay, back to Tormen. I'm not really worried about Polymorph. His job is just to be a scary monster if they let him through. So like, his job is basically to be a bit of a scare thing, but if they do let him through, he can still produce a bit of damage. As I said, he's not ready because he hasn't got Masteries and he hasn't got books yet, but I want to just get him built so he can be ready. Um, so that's my plan. So we go Tormin now. Oh wait, did I lock Staltus? Yeah, I did. Tormin. Now he is pretty good in Slayer. He is quite good in Slayer. No, I haven't done my clan boss yet. That's on my list. We're currently in phase one, which is arena champions, right? We're doing these at the moment. We're nearly there. Not many left to do. Yeah, Slayer will still work. It'll just give you one times 5%. It'll only give you a small amount. It gives you one 5% equal to the amount. Um... I'm trying to think what's the best skill to put it on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it'll work. It doesn't matter how many people are there. Uh, let's just get him, like, to 30. And I want, like, 400. Let's see what we start with here. We might be able to increase it a bit. I don't know if I go f Slayer. Do we go six Slayer or not? It could be cool. He does do double AoE, and his AoE A1 is pretty good. Let's try it. Let's see what we get. Uh, 
Because it will artificially increase his speed by doing that. All right, what do we got? That was quick. It's a pretty good build. Uh, Garol needs to be locked as one. I don't know why she's not locked as one. No. Be good. Four point nine k defense, two seventy percent crit damage. Yeah, I got masteries. I like that. We're going to go with this. We are being brutal. We are going with it. I think 400 axe is enough. You're able to get Garol. It's nice. Yeah, I, I don't have the accessories, which is really frustrating. It really is frustrating. I don't have the accessories. Slayer. Right. Okay. Uh, Cupidus. Thank you. Yeah, I got all these extra pieces that I haven't rolled either. I mean, technically, I should have rolled this first to see if it could give me something better. Kind of low rolls, we'll keep it up. be using that one no that one accuracy okay oh. you win some you lose some um Interesting pieces here. Hey, Short King. We are building champions. Hey, look. Triple roll. Close. It's good enough, though. Oh, crit rate. That's pretty good. That's not bad. They're not the best gloves in the world, but they're doing a job. Uh, right, I'll take Cupidus as one. Nice. And then I need just the helm and this. I have a lot of good Slayer pieces potentially here. That one potentially. Banana rolls. Oh, that's not bad. Hey, triple roll. We take it. Uh, will they ever release a hard minnow dungeon? I doubt it, but you never know. The world is full of possibilities. I don't know if it's good. I'm I'm gonna try it. I feel fu like fundamentally and theoretically it should be quite good because he's AOE A1 and um, I feel like that fundamentally should make him quite good. Is that the best one I've got? So he's going to be low at the moment because he's not max level. And obviously we're not maxed out. But he's got the right gear on him now. So it just needs to be increased and improved. So we will lock him in. Man, his base speed sucks. And we'll say Tormin is good to go. 
All right, what do we got next? Um, now we're on to support, so... My Arena Classic farm team is dead in the water now, so it's probably a Shu Zhen. Uh, Sun Wukong, probably. Narsus. Garrow. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. So, now we need to build some supports. Duchess Elva. Necra is what I need to check. Um, Uko, we might need to remove... Um... We might need to remove the provoke gear off him because at the moment he's wearing all my good provoke gear. Um, so Mithrala we can do first because Mithrala is pretty easy to build. So at the moment she needs to be reset. So we're going to build her in balance mode. We're going to build it as fast as we can with as much as we can. Uh, but the thing with Mithrala is I've got a very, very good Mithrala banner. Like, a very good Mithrala banner. That is pretty much irreplaceable. I, I, outside of having... I don't think I've got a better one. This reaction. Like you can basically take either Axie or Resistance for her. It doesn't particularly matter. Because it will give you the most. But you can see it. Like, this one is never getting replaced. Even though it's resistance, it's just too good. It it doesn't really matter, so, you know. Well, it doesn't really matter because you're you're gonna convert all your axi to resistance anyway, so that's fine. And you're gonna have a lot of axi in the build, so whether you land the hex or not is not that important. The most important thing is whether you can cleanse. So the combination is pretty fine. It's whatever gives you the fastest banner. And that, that is just too good a banner to not use. As you can see, I've gone accuracy everywhere else. Everyone else, everywhere else I've gone accuracy. That's fine. But for that banner, I've decided just to go for, you know, straight, you know, protectiveness. Uh, sorry, Mr. Will you be rebuilding Michinaki? I don't know if I need to rebuild him. I'll check him, though. He's on my list to check. Well, yeah, it only goes one way, but... Essentially, the accuracy is more preferable, but there's no harm in having a resistance banner if it's faster, you know? I know Elixir. I, every single team is Crixia. I was like, nah, I'm out. Peace. So now that that's done, we basically put the highest speed and the highest accuracy we can get. Probably less, like, speeds. Um, and then here we kind of just want like accuracy, probably speed, probably like, doesn't really matter, I don't care about that. Let's see what we can get. Um, I use Mithrala generically, she's not actually going to be in any Hydra team. So these are the teams I've got up here, she's not going to be in any Hydra team, so... Um, it's not something that I will be building. I just wanted to check if she's in the best gear. Which she pretty much is, because I'm not going to take it from some of these people. I can't remember which one of my um, geomancers is wearing that. Not my good one, so that's that's one my good one. Like she's in a pretty good build. The only thing I actually I would prefer is a little bit more lean towards health because she does get a lot of value from having a higher HP pool because you get a shield. But like I'm not gonna take the Rio. So I'm just going to stop this at the moment because I'm not going to take the Riho. She is hard to uh, 
you know, keep out. <laughs> Look at those boots. Uh, like, you know, I'm not going to take Savage Gear. Well, sometimes Savage Gear is fine. I just don't know if I would, oops. I don't know if I would, I don't know if I would take Accuracy Savage Boots. It's basically going to recommend all of those on every single build. That's not so bad. Uh, can you ask me about the new Multiply Queen Eva? I won't know it until it's in the game code. So you can ask, but I wouldn't have any answer for you, unfortunately. Taking all these specific sets we don't want. getting there we're slowly refining it down to a position where we need to be i don't know if i want to take ninja's boots because he needs a lot of accuracy does ninja not really a problem though this one should be quite good this one is nice, sir, but I don't want to take the Venus chest. Which I would require to do to get those extra HP points. Uh, what's your best all epic Ultimate McClambus team that you can think of? Because why not? Um... Probably Manita, Manita, Seeker. Um, Painkeeper, Thane. Technically, Painkeeper's not epic, but you know what I mean. Basically, Bat Eater. Can we do it without Venus? No, let's just lock Venus a second. I don't want to take it from Venus. Whoa, look how much slower that is. That's better. Alright, we'll take that. So that will give us 32,000 more HP. We do lose a bit of defense, but we gain 19 speed and we gain and we lose a little bit of accuracy. Mind you, we lose a ton of resistance there. Why are we losing so much resistance? I don't want to lose too much of resistance. Where are we losing the resistance from? Like we're, we're down 80, 80 resistance, which is not much, but it's a lot. No, it's not. It's giving me a wide range of different things, so it's just trying to find the right balance. So there, I'm losing 960. I don't know where I'm losing the resistance from. I'm really confused where it's losing the resistance check from. Yeah, lose a bit on the helm. Lose a bit on the boots. Oh, just basically it's just strip resistance. 
suppose that's the sacrifice you got to make for more HP, though. And it's just whether or not I want more HP. Her HP is just a little bit low. Is all. That's that's what I'm not a fan of. The HP is just a little bit low. I would prefer a little bit more HP. So maybe... I'll do this manually. We're just going to do this manually. Run out of space. It's bad. I'm going to use that. It's in an actually chest at the moment. She's right. Perception. That's better. So most of the 300 speed, a combined total of, what is that, 644 plus 324. Combined total of 968, 68k HP, which is a bit better than 3.3k defense. That is a little bit better. Um, I'm sure I can find a better shield than this as well. I'm basically just upgrading and replacing pieces rather than, you know, looking for anything. this sort of thing, right? Although it doesn't really improve things too much. I mean, the pieces she's wearing are pretty good now. I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously, we can ascend. Maybe we'll get accuracy. Oh, we did. That's always nice when you get what you want. A little bit more accuracy there. Ideally, this is like defense percent. Okay, we'll take HP percent. Pretty good. And this can be either HP or defense. Defense, ideally, HP will take. This one again, HP or defense, not attack. We'll take defense. Great, this is perfect. So she's ready to be fully, fully upgraded. Everything here can be fully upgraded. I don't need to dust anything. Speed boots, Axie chest, HP percent. Uh, we've got defense on the banner. That's fine. Defense, defense. This could be accuracy, but it's not the end of the world. So when we fully max her out, she should be much stronger. Yeah, she should be like when when she's maxed out, seventy four thousand HP, three point seven k defense, six hundred seventy three accuracy, three hundred twenty four resistance. So her combined total should be. Nine hundred ninety-seven. Curry, say, uh, let let Drock know I feel his pain. I experienced a few minutes of double, triple, quadruple crixia, and it's horrendous. Can I redo her masteries? Do I redo her masteries? She doesn't need wisdom of battle, so it's probably fine. Okay, so she's good to go. Temporal chains, I feel like, still good. Awesome. So Mithrala is locked in. Uh, Mithrala is locked in. All right. Oops. Uh, the other one I just want to check is Romantu. He has not a rebuild in a while. So again, we want to build, configure, do, do, do. It's fine. Battle, whatever. Stats. Again, we want him highest, third highest, and like four with like, I don't know, 3,200 defense, ideally, slot sets. I don't want him to have relentless, reflex, 
or stone skin. I don't use him in arena too much. I use him when I know what I'm fighting. So it's a bit safer. So I, I essentially don't have to... Uh, like, these are, like, building out units that I might use at some point, but not, like, something I'm super rushed to do. So that's fine. He's in double counter-attack. Let's just check if we've got a better one that has got accuracy. It's going to be 29. There we go. Of course, you roll plus five. That would be what it does. Like, do I have a better Axie banner? That's what I would really like to know. Surely I've got a better Axie banner. What? Okay, I was going to say I was awful for a second there. So we've got three here, which seems to be a good option. We've got a Nekmothar banner, which I'm probably going to change because I don't want him to be provoked anyway. That would give me a little bit more defensiveness. But not necessarily more speed. So I'm just going to go with that one. Because I'm going to rebuild a neck with that anyway. Oh, space. Alright, he's got a painful face, is he? Poor guy. All right, so we got 245, 15, 127, 595. Okay, now let's just basically run him in the optimizer just to make sure we've got him in the best possible build that we have. Hopefully this rolls. Accuracy. It's fine. No longer enough. Painful, man. It's a whole different world when you get up there. Nekmo is going to have to be in Provoke for what I need him for. It is it is an absolute whole different world when you get up there. Like, it, it's, it's literally concerning how much difference it is. Good, good, good. Let's see what we got. Well, I'm close once I get my plus four, six star, fully awakened and fully guardianed up Shujen. It's fine. Not that far away. How much Axie does Ninja need? This speed axe in Affinity Breaker. No. Okay, let's just quickly craft up some Affinity Breaker. Oh, I'm going to get notification spam. Notification spam. Here we go. That was fun. Uh, ninja. Actually got a really good helmet already. I'm basically trying to free up 
Oh, it was Boots, wasn't it? I'm trying to free up his um, Boots so I can use him in other people because... Oh, I have to go into my inventory. Oh, I need to heal again. And I, yeah, just take some gear for me. Look after this. Thank you. Uh, right, where were we, Ninja? So, I want to try and free up Ninja's boots. Uh, after you max speed for Curse Age, you max with no defense. Um, only after you've done, like, Hydra and stuff. Like, this has speed accuracy. Hopefully, it, like, rolls accuracy. How much accuracy do you need for Sand Devil? Well, you need quite a lot, don't you? Dungeons, uh, Sand Devil, uh, 25. I need 525. Oh, I've got enough. If this rolls actually again, which it could do, oh, it did. And we give it like a plus four. And we give it a little bit of a speed boost. I literally just asked it to give me an Axie boost with Speed Awakening, and it gave me an Axie boost with Speed Awakening. Like, at what point does the game just, like... Five oh seven. Oh, he's 20 short. Can I glyph something up somewhere? I'll pull a shard, right? Oh, that'll get me to 29. Maybe this gives me Axie. Okay, give me defense. Oh, give me defense. I mean, I could sneak a few... Uh, few cheeky crests into here, right? I mean, he's probably going to be fine. Because actually, no, he, he'll be fine, right? Because he gets 20 accuracy when his skills are not on cooldown, which they never will be. So he should be fine. 570, that should be fine. Great, that's awesome. So now I can basically use his boots, which is great. To dramatically increase my Romantu. So now, Romantu is coming out of Untouchable because we don't need that anymore. Do I want him out of Untouchable, though? I don't want to run him in Stone Skin. It's fine. This will basically give me 125 more accuracy on Romantu with 36 more speed and a bit more defensiveness. So we basically rotate a bit quicker. We go a bit quicker. It's kind of like what we want. Um, so we've got it on perception. We're just going to take him out of... What's this? We're going to take him out of untouchable. I mean, in all honesty, he doesn't really need to be an untouchable. So it's an old, old, old way to build champions. Is that it? 33? Nope. I gotta, I'm, I'm going to be able to look soon and see what damage I've done to my teams. Um, there should be a HP percentage buff here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Not really what I want. Not 
really what you want. Why can't I find the gloves? Oh, because I'm not selecting them. Those ones. Oh my god, it's actually going to give me an accuracy set. How crazy is that? Uh, Dark Kale. Now this is going to break the tour a little bit, but we'll see what happens. So we're going to take this off Seer. And that off the tour, apparently. Let's really just check if there's anything reasonably okay that I'm happy with. I feel like that might be better. I do lose 16 speeds, but I'm pretty happy to do that because if I don't have to destroy Tatura, that would be better. Do that. Nice. Uh, will I complete it? I'm going to try to. Alright, so obviously I can lift this up a lot. And boost his defensiveness. I didn't want defense or HP. Nice. I'm going to try to, yeah. The The thing is, i got to get my arena and everything sorted. And then i just got to make sure all of my my teams are ready. Like, i got to redo clan boss a little bit to bring the speeds down. Free up some gear. All right, so he's going to be, like, 243. Once this, like... Technically, no, this needs to be changed as well. That needs to be um, Ninja's Boots, which were those ones. Ideally, I want speed. Speed. Oh, one more. Speed. Yay. Not bad. Two attempts. Feels good. So when he's fully maxed out now, we should have much faster. We have... What's this? There. So when he's fully maxed out, he'll be 256 speed, 669 accuracy, which obviously we can switch these for an extra 50 accuracy. So he'd be 700 accuracy, 256 speed, and he's a bit tankier, which is great. Hey, YST. Yeah, we're still going. We're still going. We're building champions, though. Look at this, YST. Look how many things we've built. Everything down here we've built today. I need to sort out Chuck Duchess. So let's have a look at Duchess next. We're almost there with the first phase, which is Arena. Oh. So I run Duchess. 257 speed, 601 resistance into Tunstone Skin. I think that is about as good as I'm going to get it right now. The only way this improves, like, I can tweak it a little bit by basically getting like resistance speeds. That drops my defense, gives me all resistance. It's a little bit better. Especially gives me like defense percentage. That's better. That's an improvement. Like you want it to go reasonably fast, but not super fast that you can't do anything. See, that could give me a bit more. It's 
a weird build that. Honestly, the, the, the Timmit one might be the good one to take. We basically, we gain about eight resistance. I mean, we, we gain a lot of accuracy. We don't really want accuracy. We haven't rolled this piece here. Maybe this rolls well. Mm. I might be worth using, actually. Depending on where 16 goes. That's a lot more HP. I mean, that would give me more resistance, but I would lose a lot of speed. Oh, that's a good middle ground, you know? I feel like it's a good middle ground. It's a good middle ground. I just want to like boost her like resistance up a little bit because she is struggling sometimes against some of these like bigger oppositions. So just having like 12 extra resistance here or there in a build will help. Like just looking at these, basically going through every single one and going, can I get more resistance? Can I get more speed? Like that one there, for example. Crit rate was not ideal, but that is really good. We'd lose 14 speed on that one, though. So we would gain 12 resistance. Well, basically 23 resistance, but we would lose 14 speed. That is the best resistance chest I've got. I do like this one. It's just a bit slower. What would it take a speed down to? It would take a speed down to 250 again. But it would give her a lot more accuracy. It's not really a problem, I guess. Alright, let's let the Ascension decide. So one's got defense. One's got HP. The HP one's better, so we'll, we'll leave it as it is. Uh, she's in a really good banner. It's not really going to be better. The crit damage on the amulet is not great, to be honest. That is a somewhat of a rework. But again, like maybe I can just find a better one than this now. Right, I've gone this, but really we just need to make sure that the resistance is super high. Ah, oh, come on. Game is lagging. We need high resistance. Like that one is just better overall. Ideally gives us like HP defense. Nice. So we lose a bit of HP. We'd prefer HP, but that's a triple resistance roll. It's really good. We're not going to need anything more than that. Okay, cool. Um, HP, defense. I mean, I prefer percentages, if I'm being honest. Wow. Do I have no reaction rings apart from that one? That's the only reaction ring I have. Okay, well, we're keeping that one. All right, I think that's pretty good. We just basically lifted up the numbers based on where she was at. So that should, now for Duchess... 
lift her up to 92,000 HP, 4.5k defense, 264 speed, 666 resistance. Oh, yes. The 666. Sign of the devil. Much stronger. Much stronger now. Shadow heals taken. I would prefer that, but I'm not going to change the masters at this point. Um, obviously, intimidating presence because no point taking accuracy. Okay, so Duchess is done. So green for Duchess. Green for Duchess. Uh, now we need Elva. I know I messed up Elva's build. How long have I got till Hydra? Six hours. Not bad. Hey, Dominic. How are you doing? Uh, right, so Elva. Need to plug the gaps. So she was built recently, so we're going to have to build her again. It's not waste time. Oh, take this slow. We've got... Fortunately, we still have a configuration. So she's going to take that. Uh, do I want to take those? You know, I kind of want to keep Archer as she is. So I'm going to keep Archer locked. What are we using Elva for? Elva's basically a secondary reviver. We've kind of got her at 250 speed. She's in stone skin. We might be able to push her to 270. So Elva is basically a um, a revive option for me. If they pick, basically, she's a counter. She won't be necessarily my first choice, but in the right setup, she will be picked. But I've got her in stone skin pieces because I do actually have at least some serviceable pieces for the silver watches in stone skin. Oh. We are rolling high today. That is brilliant. That's really good. So I want this in. Yeah, for arena. Uh, we want this in bolster. So we want this. And then we don't want to take that. We're taking it from Necrex. Pieces. Cool. So let's give a little bit of HP. What's the banner like? The banner's all right. Oh, resistance. That's great. That's actually really good. Yeah, it's a really long stream. We're getting there now, though. Um, 
Okay, so this will take my Elva into 75,000 HP, 274 speed, 521 resistance, which is a bit low, but it's, it's serviceable. And two, and basically 3.9k defense. Uh, but we can obviously get some more HP, like... This will give me a little bit more HP. There you go. More HP. That was attack, but it's fine. It's fine, so I can take a big glyph. I'm saving my speed list at the moment because I'm going to need them for speed tuning. Resistance. Just, just basically increase all the resistance rolls. So she becomes a bit of a tank, basically. Elva's really good because she becomes annoying. Because every time you try to do something, you get that the, you veil the person that you want to kill. So she becomes like this annoying thing where every single time you're about to win, you lose. It's really frustrating to fight against an Elva. Okay, so now that's lifted up to... Oh, let me refresh. Yeah, about 5.44. Should be good. When she's fully maxed up, 544 resistance, 274 speed, 4k defense, 7.7, uh, 77k HP. Okay, so Elva is done. Elva's good. Elva's good. All right, we kind of need to fill out the rest of this now. Necret's probably the last support one I need to build. Necret's probably the last support one I need to build, so let's just go take a look at what his, his build is at the moment. Yeah, Necret's in bolster. I have quite a few, actually. Oh, look at Necret. Look at Necret go. He's got triple reaction. Resist and resist. There's no speed, but you know, he's super slow at the moment. We lack a bit of bolster HP gloves, to be honest. I could take it from here. I don't really need the accuracy, though. Would have to come from Pythian. What about protection? Maybe we've got some good ones here. Why bolster when Narcissus eats through shields? Uh, because you don't. I really face Narcissus, to be honest. And um, bolster is still very good for a lot of content. Lagging. Uh, right, where we bolster, bolster, bolster. Perfect. A few tweaks. He's now up to 231, 411. Resistance is still a bit low. 
but that's at least manageable. We can just find like a HP chest that is better. Do I not have a stone skin? Okay, apparently not. I'd get 40 resistance if I could get a stone skin chest, but I don't have one that I can use here without severely like punishing my HP. So he'll do for now, I think. I think he's in a he's an okay build. It's not amazing. But we can hopefully get some like HP. Nice. And then we can just put a, this on here to just basically give him a little bit more. Uh you get the reaction gear from CBC. Clan versus clan. Like his ban is the worst one. There's just no speed on it. But I kind of want the triple reaction, and I don't have... Oh, what are you wearing? Oh, that might be... that's defense. I don't really want defense. Defense sucks. All right, we're good. Trying to get... No, I've just got to stream 0.0. .0. Should I go resist and survive a little speed? I don't know with Arbeus. It depends what you're going to use it for. I'm not very experienced with her. I know a lot of people, like, start stone skin Arbeus, so you can then switch to stone skin and do stuff. There might be someone in ch might be someone in chat who's used Arbeus will know more than I, but I, like I I just don't know enough about um I don't enough I don't know enough about it basically. Okay, Necret. Refresh lock one. And then what we want to do is we want to look for Arbiter. I mean, all we really need to do is replace Arbiter's shield. And we haven't really touched her, her abilities. So we can probably just see if there's like... I mean, I suppose we could just quickly optimize. We could just quickly optimize around and just say we want like, I don't know super fast speed with a little bit of like HP uh, she's probably in the fastest ban already uh, speed is fine health 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 Let's just see what it gives us. So right now she's 348. Because we put a bit of priority in health. Wow, that's way too much priority in health. I don't need to be that tanky. 106,000 HP, good lord. Let's just take away Relentless, Savage, Merciless, uh, Stone Skin, Protection Spine, uh, Reflex. So basically it's saying... Take the shield that we had on that. That takes us back up to 390. But we don't have... We're still using flat attack chest. 
Apparently, we're still using the flat attack chest. We don't have anything better. But, you know, 390 speed is still pretty fast. Right, we're still pretty fast at 390 speed. And we can, we can absolutely find something that's a bit better here. For example. Like we could probably take the stone skin high elves maybe or maybe we could take don't really want merciless I mean, it would be nice to get, like, wow, that is a crazy ring she's wearing. I'd probably just cleanse it on her because, actually, sometimes that can be quite clutch. Honestly, I don't really care. She's fine. She's fine as she is. She's still super fast, so we can use her. All right, so Arena is pretty much locked in. With the exception of Uko... Arena is pretty much locked in. Because Uko is probably going to have to be rebuilt when we build Nekmo. Because a lot of Uko's build is going to go on Nekmo. And a lot of Nekmo's build is probably going to go on Uko or something like that. Uh, just optimize a big triple protection bonus with accessories for speed optimizing. Um, it will assume it, I think. But I, the, the update we'll have will definitely do it. Uh, so, do you know if there's another Sintron's rotation after the current one? We might be going back to one. I don't know. We'll have to check the code when we get it. Right, so now the, basically, it's kind of looking at what did I destroy to do that? Well, I definitely destroyed Whisper. Like, Whisper for sure is is, is busted. She, bo both the Whispers are busted. So, Shogun's, Shogun is in, in trouble. Sand Devil, we didn't touch Godseeker and Eerie. We haven't touched Ninja, so... We can pretty much lock both of these in. Because I don't really need to change them. Like Ninja could be locked in. And I think Godseeker and Neri. Like she's in very like she's in fine gear. So she can be locked in as well. So our uh, Sand Devil is good. Iron Twins, I think I have messed some of this up, so we'll have to check that. Dragon 10 hard. I don't think I took any gear off these people. Honestly, I don't think I've taken any gear off Ruark. He's good. Um, Theodore. He's good. We haven't taken gear off him. Seer. We haven't even touched our Seer, which is shocking. I would have thought I would have taken something off Seer. Renegade, one, two. They're all fine, untouched. And Ghostborn. So, pretty much, we can say good. Good, good. So, Dragon Den Heart is good. Um, we haven't touched Neldor. Did we touch Newt? I think we did. I think Newt was the one we did amend. But we've fixed him so he should be fine and we're not using him up here so that's fine uh, Mikage is locked in Barakin is locked in like Barakin we're going to lock him in Newt we're going to lock him in uh, Blade Master she's locked in uh, Neldor we're going to lock in as well because we want to keep these builds. Like, I'm pretty happy to lock in the Finite because they're very difficult builds. Ice Golem, probably need to check that. Spider 10 Hard, absolutely probably need to check that. I've broken lots of people. Spider 20 Normal, we can optimize that anyway. Uh, campaign Farmers, I just need to fix Fortis.
just to give him like a defense pivot. Like he doesn't need much. He just needs like defense percentage. Like, how much crit rates he need? He's like four percent crit rate, so it's, it's like a defense percent chest in savage if we've got it. If not, can we do it in crit damage? Okay, can we just take it off someone? Crit damage. That's pretty good. Before we do that, let's just check Savage, see what we got going on. So that was crit damage, basically, so we might as well take this. And then we need crit damage gloves. I deal with defense percent. Well, we're going to be taking off Kyoku, so I think we can take it off Kyoku. And we only need 6%, right? Yeah, so we can take it off Kyoku. There we go. We're not going to use any more dust right now. Uh, he was um, he was probably muling. He was probably just ho hoarding the gear for me. There we go. Um, he doesn't. So all I need to do is make sure that this guy can still campaign farm. That's all I use him for, really. That's why you can see he's got like not really good savage gear, but good enough to do what I need him to do. Um, she's gonna be my burner in Hydra in a very clever way. So we can just check that, that he's still definitely okay. Make sure he can do this. Uh, Fortus, I think he will be. We have a mule. Wow, he didn't actually activate his passive. Let's try that again. Oh wow, he still out activated his passive. There we go. Yeah, he's still doing it. That's fine. He just took him ages to activate his passive then. Just try one more time. There we go. I might see if I can boost his speed up a little bit so he definitely takes a turn before everyone else. There we go. Yeah, it's fine. Good. I'll just boost his speed up so that he... Uh... Just as a little bit more. Well, I was hoping for a little bit more than that. Oh, well, one is fine. Right, so he's good. Um, Fortis is good to go. Uh, Skull Crown. Do you know what? I've not looked at Skull Crown in such a long time. I think she's still in Reverse Blender. She is, look. She's still in it like Avenging Gear. But it works, so I don't really need to change this either. Because she's not holding on to anything of any value. The pieces she's got are pretty average, so she's good as well. So we can lock in... Fortis... As lock 2. Skull Crown... As lock 2. Okay, cool. So... Those are done. Uh, that one's probably bad. Uh, oh, that one is probably dead in the water. Uh, boss is generic. Probably dead in the water. Uh, that one's fine as well. Okay, so... This one, yes, yes. I don't think I touched Archer. Oh, we did. Okay, we did touch the Archer. We took gloves off the Archer. Okay, um... Let's just run it again and see what we get. Oh no. 
Okay, so well, let me let's just have a little, little quick look at Michinaki here before we do this. Let's have a look at little Michinaki. What are you doing? Yeah, James, we're still regearing. So Michinaki at the moment is like 107%, 5.4k. Maybe we can improve Michinaki first. So let's take her off that. She is busted. Let's see if we can um, improve Michinaki here. Oh, how did he do? I heard he was having a rough time a bit. This is stronger. We're not using Val, are we? Val is not on our team anymore. So we're going to do over this one. So let's rebuild Michinaki. It does speed him up. We lose a little bit of HP. But it's fine, I think. So let's go to Lethal. There's a chess piece here, which is this. We're going to take. Then we're going to take. That. So go defense. Oh, thank you, game. Yeah, I keep meaning to do a full guide on it. So yes, I will. It's absolutely on my list of things to do. Like a proper step-by-step, -step, bit by bit, every single thing, how you do it. I'll probably do it after we release the um, sets upgrade. Just so everyone's, you know, on the same page. this hell yes we can do better than that god these boots are beautiful these boots are absolutely disgusting i mean it's defense percent i i would want the speeds defense percent hp is at least better It's actually overcapped on crit rate gloves. So what I'm going to do is, because it's still recommending the crit rate gloves, I'm actually going to tell him to use the current one. So that it doesn't change the optimizer stats. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-optimize it just to see if we can find a better one. Uh, lethal is way better Spe specifically with my team because Mika um lady mikage is like activating his a1 all the time so you're basically getting a lot more damage yeah it can but i would rather not roll it i'd rather just find something that works better with it why is it offering changing it just don't want it to do like likewise i don't want to change that so let's come up with here Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. I've just realized there's a major really good banner here. Oh, we could try this banner. Oh, 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 oh. We could absolutely try this banner right now. It will need to find accuracy from other places. But that is a really, really good banner. Slayer messes up AoEs a bit. I need to figure out the bug. So we gain 31% crit damage. We would gain 31 speeds. It's important Michinaki's good because he's in the Nightmare team. So we want him to be strong. This is a bug that I've been tracking where for some reason when you have one piece of Slayer, it seems to like completely ignore the ignore defense. So I need to troubleshoot this. Um, so this would take that. It would take this away from Whisper. We'd use those boots. So the loss of 96 accuracy would basically result in us needing to go into an accuracy chest, which is not ideal. Probably. I just thought with the extra crit rate, maybe it would be good, but... Don't worry, it'll be rebuilt. Hey, Almighty Doby, it's going well. We're still going strong. I'm just trying to make sure that I've got the best option here. I might let it pick the banner. This is dangerous to do, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let it pick the banner. It's only allowed to have those two. Let's see what it does. It is actually picking that banner. It's saying this is not the best piece. We've I've regeared about fifteen, or what it feels like fifteen. I don't know how many. We've regeared basically all of these today. With the exception of Garrel, which is already built, and a couple of these, this is what we've built. Our arena teams are now built out properly. So now I'm just basically filling in the gaps of what I broke, and then we'll be building the clan boss. Uh, we'll be building this brutal team, and then I'll be rebuilding my clan boss team. But we are running out of time, so we'll see how it goes. So it's saying drop a cruel piece, but I don't know if I want to. I suppose it doesn't matter. Let's do it. It's still in lethal. It's just we're going to get rid of a cruel piece. I don't think it matters too much. Because it's still a pretty significant boost of damage. And we can always reuse the cruel gear in other places. So, uh, lethal. Oh, we need to mule a second. Um, destroy gear. 
if I get time during this um, regearing window, I will absolutely go through my vault and pull things out and delete stuff. But I don't think I'm gonna have time this regearing window. I think I'm just gonna have enough time to be able to do the full like arena champion regear and work backwards. Because like, this has already been an awful lot of work. Uh, right, okay, so filter, we want this. So we're going to go lethal, 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 lethal. Here, we're going to take this. Nope, not that one. That one. The helm he's already wearing. Whisper shield. Uh, we now need uh, Marshall Ed's boots. And then we need... Uh, can I send you a link in this chat to an EA song? It probably will block it because YouTube doesn't like links. It's not me blocking it, it's YouTube. Crit damage, this one. And then Ragash's chest. Anyone see a Ragash? There he is. And then we're going to swap the banner. Yeah, it's doing like a reverse ignore. It's almost like an. It's almost like going, you haven't got enough pieces for the ignore defense, so therefore I'm going to assume you've got, like, negative, I think. I just need to look into it. Um, defense. We'll keep it. It's better than... Uh, it's better than what it was. want this dream to go on for 24 hours. I don't know if I've got 24 hours in me. Sorry. That's, uh, that might be a limit. We want crit damage. Crit damage. Ooh. Last bit does. Crit damage. Okay, well. We're going to have to re-farm all of our dust. Is this the longest stream I've done? What are we up to so far? 10 hours, uh, it's not, I think the, the stage, that Fire Knight stage we did once, that was the longest one, but we are, we are cresting it. Defense, strike one, strike two, okay, out, not so great, not so great. All right, so, Michinaki now, in Hydra, will be 249 speed, 279% crit damage. Which would hopefully be 299 when we get the thing. 5.4k defense. Why is defense so low? Oh, because we've gone for more speed. That's fine. I don't actually mind that. Defense a little bit low. Does he have enough accuracy? I think so. 281. Ooh, he might not have enough accuracy anymore. Can we glyph some accuracy? Yeah, we can. Be a little bit low on accuracy for for now 
but he will eventually lift up in accuracy like when we start getting a little bit more uh, area bonuses in when we start getting a bit more of those things so that will help uh he's a bit low on defense because we switched 20 percent of the defense over um so he's missing like 40 percent defense from here and here so there's a bit of re maneuvering to do to get it in the right place but i think it's better than what he was was at Certainly. Like, that's the mastery he's in at the moment. I think it was better than what he was in. Um, so, like, before he was in 205 speeds, 6.2k defense, 230% crit damage. So we've basically lifted his speed up to... So we've given him 44 more speeds, 47, 49% more crit damage, and we've lost about... 800 defense but i feel like that's better i feel like that's good we're actually going to be re-gearing Padraig in a minute so it's fine so michinaki is good now uh garrel is good archer now we need to do archer we're live refreshed and then once we do our chat i'm gonna get another drink and then we are gonna probably get into some of these fixes for some of these teams we're probably gonna fix up the spider 10 teams that's pretty easy to do that won't be first and we'll also see if we can just get a very quick spider 20 team built maybe we can do like um just like a, a newt team or something Okay, so we can go full nuke Archer. We could go full nuke Archer. She's got the best equipment on at the moment. This is actually going to take my seer boots. But I'm sure we can find, like, do we have, like... Uh, lethal. Yeah, I can weaken my Seer a little bit. But I might actually take Barrow's one here. Yes. Oh, I love it. All right, so what I can do is I can take Sears boots, which are going to give me plus nine. And then I can go to Seer and I can give her Barros boots. And just check that all the dungeons that she's in, it's still speed tuned for. Which hopefully she is. If not, well, I messed up. I mean, she could take those as well, but I'd rather keep those to someone else. I'm going to give her Barrel's Boots. So I lose, like, 7% crit damage. And if I need to, I can send her all the way up. But I just don't want to right now. Because <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to keep everything that I can available for... Um... I'm trying to keep it all available for, like, uh, the missions. Because I'm finding that the greater potions are very hard to acquire. So I, I'm trying to keep them available, you know. You know realistically, I kind of need to switch her out of this banner as well. But she's so fast in it, it's like really hard. Ideally, if I can like reduce her speeds on this banner, that would be a dream. Because to be honest, she's way too tanky at the moment. It's really a problem. She's too tanky at the moment. I want her to be squishier. But it's quite hard. Like, she's just wearing the fastest banner that I've got. So, we'll figure it out. Um, 
So that's good. So we, we switched that around. So Archer now can have those boots. We're going to take... This one. Yeah. We're going to take... That one. Ideally, we get speed or something. We'll take defense percent. This shield is so good. I love it. 23, 22, 11% defense. It's really, really solid. And then we're going to take... What happened to my speed boots? Oh, there. Oh, Michinaki took those. Wait, what? Okay, let me refresh. Michinaki took those ones. Highly confused for a second there. Was I not meant to put them on him? Was he meant to have this? Did I mess it up? Did I put it on the wrong one? Did I? Should I have put it back on? I think I messed up, didn't I? I think he should have had those, right? Yeah, that was it. I messed up. That's why I messed up. Staff so pulled a billion primals, explained the meaning of life. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, sorry, Almighty Derby. Thank you. I um, I messed that up. We'll call that um, too many regearing. Now it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay, cool. So I want these for the archer. Then I want to take... Uh, dark hail, dark hail, dark hail. It's pretty good actually in defense. And then stone skin. We're going to drag from the depths of my vault this piece. I'm going to upgrade it. And it's going to roll resistance. <laughs> I've not hacked the system. Okay? I promise I have not hacked the system. I did. We, we actually got a six star. Sorry. Wrong screen. We uh, we actually got a six star legendary from a tier one stone. Yeah, we rolled another resistance. Because, you know. As you do. Um, make sure this is up. Do it again. I, I I can't do that. I'm not I'm not that good. Uh, that. Ascension. Defense. There you go for you. There you go, Das Universum. Actually, I'm gonna send that up now. Isn't it crazy? We started at 50 million. I've regeared 15 odd champions or something. 
and we're still at 20 million and I've upgraded a bunch of things. That just shows you if they rebalance the economy a little bit, how much more enjoyable this game could be if we didn't have to have this problem of like endless amounts of like silver being wasted just moving gear around. It's not that I'm advocating for them to completely remove it. Just give us more silver into the game so we actually feel like we can play with this stuff because it's so much better. So that now puts Nergigante Archer in Hydra at 259 speed, 217% crit damage, 5.6k defense. And obviously her defense is going to increase 466 resistance, but 263 accuracy. Obviously she's going to have Mikage's aura, so it's 263 plus 80. That gets it to 343 plus the buff from A1, so she'll be at 500 accuracy. So she should be good for all stages of Hydra. All stages of Hydra should be good okay so archer is now done uh i just need to check um lydia to see what situation she is in okay so she's in a cursed dps set 246, 180, 100. I think she's okay. I think she's fine. 360 accuracy. That's that's well within the requirements. We don't need a resistance run on her. So I think she is good. She's not really in my arena tag team, so I need to check that, but she's good to go. Um Gerptuck is interesting. So Lydia we can lock in. And we can pretty much log in, lock in Alatrian as well, because I know he's... Like, he's basically running Guardian gear, so I don't really worry too much about him. Um, so we've got Rathalos, Garol... Garol's locked in, right? Let me just check. Garol's locked in, yeah. Garol's locked in. Rathalos, Mikage, Michinaki, Lydia, Mikage. Um, do we want to lock anything here? Well, we might do, actually. But right, I'm just going to go and get a drink. Um, because it is... Yeah, it's pretty good. It's 3 in the morning. It's not too bad. I'm going to get a drink. And then I will be back. And we're going to do... We're basically going to do... Mikage check. We're then going to re-gear this brutal team. We'll also check uh, Gurp Tuck. Then we're going to basically throw in uh, a quick spider 20 team we're gonna fix our spider 10 hard team uh, and then i just need to check this team i think it's fine but we just need like i've changed the pythian around a bit um shogun grove is dead it's really in trouble so we're gonna need to build that and then after we've built shogun grove spider 20 normal spider 10 hard check iron twins i just need to check the tutora to make sure this is still gonna work we then are gonna build the clan boss team I might build Whisper first. I don't know. I, I think, to be honest, right now, Romantu, Oella, Uko is great. But I think I'm going to drop the Vlad, Constantine. I think I'm going to just run Garol with, I don't know, like Narsus or something. Just run some of my arena champions in my Doom Tower ways because I don't really... I think Garol's just so good at clearing... Like, How good is Garol quickly before I make a drink? Let's have a look. Let's just have, have a look. Conceptually speaking, if I went to hard mode right now, let's just say pick 74, and basically take the, 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 the we basically pick our normal Doom Tower clear team, take our Constantine Vlad, bring Garol and I know Mikage. So what we would do is essentially like transform them. Like, see what I mean? I, I just think Garol's just gonna rinse them. Maybe with some more control.
I could run Armands, yeah. Armands is a bit difficult because if he gets into a wave and he doesn't have his A2 available, that's a bit of a problem. What's really good about this wave is I can put it on auto and nothing really beats it. But like this looks comfortable to clear. And the reason why I got Mikage in here as well, I could even just switch Mikage form. I might still run Vlad in though without Constantine and just put Garrel in with Vlad. Like I could basically run this form here and just run this. But look how much damage like Garrel is just just constantly pumping out. <laughs> I don't really need to run it. Like just let Garrel loose. You know I. I don't know what Vlad's situation is anymore. But I can rebuild Vlad into it. Like, because he's a very good um, Centranus carry anyway. Look, he's still actually built. So I can just literally throw him in. Do that. He can, like, lock people out. Let it auto. Let it auto. Um, you can let me know what it looks like when I make a cup of tea. I'll be back now.
One minute nine. Well, I guess Garrel's, um, it's fine, you know? Only a bit of lap Sang Su Shang. So, um, apparently Garrel's broken. Is that what we've determined? Because that was like floor 83. Can we just go all the way up to floor, I don't know. you go. <laughs> Can it do 114 on its own? Okay, the Rotus is going a little bit ham. I was missing. That was unfortunate. The Rotus, the Rotus kind of went a little bit ham there, but it's fine. We're back and we're back in. Uh, brutal or, or nightmare to be honest it depends on how good your gear is Taylor right the if you can't kill heads with her then you need to drop the difficulty I'll show Garl now after this why does it metamorph come on why did it metamorph little nonsense thing Well, it was going well, and now we've got to wait a while. Because it, it decided it wanted to metamorph. It well, we might as well protect the team while we're at it. Seeing as that we've gone defense mode. We're dying. How much attack and crit damage does Trunda need? As much as you can get her. There really isn't a limit on when it comes to that sort of stuff. If you can get more, get more. I'll show you mine. <coughs> I will show you my build so you can see comparatively. And mine can do hard now. Uh, I think Androx will still be fine. Like A lot of people are saying Androx is going to be terrible because they've nerfed in Feeble. He's still an AoE decreased defense, AoE weaken, AoE decreased resistance, AoE increased defense, AoE increase, uh, AoE buff extension, AoE healing. Like He's still got a lot going for him. He's just lost his unique MVP thing. He's still incredibly strong. And don't forget, in Feeble is still a bit of a nightmare in Arena. You know, you'll be, oh, you'll be surprised how annoying that can be. Can we, can we, can we transform back? You. Please stay in this form. Alright, Gowl's dying. Well, they died. So, the question of who should I have my wave clear, apparently there's only one person. It's called Garrel. Oh. Rodus! Rodus, stop it! Behave. Honestly, I could just run Vlad and Garrel and it's beautiful. That's like the hardest stage of Doom Tower. I mean, Garrel kind of like, uh, Vlad kind of like showed off, but you know what I mean. Which is good because it means I don't need to build Constantine. I could just bring Garrel, Vlad. And what Vlad's in right now might be enough. The only thing is I might need to check the Provoke gear. I've already done a Vlad showcase, actually. It's already it's already on the account. Alright, we're, we're filling in these blanks to green. Now, I'm pretty sure I haven't touched Scartorsis. Let me check that. Yes, good. Okay, so we can leave Scartorsis good and we can lock him up. 
It does have bolster, but it's fine. Okay, uh, Riho, I think we haven't touched. I think she's still good to go. We still need to get like... Like the this this banner is is proving stressful, but it, it's probably okay. So she's good. Lock her up. It's already locked. Great. So the two whispers are kind of broken. Um, which renegade do we have? That is our crit damage. We haven't reached the soul cross phase yet. It's good. So Renegade 2 needs to be locked up. Alright, okay, good. Now, Geomancer. He hasn't been touched, so he is great as well. And we're going to leave him because he is fine. And we, we do kind of want him to stay in this gear. The only thing is, do I really want him to have such good reflex gear? He kind of needs it for um, for Iron Twins. Like he needs a lot of accuracy for Iron Twins. It's just whether or not I can like alleviate that speed helm and give that to someone else. Because. That's a very good reflex speed helm that I just stuck in Iron Twins at the moment. It doesn't look like it. So it looks like it's staying there. Because that's too much speed to lose. Even though we can get 12 speed on the boots. Like we can increase this by 9. It's still a bit too much to lose. So... I think for now, he's just going to have to stay in his current form. Unless we can, like, rebalance his his speed on the the gloves. Hmm. Yeah, we could do that. Give him those. Oops, didn't want to do that, never mind. And then what I can do is I can take... Because it's, it's really good for speed and resistance, but he doesn't really need speed or resistance. He just needs speed on the helm. In reflex. Just take that. So we lose 22 speed. Uh, can we just sell something quickly? Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, reflex, reflex, reflex. He has lost a lot of speed. He's down to 223 now. Which we might need to improve his speed. By basically giving him some speed on the shield. No, not yet. That's next on the build. What I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to free up some reflex gear. So that I can use it in other places. That's why you've seen I'm just like tweaking. I'm trying to find like adaptions to it so I get a little bit more speed but not touching the accuracy like this could be really good, but I don't want to, I, I'm trying to basically not use super fast gear on him just for iron twins. I'd like to basically alleviate some of it. How much accuracy do you need for iron twins? Let's see. Iron twins, normal. So we need five, 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 ideally. Five, five, five. He's coming at five, five, three, which is not a lot. So he kind of needs more. Um, I 
let's just change the playlist a little bit. Do, 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 do. Um, like this, we lose, we gain 11 speed, we lose 28 accuracy. But we can probably do that. And then maybe we get a bit of accuracy back here. I can't keep getting away with this, okay? I cannot keep getting away with going, can you just give me accuracy and it gives me accuracy, surely. At some point, you know, it's got to stop. So the speed up there should get us back up 541 with this accuracy. And then if we get Axie on the banner as well. Just to complete it. Ooh, nearly. It baited me. All right, that's got low. It's great. It's as good as it's going to be. Oh, we're going to get some Axie on here. Right, that's good. So Geomancer now can be locked in. But what we've managed to do is basically free up. We've managed to free up this helm. This helm is now free to use anywhere in the account, which is so powerful. It is like incredible. It's probably the best. Re like it's just nuts. Let's make him max, shall we? One more. We can do it. Come on. Four max. Okay, well, it's close enough. Perfect for my Kaima that I don't have, yeah. You should sell the helm. No. God, no. Uh, right, so he's good. Uh, so... That means my Geomance is great. Uh, I think Aox is still fine. I don't think I've touched Aox. He's in a very weird build, but a good enough for what I need him to be. Like, he's okay. He's got enough accuracy, 543. He's just designed to stay alive. So we'll leave him be, lock him in. Great. Um, to Tora. We didn't touch him, so he's good. I don't think he's holding anything in, in particularly power. Check. That's pretty average. Pretty average. He's in throwaway pieces. That one's quite good, but it's not the end of the world. Let's just stand double. Great. He's nothing any special. Great. Okay, so to Tora is green. Can go into lock one. Let's put him back in the vault. Tutora, where have you gone? Where's he gone? There. You go in the vault. Uh, Ruark, you can go in the vault because you're good. Good vault, Scott Horses. Right, we get rid of those. Lovely. Okay, what have we got left? Let's see. We've got Pythian. Pythian's probably a mess. Oh, he's still in one piece. Okay. Okay, still in one piece. What kind of piece is he in? 
Well, that's pretty average. It's, it's okay. What kind of state is he is Pythian in? 264, not enough resistance, not really enough defense. But I'm not really using him for arena, so he can just go in as lock one for now. He's not really got anything particularly special on him, from what I can tell. Those gloves are pretty good, though. But he's mainly going to be used for Iron Twins. I don't think we've touched a Weller either. Uh, who is Sand Devil 25 at all without Godseeker? Uh, you can solo it with Blizzard, yeah. If you want to. Oh, well, that's good as well. Okay, so well is great. Uh, I need to check. Artax, Seer is good. Renegade, Pythian will be fine. Oh, well, is good. Good. All right. I mean, we're looking pretty green right now. Iron Twins, I think we're green. We can just run it once just to make sure it's definitely going to work. Uh, you got Ayla. Ayla's on my list of things to try out. I think she could be quite good. The problem with Ayla Life Braid that I can see is she might have a habit of just like giving you an extra turn or an instant turn when you don't want it. That's the only thing I can see as a problem with her. Well, we can still place the burn. That's always a good start. How long have I been playing? Like four years. Where it gets fun now. We have the reset at the really awkward time. And we don't have decreased attack up, and this could hurt. Should be fine though, because we'll heal. And we burn back up. Have I any food in the last 10 hours? No. Food is for the weak. The cat wants food, though. Whoa, it's one of these. Oh, the cat wants food. Um, Crushing Ren. I don't really know if she does any damage. So, that still works. So, we're good with Iron Twins. So... What's left? So we got to rebuild Shogun Grove. We got to rebuild. Uh, we got to just verify the Ice Golem. I don't think I've touched our attack, and I don't think I need to because the thing is, a lot of these um, support sets, I don't. They don't have anything. They're just defiant and stuff. So like our attack is fine. So in theory, uh, we can just verify that my Ice Golem Ten team works. Now I do want to just check to see if I can find a better Ice Golem Ten team actually. So I know I'm switching between the screens a lot. I'm trying to remember to. I do want to see if that if I can find just a better Ice Golem 10 team because it's taking too long now. Mainly because my Seer is too tanky. So I'm just wondering if I can like speed the process up. Essentially. Wow, look at that four. 57 seconds there. I'm guessing they're just running our attack in re regeneration. I'm guessing that's what this is going to be. Yeah, regeneration. I mean, I could run our attack in regeneration and not use a Weller. I have a five star. Uh, 
Uh, you took him out. Does it reset? Um, no, it doesn't reset. So it'll just stay there. If you look on my screen, Jay, um, you'll see that I've got 3,458. It will just stay there. You won't get your daily 60 added on top, but you won't lose what you've got. Okay? So you'll basically just... It'll, it'll stay there until you use it. And then it will just reset when you stop. But the problem is with super raids these days, um, you don't really consume them. So... But we could just, like... We'll just do that. I'm still alive. Whether I'm alive is a whole other thing. Anyone to recommend with Iron Twins? Um... Someone with a resistance aura and a resistance buff, like Boragar, Grizzor. Because she's basically providing resist buff and healing. You can bring, like, a, just a really good healer in as well. No, I've got a digestive biscuit here. Um... The question really comes down to it. Can I kill this without I mean, first, first case. Um, let's go survival. Gen. Defiant. Uh, our attack is just faster. Our attack is by far the fastest Ice Golem Hard Champion. I don't use him anywhere else other than there. That's why I'm thinking about changing him up. Because he is, like, exclusively used for that area. So if I can make it work, I might as well make it work. Fuck shame defensiveness. Got a lot more HP. Let's try balance mode. We could try this build, see if it works. It should be work. It's a bit low on HP, but it's got Defiance, so it should make up the effect of HP. It doesn't hurt to try, does it? It's free regearing. I do need to make some space, though. Uh, God's secret must be faster than sand. Everyone's found those Uh Not always. Depends on what you... What's the question? Um, what must be... So it's, It depends on what awakening level you've got Godseeker at. What star rating is your Godseeker? That's how you determine that. Uh, someone needs to mule. Uh, Lana Farrell? No. Okay. 
three star, then it needs to be probably like two seven. Like you can probably get to like slightly slower, but you need like 271. Yeah, to do the slow build, you need a five star. Otherwise you have to go like 271 speed, unfortunately. Hey guys, I've got my first piece of the 2x2 two two um, impulse. We're ready to go, look. Speed, accuracy, resistance, defense percentage. We're ready to go. And then all, now all we need is like speed, accuracy, double roll here. Speed, accuracy, double roll. What is the speed, accuracy, double roll? We can make a 2x2. Two two. Look, we're good to go. This game's easy. You know, we get a double roll on speed here as well. Oh, I'm not even showing the right screen, but seriously. I'm not even showing the right screen. Well, let's make it a triple. Ooh. <laughs> Troll, lol, lol. Yeah, I got like speed ready to go in the boots, so you know we're 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 good we're good to rock there. Oh, I mean it could, yeah, 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 but we're not gonna roll it. Just thought I'd roll some speed, some gear here. I'm curious to see if I can make like um a zeal set work. It's just like I find these sets are so difficult to acquire that really, how much of it do you really can you use, you know? I do get it, like, I've got a triple roll speed this, great, but, like, there's just not enough other pieces to go with it. You know, that could be pretty good for Shamiel. I just don't really, I don't really see if I've got enough. You know? Oh. What have I got of my entire collection? Like, this is my entire Zeal collection. Of all of Live Arena, this is all I've got. And they want us to, like... You know, I can probably, like, make a speed with attack percentage. Speed. Maybe, like... Oh, there's a triple crit right there. So, like, I can maybe, like, pull together something. But, like... It's so hard. It is so, so, so hard. Oh, anyway, just equip that. Uh, right, where was I? It was on our attack. You know, they need to... They need to... I personally think it should be every 25 wins. I just think, you know, I'd rather you get less prisms per chest, but you get more opportunities for more gear. Um... I don't really know how it would work with decapitation, actually, Kirk. I'd have to test it. Oh, it doesn't matter because it's on him. It's an error. They had an error. It's actually based on your um, your health. So as long as you're full HP, it goes 100%. They, me they messed up the description. They changed it in the last patch quietly. It was always apparently working based on your HP, but the description made it sound like it was based on the enemy's HP. Um, you got a puppy, Reapers. Oh, that's good. How are you doing, Reapers? I, I remember you said you had a um, surgery or, or operation. How are you, how's the recovery going? I'm sure you said that to me. I seem to remember these things. I could be wrong. I try not to be. I do listen. Every so often I listen. Speed? Oh, resistance is good. 
Yeah, uh, I use powder every turn. Oh, nice landing. Clever. Yeah, I just don't think there's enough. Um, I personally would drop the chest to 25. Make it so you get like maybe a third, like 33% less fragments. So you still have to earn the same amount of chests to get the fragments per month. But then basically give us like an extra two chests a month for the impulse. If they do that, I think that's much better because then at least we have an opportunity to start farming them. But like four or five pieces every like 35 wins is just incredibly impossible to like you're just never going to get any anywhere near enough. It's just not ever going to be enough to, to make you be able to do it, you know. So now we just need to lift this up a little bit. You have to stay off your foot till April 10th. Oh, you got a week left. Oh, well, you can put your feet up, play with a puppy. That sounds like a great life. I'm not going to, I, I'm not going to lie. That sounds better than mine at the moment. <laughs> Anything going on in my brain. If we can get HP, lovely. I mean, I'm not saying that they shouldn't add more primal shards in there. What I was saying is if they felt like they couldn't give you more primal quartz, that's why they can't give you more chests. I'd rather them just give us more chests with less primal quartz in than go, well, we can't give you that because you'd get more quartz. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be happy to basically have to continue to fight the same amount to get the same amount of primal quartz, but I'd just rather more opportunities to roll to get gear. Because actually the zeal set in the right champion, I think is quite good. Nice. Drock will be happy with me. I think I've burnt like a world's largest collection of glyphs tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you could just continue to give the same amount. What I meant is if they wanted you to win the same amount of fights to earn that quartz is what I was saying then they could literally just basically give you less quartz per chest, but give you, you know. Uh, give you opportunity to do it. Sorry, I misclicked then. Enchant. It's fine. Okay, so that should be good. fine. Let's just give them all that. Oh, clever curry, yeah. I, I actually waited and I, I won them just before the end of Primal um, boost. I didn't get anything for it, but hey, we did it. We want HP here. Thank you. Thank you, game. Continue to give me what I want. Can I have defense here? <laughs> I feel like I need to go pick the lottery numbers right now. I, I feel like if I don't, I'm missing a trick, you know? Okay, so he is for Ice Golem. We don't have bonuses. 86,000, 3.9k, 265 speed, 463, 386. Should be enough, right? Should be enough. So if we build out a new team here. Just call it like, um, I don't need this anymore. Call this, uh, so. So we're going to lead it with. How much resistance do I need? Dungeons, ice golden peak. Hard, 10. I've got plenty. I do have enough, so... Who has an aura? 
so we might as well just use Seer's aura. So Seer, it depends if Seer can one shot, but that's will be the interesting thing. It should be able to, because my Seer is very strong. Artak. Where is he? Where's Mr. Artaki boy? Uh, Renegade, which is at 190 speed. Now, I do have multiple Renegades. One of them will be fast enough. So that one. 205. Probably okay. And Ghost Spawn. Where is Ghost Spawn? I didn't see his good saying. Ghost Spawn, Ghost Spawn, Ghost Spawn. Oh, he's a plus two. He'll be up the top here somewhere. So Karma Burn is not used here. Attack. Apparently we're not using that. Okay. Um, this. We don't use... And then you default first choice. Okay, let's see if this works. Trial number one. Wave one down. Somehow I still took decrease accuracy, even though I've got enough resistance. I think we 3% of that, so that's the worst case scenario. Well, he's not really... I mean, he's kind of dying. It's kind of hit and miss. Oh, I, I shouldn't have disabled his decrease, his activate. That's why. Oh no, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. I should, I, I should have kept it on. Yeah, yeah. I, I accidentally turned off his A two. Should be fine though. I'll just manual this and we'll run it again. Okay, let's try that again. Let's just change the team out to run. I don't think I need him to use that. I think I have to speed up the process a bit. The key thing is I want Seer to die as quickly as possible because she the, the last team I had, she kept um she said she just kept killing the side minions and it was slowing the whole thing down. This looks good. It's more like it. This is why our attack is the best one for this. He took a decrease accuracy there, which is not ideal.
The thing what makes him really good is, is he gets so much um, innate damage reduction from his passive. That's the only thing that can happen sometimes where you activate the Soul Reap. That's much better. It's much better. Uh, I think I can... I wonder if I can kill it without burp buffs. Wonder if I can kill wave one without buffs. Ah. Oh. Well, yes, but no. Because he didn't do his A3 properly like he was meant to. Yeah, I've got some pretty good regen gear, but I've also got defined gear, so this is even better than regen immortal. Yeah, I can. You're right. I'm tweaking the round one of them, the wave one at the moment, because I'm pretty sure I can cut some turns out of wave one. I, I, I'm fairly confident I can one shot wave one. Uh, is Fight Star Soul needed for Artak to solo? Uh, it helps. Keep in mind, right now, he's getting 20% um, damage reduction. That helps a lot when you put the passive together. When I've got Defiant, that's 15%. Um, I've got um, that passive that's 20%. When you get his passive, you, you stack up a lot of damage reduction, which makes it really safe. Oh, yeah, well, that's cool. Uh, let's just modify this slightly. I'm not wasting these runs, by the way, because I've got a mission for it. So. Right, what I want to do is go spawn. You were meant to do that. Not use that. Let's see if this works. Uh, I don't think so. I think Furore replaces Duchess. Oh my, I can just one-shot that wave. That's a lot faster. Reset, boom, doom, doom. 10 seconds to the boss. Burn, nuke. Go. Now, do not mess up the Soul Reap. Let's go. Well, if, if I was to ever get... um. Six star attack. I'd put him in Ward of the Fallen and then he will never die. He will never die in this content then. At all. Because he's so strong. Well, my friends. I think we have a faster Iron Twin, uh, Ice Golem team. Can it be sub one minute? Sub one minute. Sub one minute. Let's go. Sub one minute. Ah, oh, the Soul Reap. 52 seconds. World. That's a record. It's a record. It's fast. Does it put me on the clan leaderboards? I actually need to update our clan leaderboards. Really bad of me. Um, don't tell my clan leaders. Where does that put me on the leaderboard in the cluster? Ice Golem. Oh, that puts me... Ooh, joint second. I need to beat it by one, by three seconds. Three seconds I need to beat it by. So I need to do that six more times. That's cool. But I got until like tomorrow to do that. Because Spirit's not till tomorrow. So. All right. So cool. So technically now our Ice Golem team, Ten Hard team, doesn't require a Weller. Uh, let's just call this IG10. We can bin off this one. So, for people who want to see the build and how I've got him built, we have him at Regen Define. I prefer Define over Immortal in almost all cases. I find him to be most just just, just a better second piece. Um, he is 
with Fully Booked, Soul Reap, just because you execute the boss. Now, technically, he shouldn't be in Fearsome Presence. But he was in Fearsome Presence when I needed to use him for Cintranos. So I've left him in Fearsome Presence in case I need him a stun set. But you wouldn't run Fearsome Presence. Uh, so you'd run Delay Death, obviously. Uh, Resurgent, Blast Proof, or Swift Proof Parry doesn't really matter. Um, and then I've got, obviously, when Debus fall off, he gets turn meter. So he was built. I re remastered him for for um, for Cintranos. And then in Ice Skull in there, he's running at 265 speed, 463 resistance, 386 accuracy, 3.9k defense, 86k HP. The Defiant set is about 10 to 15,000 health. That's how much the Defiant set gives you. And you can see, like, there's so much room for growth. Like, resistance could go up here. I could get HP percentage. I could get, you know, this upgraded. That's a pretty good piece. This could upgrade. The boots are pretty, you know, it's pretty straightforward. There's not nothing like exceptionally special about it. It's just the five star soul gives him so many more stats. It makes him such a survivor. Eagle eye or resist equivalent is better. Yes, exactly for this. You would you'd basically substitute one of the 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 resistance the resistant you'd sub you'd substitute the resistance or axe you're getting from the blessing with the mastery. Miracle Heal is great for Ice Golem and Artak. Um, well, you don't really want him to heal. You want him to stay low max HP because it massively increases his damage reduction. Like, it massively improves his defense. So if he's lost 25% HP, he gets 25% more defense. That's very good. Yeah, if you can pick up a 3-star soul from John, that's a very big deal because it's 600 defense. The 3-star is very big for him. 3 and 5 for, for support champions is very big. So, so Ice Golem Hard is done. Another team nailed. Uh, Spider 20 normal. That's what we need to figure out now. Now, I, I always keep a 20 normal team. Purely because it's good for Dungeon Diver access points. It's good for spy, uh, silver farming. It's good for lots of different things. Newt's really good. The only problem is... Newt's really fast. Now, I'm pretty sure... What I want to test is... If I take out a Cold Heart... I bring in Shujen. I have a concept to test here. Can he one-shot it? No, not quite. But he can finish off, right? Okay, so... What I'm thinking is... I'm pretty sure if you put Ghostborn in the lead, and then... Newt... Uh, then her Newt that... And we basically tell her to use this... Him to use that. Him to use that. And him to use that. It should target the leader. Oh, it's not quite enough damage. So we need to improve Septimus. Okay, let's just check Septimus's build. Okay, well, Septimus is in a trash build, isn't he? So let's rebuild Septimus. But that, that, that'll be faster. Because Lydia can 3%, Ghostborn can't. I could just make Septimus hit harder. It's fine. So, um, uh, Ghostborn, Shujen, uh, Newt, Septimus. Okay. 
Ghost Spawn is 100%, so he'll always land decreased defense. It's Spider 20, so there's no HP caps. I just need to basically make Septimus finish it off. So if we just boost up Septimus's damage a bit. Spider, normal, 20, deep defense. I don't know. How much is he on now? Like 170 will do. He's got a great damage on me, look. Find one. Why is there a spooky song in the background? Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find a quick crit damage. Yeah, it was very spooky, wasn't it? I don't know what the hell was going on there. I'm trying to find to see if I can find just a quick like uh, attack amulet with crit damage that I can roll. It's meant to be a sci-fi playlist, but honestly, it's a weird sci-fi playlist. It's like, you know, freak you out. It's, it's more like horror, creepy kind of music. So we'll go with, instead, this one. And... Which you believe I cannot find. There's a really good amulet. I don't want to give it to him though, because it's like there's a better one that I could put on someone else. So I'm just trying to basically give him like a, a crit damage amulet that is already awoke like it's already ascended. With crit damage. Like that one. There we go. Okay, well I need to sell some space. So I need to sell some space. There we go. Okay, so. No, no, I was just changing it on the other screen. I was trying to basically quickly swap his amulet around to basically give him a... Uh, I just want to basically kill it. Yeah, so what I've done here, for example, is I've basically said I want to include equipped locked artifacts, but because I've got advanced locking on, which you can turn on by going to your menu over here, optimize the settings, enable advanced locking, I can pick which tier of locking that I want, which is priority one and two. So I'm basically saying you can include lock champions, but only those that are not priority one and two. So if I start putting champions in priority three, four, five, I can then use those. So you can use them to basically determine which ones you're willing to like move gear off or which ones you're not. So I'll be using priority one to designate my core dungeon bosses teams, priority two for things like campaign farmers and spear teams, and then priority three for Centrano's champions. So then when I'm building for new wave content every rotation, I'll just, I'll draw from champions from four and five. Instead of constantly taking from two, one, two, and three, I'll just build out a massive roster of heroes built out in very good gear in three, 
And then once I start getting to the point where I'm running out of good gear, then I might start moving gear. But I've got so much gear that I keep moving around. Dutchy is keep telling me off every single time. He's like, stop moving gear. Just use what you've got. It's good enough. Stop trying to be perfect all the time, uh, which is a, you know, a bad habit of mine. Like, you know, I don't need him to have this much damage. I was hoping that he wouldn't need this much damage. Like, this is the problem. Because I haven't built out the rest of them, it's just basically giving me the best possible gear in the world, which I really don't want right now. So let's put that on hold a second and say we need to fix him and him. Let's fix our Spider-10 hard team. Because... The, spider, the thing about Spider-10 hard, when you're building Spider-10 hard, it's the easiest hard mode dungeon to build. It's all about numbers. You need to hit 100% damage. Okay? This is my normal team. You need to hit 100% damage. How do you collect the 100% damage? Well, we're going to get 30% from Blessed Bash. Okay? We're going to get 30% from there. Then we're going to get 20% um, from a HP burn activation. So we're using Exalted Pyre to get 20% from, an, uh, from a, an, an execution, like uh, an activation. We then got Teodor activating and Sissia activating. And then we're basically killing the Spiderlings with Hex, which gives us a 37.5% bonus. But in order to make this work, Newt has to go first, then Dreng, then Teodor, then Sissia. I haven't touched it by the looks of it, so technically I think it's okay. I think it's okay. So like, for example, Newt's going to go first and whack the boss. Then that allows the two spiders to spawn. You burn everyone. Activate. Activate. Boom, boom, boom. That's how you do it. Now, the only thing I need to make sure is that Sissia is not where I think she is, which is in Relentless. Which she is. Not. Good. She's not. So that's okay. But obviously, we might pull away some of the pieces while we're building the Hydra team. But right now... The Spider-10 hard team looks to be in working order, at least. So that's good. I know the Shogun Grove team is totally dead in the water. Um, I'm not worried about Dark Fae for now. Uh, and my boss's generic team is going to be Oella, Vlad, Newt, Riho, and then more Whisper. So we need to build Whispers to basically repair the Phantom Shogun Grove. But we're probably going to build... Um, this Hydra team now. So, first things first, I want to rebuild Mikage. Because we are going to be taking gear off Nekmathar. So we just check this over. Configure 1 and 2. She's got different masteries, is she? Go default. We're not taking from 1 or 2. Battle, Nightmare, Boom, Axie Buff, Awesome, Stats, we want 300 minimum speed. Uh, then we basically want to set the damage. So we're requiring Relentless. I feel like Mikage is still good in Relentless. And I like a damage Relentless. So we, we, we will be going damage Relentless here. Um, her gear is very good. She doesn't need any more from this, 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 this. this. This, 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 this. Speed, attack, crit damage, crit rate, attack, accuracy, actually attack. I, I, I just like going all out damage with Mikage. I don't see why not. It's 4.52 in the morning. Oh crap, how long until... How, how long have we got until uh, the Hydra reset? Uh, four hours, okay. I'm not going to do a big key. I'm just going to do a key. Because we are comfortably winning. Okay, optimize. How do I set priorities for champions? Uh, in the optimizer, Nathan, or in the game? See, I can go. I can go bigger. We can go crazier.
in the optimizer how do you set the priorities so you need to go into the cog or manage account i always like to hide the menu it's cleaner go to optimizer settings and then enable advanced lock-in once you do that all of these now will be locked to a ratio of one two three four five six see and then once you've done that you'll have extra filters here so i can literally show all the ones that i've got a locked priority see so i can basically find all my locked ones Uh, once I get rid of this like that see so I can see all of my locked ones I should probably lock pain keeper as well because they were recently rebuilt so we're pretty happy with those um I might I might improve it over time but for now those are fine I do like a damage build so because if we think about this team now, um, in Nightmare, we want Mikage Relentless, Archer just in standard because we don't want her to outrun her buffs. She's the mischief tank. Garrel can be whatever, Slayer. Michinaki is in his build. Blade Master's in Guardian to help keep the team alive and Lydia's in Hex, right? So we've got two Hex, uh, two damage dealers, Three, technically, we might as well add in Mikage for more. Because Mikage is generally tanky anyway, because I've got a four-star soul on her, so I can basically put, you know, the damage in. Um, I don't really plan on using Mikage much in live arena, to be honest. Uh, what is the difference between lock one? Whatever you want it to be. Whatever you choose you want to be. So you can you can decide that lock five is your highest priority. You could decide that lock one is. You Like, we were thinking at some point we will add labels that you can set it to. Um, but yeah, you, you basically decide how you want to manage those lock levels. You have five different ones you can put champions on. Uh, what subsets would you recommend we focus on Defiant? Speed, HP, Defense, Accuracy, Resistance. You don't really pick Defiance for damage-based gear. Although, keep in mind, it is pretty good at reducing incoming AoE damage, which is not bad in Arena. So it's not terrible to have like a two-piece damage piece with Stone Skin. Most people will want to go for ignore defense though in arena, but definitely speed, defense, regen. You know, basically consider it a regen set. That's the way to look at it. Uh, what I want to work out is now this is going to be provoke. So if I just take these a second, put them here. In terms of sets, this is going to be provoke, relentless, um, mercy, reflex. Um, probably Guardian here. Ugo is going to be Hex. Oh, no, no, Hex, 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 because I need two Hexes. And then full damage. I mean, I'd like Zeal, but I don't think I can build it, so it's probably going to be lethal for now. Because I actually think his A1's worth building lethal for. As much as you get full ignore defense on the A2, it's probably worth it. So I need to basically have one re relentless set for Pedraig. Otherwise, I don't need to worry about it. So I might as well go full damage nuke here. And get a big, nasty Makage. Just did your first ever week of Brutal Hard and Normal Hydro 1 keys. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, this is the nice thing about having a stream, right? So when you're bored basically pressing use Trunder A2, you get a bit of company. Uh, so does that mean we can then set it to be, to, to be able to pull for gear from... Yes, exactly. So, for example, here, for example, you would basically say include the artifacts on Lock Champions. And if you wanted it to only use gear on Lock Champions 3, 4, and 5, I'm telling it to not use gear on 1 and 2. The drop-down basically excludes the priorities you set. So, for example, you said, um, can we then set it to be able to pull gear from Champions on, like, 4 and 5? You would basically say... I don't want you to use champions on one, two, three. You set that, and it will only, it will only use um, four and five. It won't use one, two, and three. If I then turn off three, it will then use three. Uh, can I show Artek Masteries? Yeah, if you if you click the link, uh, Roman above, it will go to all the builds. The pinned comment. If you click the pinned comment link, it will take you through all the builds. So, I was watching eight hours ago. Time to clock out. This is fun for me. This is fun for me. I've been waiting to do this for about a month. 
Look at that damage build. Look how much damage we can do with Makage. Should we do it? No worries, Serial John. More life, so I don't know if we do more of these. I mean, we lose a little bit of effective HP. Like 12,000, it's not a lot to lose. How do I designate priority number? Make sure you enable advanced lock-in here. So go into here, which is either manage account, go into this, optimize the settings, enable advanced lock-in, and then just you decide what you want. You decide what you want to treat one as. Is one your best priority or your worst priority? You make that decision. I think so, David, yeah. If it's going to be consistent, then yes. Okay. Um, first things first, I need to mule. So who wants to be the designated mule for the day? Speak up now, forever hold your peace. Supreme Kale? Oh no, you've, you've already muled a bit. Um, Asuga? No, you've already muled. Mountain King? Oh, Champfoot. Champfoot's decided he wants to mule today. So he will do this. Do you want this music is making me want to go watch Dune again? You know, at least an Al Gaib. Such an amazing film. If you haven't seen Dune, I highly recommend it. You've got to watch Dune 1 first, though. Otherwise, it just doesn't make sense. You'll be so confused. Why am I keeping that? It's terrible, he says. Next, um, next regearing event, I probably will do a massive, like, sell-off stream instead of, like, a full regear. Like, this is basically restoring the nonsense the last five months of, um, basically restoring the last nonsense of five months of Cintranos that has obliterated my account trying to put it back into a working order because I've literally had such a mess of the account. Everyone's like had missing gear. Now we're putting the structure in and it won't break. We're not breaking it going forward. We've got champions purpose built for their roles to do exactly what I want them to do. We've got the best gear on the right champions, not, you know, basically like one, my second whisper having crazy, crazy gear. I haven't read Dune. I really need to get back into reading. Ooh, see, we could have that. See, I probably wouldn't roll the speed. I'd probably just keep the attack and just go more damage. Full nuke. Mikage. The thing about... um, The thing about the... See, like, ideally... I'd switch this. I will eventually switch it. The thing about mythical champions are they are generally incredibly tanky because they have such high base stats. So you can go a little bit more down the let's let's like push the boat out and go for more damage. You can be a little bit more um, adventurous with your build because you're not you're not going to suffer from it. Look at these pieces. Mikage is just a beast right now. We do need to switch a lot of it over to attack and stuff. Like, she's a bit too high. Like, she's going to miss a lot of stats at the moment. But, you know, 287, 317, 5.5. But she's missing, like, attack percentage here. Crit damage there. She's missing um, attack here. Defense should be attack. It's absolutely stupid. I should not have this level of gear on Mikage, but hey, you know, this is leftover gear now. I don't think this is... I think that ring's just too good, even on... Yeah. All right, cool. So, she's done. Masteries-wise, we got her in that. Great. Awesome. So, she will be a little bit, a little bit faster than what she was before. Before she was 270, 280, 285, she's now 287. She was um, 5,000 attacks, she's now 5.5k. She was 2, 1, 298, 
So she's now gone up to uh, to 300, 310. So she's had 7% more crit damage. And accuracy, she's where she was before, basically. The thing about it is she also gets like a lot of, like we don't really care too much about the accuracy apart from like extending the buffs. She should have enough for that. I can always just squeeze out a little bit more accuracy here or there. And as we improve our area bonuses, that will improve her build as well. Like, this is going to go up, so... Awesome. So, Mikage is done. She's now a nuka for some stupid reason. Maximum damage, right? I mean, she, she can probably... I kid you not, she could probably just, like... Rinse through this now. Uh, if we just run with like, I don't know, someone I was doing masteries on. Amans. The only problem with Amans is he's geared, so he, he likes to use abilities, which is really quite annoying. Let's do that. <laughs> just obliterating them. <laughs> uh. Whipped. She does realize she can do her A2, right? It's quite funny watching her just whip a Minotaur. She doesn't like to do her A2, does she? Like, that's what she should be doing. Like she should be doing that to finish it off. <laughs> hey Colton, yeah, we're still alive. We're still alive. We're still alive. Okay, so we've made it all the way down. We kind of did dungeons first. We're now on Hydra, which is basically just these builds. So we need to build these out. So the first thing we need to do is Necmo. And he needs to be in provoked gear. He needs to be in Provoke Gear. First build. Ooh, look at that stone skin. So, look how much stone skin I got on this one. I don't have any of that on the other ones. Now, I would really love to go Slayer for, for Provoke. That would be dreamy. Can I do it? There's a defense. I mean, it's plausible. He wouldn't have a crit damage amulet, but he doesn't really do that much damage anyway. But we do have the pieces to do it. No, I don't have um, uh, Sulfur. Yes, I do have Torment and Slayer. So we do have one piece of Slayer gear. So I don't know if I don't know if four piece Slayer, four piece Provoke is worth it. Surely it is, right? Every single time he AoEs, he's gonna get 20% turn meter fill. It's basically like giving him relentless. And the more turns he takes, the more likely he is to provoke. So I think it's absolutely it makes sense to do it. So we're gonna do it. Even if these pieces are absolutely terrible, I'm just like I'm just gonna do it. Like, because it's not the end of the world. Like, we, we can just make this piece up to 16. Give a little bit of, like, heal. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, in terms of, like, an amulet. I don't think we have a banner, do we? Like... Da, 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 da. No, so it's going to have to be the amulet. Now, I could try to re-roll. Like, what's that? That's HP. I don't want that. 
I could try to re-roll this. But in all honesty, it's probably fine. Oh, oh do I re-roll it? I've already reworked it anyway. Never mind. No, I've, I've pulled it all out. But it's it's absolutely fine because it's, you know, it's it's pretty good. I mean, I would like Axie, but it's not the end of the world. And then here, we're just going to go speed. What have we got as the fastest? So we don't want HP, ideally. Defense. Accuracy. Hope's a good one. Okay, cool. So, Nekmothar, reset. Refresh our thing. Lock Nikage into one. We want Nekmo to be in. Reset. So we're going to put him into... We'll put him in damage mode. We'll see how it goes, but we might need to put him in balanced. We don't want one or two. We want him for Hydra. Let's just pick rotation six. It doesn't really matter. Brutal. Uh, are we going to have any destruction? Maybe. I always put 10% in just in case. We will have decreased defense. Weaken. We will have um, increased attack. Doesn't really matter. So ideally, I want him to be like super fast. So 300. I'm actually going to go balance mode. It's better for me what I want here. I want 100% speed. I need for brutal 260. I think that's about right, isn't it? Hydra. Rotation 6. Brutal. 250, 250, 250, 260, 240. But I need to add it if there's a suffering. So we need to go to... 3, 4, 330? 330 should do it. So we need 330. I don't really care about resistance. Because we're going to make Kyoku. Our um, tank. So crit damage... We'll put a little bit of priority. Do you know what? Actually, no. We're going to go damage. We're going to go damage. It's kind of like a, a, a thing between it where it's almost like... I want... We'll, we'll basically ask for 310 speed. And then if we don't get it, we'll, we'll work our way backwards. Is the way to do it. He doesn't particularly do damage. But it's always nice to have, like... A certain level of damage. Uh, oh, I didn't really ascend that amulet, did I? Did I get crit, crit damage? Hmm, well, it got attack. I mean, it's better than nothing. Access. So I want him in Slayer 2. And I would like him in Provoke. Awesome. Glyphs, we're going to do 4. Accuracy, we're going to do 7. Defense, we're going to do 5. Attack, we're going to do 5. HP, we're going to do 5. Cool. Optimize. Oh, let's see what we get. Nothing. Okay, so we need to drop the speed. 300. Okay, so 300 is, 300 is doable. Okay, 300 is doable. has got a little bit more effective HP. Bit of a dodgy crit, right? Let's bring it around to 290. It's a little bit better, that is. 357. That looks good. I mean, it's a five-star glove, but it's better than nothing. 
this 295 speed. You know, I mean, I could put it back up to 310, 300. Um, what would you put net when if you didn't need provoke or hexer on him? Probably relentless. Um, or slayer for something else. Like maybe slayer for merciless four or something like that. Or even slayer six. Don't underestimate the power of that termite again. We do get a little bit tankier here. This feels potentially okay. We basically force ourselves up into a crit rate glove if we do that. Um, let me just check. I don't have any, like, unequipped gears that I, I could be using. Necmo, Necmo, Necmo. Oh, is there any in the... I bet there's some in the vault, isn't there? I bet we have some Slayer gear in the vault here that we could be using. Yeah, look. Okay, let's see if any any of this is worth pulling out. Some crit damage gloves. Shields. Oh, there's actually six star there. It's actually speed boots. Wow. Look at all the gear that I could have been rolling. That is just sitting in my vault. All of it. If you can't get Wrathless in six minutes, you just go reflex. Uh, I would basically get yourself into reflex and, and basically make it so that you could just swap the accessories as you get them. Because you will get them over time. Right, let's see how let's see how much this is. It's pretty good. If it rolls defense, probably a sell. Mm. It's hard to get them, so we'll keep them. Some speed gear here. That was a bit rubbish. Not as designed out. The fusion is worth picking up, though, I think, because it does give you a, an offensive base Necmo, which you probably wouldn't have had before. Right? You just get a bit more of a damage orientated Necmo, which is really nice. Okay, well, none of these pieces really helped. Okay, right. It double rolls flat. I'm selling that. We need to mule. Who wants to be the mule today? There's bound to be an epic that wants to mule. Which one of you wants to be the designated mule for the day? There you go. Lady Quillen, designated mule. Take that. It's actually disgusting some of the pieces that I have just lying around. That I could be doing something with. Okay, what other pieces have we got? Oh look, there's some zeal pieces in here. Oh, look, we've got some merciless pieces as well. You know, just stuff chilling, hanging out, waiting to be used, waiting to be waiting to be acquired. Purveyor of all sorts of interesting things. That's all accessories then. I wonder how long until this all expires. Oh, 36 days, plenty of time. All right. I'm still here solo. 
We're building the Hydra team now. Uh, one of my thoughts, it is a damage-orientated Necmo. So if you don't have Necmo, probably worth picking up. It's pretty good. If you want a more damage-based type of Necmo, very good as well. Come on, triple roll it. Triple roll it for me. Ooh, okay. Well, you, know, you can't have everything. I've had a lot tonight. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's really nice as well. All right, now that we've done that, refresh. Clear. Go again. Let's see what we're going to get. Okay, none of the new pieces really came into factor because obviously we only need two. Um, two pieces. I don't know what I mean by damage offensive. What I mean is she gives you more damage in the way that she sets up your team. So because she's giving you weaken with increased attack, she's making your team do more damage. Whereas Necmo is giving you decreased attack and leech so that he's, make, he's helping your team stay alive. So it's like they're, they're kind of doing the same thing, but the way that they operate is a little bit more uh, angled in one way or the other. If you wanted, if like, if you could have the luxury of not necessarily worrying about the decreased attack, then you can put her in and she's going to give you access to weaken and increase attack. Whereas Necmo isn't going to give you that. So it just depends on how you want to position it. Like, so for example, if you're trying to use a Whisper, the new fusion with Whisper is very good. It's 520. Do you ever sleep? Uh, sometimes. I've been known to, um, to partake in a, in a, in a certain, you know, period. I'm just going to go with that one. I like it. Necmo Thar. Necmo, Necmo, Necmo. By the way, look at these gloves. That's definitely going on someone at some point. That needs dusting. Uh, right, so we want to go down to Slayer. That one is it? Yeah. 